Every child deserves a chance to be themselves. But right now, in hospitals around the world, many kids are isolated, fighting some of the most difficult battles of their lives. What if we told you gamers have the power to help? We're Gamers Outreach, and we believe the world is better when kids can play. Our team is on a quest to help make play a part of care. With your support, we can restore a sense of joy and normalcy in the lives of families through video games. Learn more and get involved at gamersoutreach.org.
Alright everybody, I think it's about time we get into one of the new concepts that's going to be happening in today's tournament. This is a little surprise for all of my pre-stream people, all the people that like to show up early. You guys will get a nice first look at what the new concept of today is. And that is Kaiba's Dueling Computer. It is going to be measuring all of the characters' decks and potentials that are entering today's Battle City Tournament. Any character that finds this area, any character that finds this uh, tournament venue, will be measured by today's computer. And just as an example, Seto Kaiba does have the computer measuring a former King of Games deck. Do not get excited, this does not confirm anybody's going to be here today, absolutely not. It's just going to be a little test. But before we get into uh, what we're measuring, I'm going to explain exactly what the computer does. The first thing the computer measures is the character's deck's attack stat. Attack basically means the general highest attack points they can get and their average attack point monsters compared to everybody else that arrives on the island. 
uh, we will then go with their defense points. Defense points follows the same idea as their attack points, but it also includes raising your own life points. Your defense stat can go up if you have the ability to raise your own life points. The next stat we're going to be talking about is the speed stat. The speed stat is a stat measured by the computer where the deck is good at special summoning, if the deck is good at draw power, if the good is deck at searching, it is going to be faster. So the speed stat is basically draw power, search, and special summons. How fast a character can get through their deck and how fast a character can end a duel. The next uh, stat we're going to be measuring is the quote unquote skill stat. This stat is dex abilities to win a duel other than just by battle. Skill stats can be affected by stall, they can be affected by burn, they can be affected by instant win conditions as the stat should obviously be showing you, and they can be affected by a very interesting concept of battle but direct damage or piercing damage. So this is more battle but it's a different type of battle. Direct damage is kind of a skill based thing and uh, piercing damage is also a skill based thing. So, those are all the things that go into the skill stat. And the final stat the computer will be measuring when it uh, quantifies each character and their potential will be known as the you can't play stat. The God said no stat. <laughs> Otherwise known as the destruction stat. This stat basically says, my deck says your deck can't play the game. My deck says your deck loses these cards. It's cards that are negation, cards that are destruction, cards that say no Yu-Gi-Oh for you. And that is what this stat Super is Califragilistic by. And after all of those stats are measured, we will go ahead and get into the character's potential, and the potential the computer decides will be based on that. This is Yugi. This is what Yugi was in Duel List Kingdom. Yugi is not confirmed to be here today and probably won't be here today as they are a retired duelist. So please, don't get your hopes up, please. Since you're here early, let me be the one to break it to you that as many amazing characters that will be showing up today, Yugi Mudo is probably not one of them. However, we do at least have their measurement today. And their measurement from Duelist Kingdom was this. Obviously, we might have expected it to be a little higher since he won the freaking tournament, but at the end of the day, his deck was a backup deck and it didn't have that much potential. It wasn't bad, it was an average three-star deck. It's just the fact that it, it, it relied on Ritual. Ritual is a very risky thing to run, as we've all seen, and it just, it, it just took a lot of luck for a deck like this to win, and luck is not a stat we can exactly measure. So, unless you count skill as luck. <laughs> so, Yugi winning that tournament was pretty big. He was definitely lower ranked based on what the computer says. So, in other words, take whatever the computer says today with a grain of salt. A character with a low ranking can definitely still win a tournament. And uh, I hope you're all excited for today. This was just a nice little pre-stream thing where you get to see what the computer is going to do for any character that shows up today.
Hello, hello everybody and welcome to today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era Battle City Tournament! This will be my first ever charity stream supporting HP4 Heroes and of course the Gamers Outreach. We're going to be bringing the kids video games. We're going to be helping kids in the hospital. We're going to be helping freaking nurses that help kids in the hospital today. And we're going to be having a fun tournament. Today is going to be the ultimate day for Yu-Gi-Oh! And without further ado, I think it's time we get into our character roundup. All the characters that will be appearing in today's tournament are about to be announced. When you see a character you like, I want you to do one of three things. One, I want you to comment or, or put in the chat, I love this character. Two, I want you to use emotes if you got them. Hell, we have free emotes, so everybody's got them. Use emotes to show that you're excited to see that character. Or three, donate some money to the kids if you like a character that you see. Any of those three things are going to make me happy, even if the donation is a dollar. I don't care. We're here to help those kids out. So without further ado, let's get into our character introductions of our Battle City Tournament. The first character that will be appearing in the Battle City Tournament is known as one of the best ocean users in the game. This man is the master of the ocean. If you love water creatures, if you love actual ocean creatures, this is your character. Or, if you just like fishing, this is your guy. Yes, everybody, I'm talking about Mako Tsunami! <laughs> The next character we are going to be going over was once a pro-level duelist, but then got knocked out of the pro league. This character was invited today by Seto Kaiba, and their name is Aster Phoenix, the master of the Destiny Hero deck. If you believe in destiny or things like that, this is your guy. He loves cards that are destiny based and cards that are just about seeing the future. So we'll see if Mr. Aster Phoenix can take today's tournament. Let's get into his stats. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious! This character needs no introduction for our manga fans. This is the number one elemental hero duelist. This duelist is known for having some of the fastest fusions in the game, and some of these monsters have the most brutal effects you'll ever see. If you love elemental heroes, if you love super polymerization, then this is your guy. It's Koyo Hibiki! Koyo Hibiki is a high pro ranking duelist and I can't wait to see how he'll do today and I'm hoping that he's ranked pretty high because he is one of our better duelists even if he has messed up here and there. Funny enough this is a character that also is in the hospital quite a bit so being out here making him come out here to support the kids is very fitting for his character in the manga. So good luck Koyo Hibiki, good luck to all my elemental hero fans out there and good luck to the kids watching today. Let's go, Koyo Hibiki! Coming like a moth to a flame Oh, some things never change Never change
This next character is the underdog of underdogs and is most likely the weakest character that will be appearing in today's Battle City Tournament. This is the master of young zombies, the old school zombie deck. It's my buddy Bones! Bones is a ghost kid that loves zombie cards. If you're a fan of undead or just undead movies, anything like, you know, zombie land, I like zombie land. Uh, Bones is here to represent you, even though he is definitely the weakest duelist here today. Good luck to you, Bones, if you're gonna need it. I'm afraid you don't stand a ghost of a chance in a duel against me. This next character is the number one American champion. This is the strongest American duelist we have. This man loves guns, this man loves heavy machinery, and if you love guns or heavy machinery, this is your character! His name is Bandit Keith! Keith is one of the strongest American duelists and he's always getting top 8 in the world, so let's see if today he can get number 1. Come on Bandit Keith, let's see those stats and let's see just how strong you are. <laughs> Our next character is one of the more tactical duelists showing up in today's tournament. Their deck is all about stopping one third of your opponent's deck from working, and their name is Esparoba, the psychic Jinzo duelist. If you're a fan of Jinzo, if you're a fan of Jinzo Lord, if you're a fan of any Jinzo support, or if you know nothing about Yu-Gi-Oh! and you just like psychics or the ability to see beyond, then this is your character. This is what Esparoba is about. Let's see his stats and let's see just how good he is for today's tournament. <laughs> This next character was once the king of games, the highest rank any character can achieve. But this was back when the game was new. This was back when the game first started. You already know who she is. The character we're talking about is... The next character appearing in our Battle City Tournament is currently ranked 4th in the world. This is the 4th strongest duelist based on rank right now. Her deck is so powerful it is known to counter other decks completely by shutting down their graveyard. That's right everybody, it's time we talk about Ashizu Ishtar! <laughs> This next duelist appearing in Battle City is actually quite new to dueling. You could even say that she is a novice, but despite the fact that she's only been in one tournament prior to this, in that tournament she got top four. That's right, everybody. I'm talking about the Red Eyes user, Serenity Wheeler. <laughs> You
You all knew the second you saw Serenity Wheeler that the next character was going to be her brother. That's right, this is the underdog of the anime. This is the man who literally puts his deck together with two cents and glue. He literally glues together the worst cards in the world and makes them good. He's a mid-level pro character in our series, and his name is Joey Wheeler! My absolute favorite character and the guy I want to see win the tournament today. Good luck to you, Joey. I love your warrior deck, and I want to see it work. Sorry, This next character likes to say he's the master of the dark magician. This next character works as one of the grunts of the Rare Hunters, an evil organization in our story. We're going to see just how powerful his spellcaster deck can do. If you like magic shows, if you like anything that has to do with magic, this is your character. His name is Arcana, the master of the Red Dark Magician. These characters are going to be the only duo duelists we see in today's tournament. Two characters that share one deck and one brain between the two of them. That's right, it's the member of the Rare Hunter that likes to focus more on damage and heart hurting the opponent's deck. It's Loomis and Umbra! These Rare Hunter characters got two of the strongest beaters in the game, and of course, they love their mask cards. Our next character is one of the most devilish people in the Underground League. This is one of the most annoying decks you'll ever see. Their name is Seeker, and they are using their banned Exodia deck. Exodia is a deck that can instantly win a duel if you draw all of his pieces. In other words, it's a deck that doesn't win by battle, which is all we're going to see today unless Exodia happens. I'm super excited to see how, how he does today, and I wonder just how strong he'll be. <laughs> Without further ado, it's time we get into the leader of the Rare Hunters, the leader of the evil organization, the strongest member, and once King of Hell. That's right, everybody, it's Yami Merrick! And today, he's ten times stronger than he's ever been because he's got access to one of the three strongest cards in the game. There are three Egyptian God cards, and he holds one of them. For anybody that's been watching the Master Era series, if you've been paying enough attention, you can know exactly when he got this card. If you haven't been paying attention, you're probably surprised by now. But without further ado, let's get into Yami Merrick's stats and see just how much that Winged Dragon of Raw is buffing him. <laughs> The next character in our tournament is the creator of card games. This is the person that actually made the card games we're going to be watching today. His name is Maximilian Pegasus. If you love cartoons or if you love drawing, that is this is your character. This is the man. He loves watching cartoons all day. He loves drawing cards and he loved making this card game. And now he's here today with a powerful tune deck. 
and we're going to see if that Toon Deck can earn him victory with their direct attacks. This next character is one of the most devastating duelists in the underground. This next character is going to be someone you should all fear. Their name is Yami Bokura! This dark dual spirit of the ring is here today to show you the power of Necrofear and with his powerful Ouija board, yes, an actual Ouija board, if he spells out the word final, the duel will automatically end. And I'm not joking, if he spells the word final, the duel ends. That's a real thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, we'll see if his Ouija board gets to work, we'll see if his Dark Necrofear does good work, we'll see if this guy will be unstoppable with his evil Ouija board death. You casting on my promises You know I'm too generous Now I've learned to never help you out Cause I'm done cleaning up your mind. The next character in our Battle City tournament only wants to stop the dark spirit of the ring that we were just talking about. His name is Bakora Rio, the not evil version. Bakora is a character in a lot of our tournaments that always does well in pro leagues. He loves to use burn decks and we can't wait to see how he does today. Obviously he looks a lot like the last character because the last character is just the evil form of this character. Good luck to you Bakora, good luck to your burn deck and maybe some people like you out there. So let's hope your stats are pretty good. <laughs> The next character we're going to be talking about is one of the most evil characters in the world. His name is Strings. <laughs> Everybody say hello to Strings, the puppet of Yami Pegasus. Yami Pegasus was supposed to be here today. He was invited, but he sent his minion Strings instead. Strings is going to be using one of the three strongest cards in the game. That is right, he holds one of the Egyptian God cards, and it is Slifer the Sky Dragon. We'll see if this puppet can do good work. If you like mimes, then this is your character. If you don't, well, even if you like mimes, look at this character. You, there's no way you like them. There's no way. There's no, if you're into that, you're, wow. <laughs> let's get into string stats, and let's all pity the fact that Yami Pegasus did not want to be here. Solar Flare has arrived. Buildings collapse. collapse. Only a few will survive. The world as we know it. This next character is the third highest ranking character in the world. That's right. Out of everybody in the world, this character has the bronze medal right now. They are third in the world, and their name is Rex Raptor, the Dino Duelist. If you love dinosaurs, at least old school dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus Rexes and Raptors, then this is your guy. Rex Raptor loves to go in with a nice beat down deck with his dinosaurs, and it earned him third place in the world. I'm really excited to see how he does today, so let's get into his stats. This next character has always been the closest to becoming King of Games. She has always gotten second place in the highest of high pro, tour uh, pro tournaments. In pro tournaments, she always plays second. Whenever she fights a king of games, she always comes up short. She's almost there, but she is also the character that has the confirmed win on the only undefeated king of games once they earn that title. 
That's right, everybody. We're talking about Taya Gardner, the equip spell master. Taya Gardner uses an old school strategy once uh, popularized back in 2002 to 2005. And today we're going to see her in action. Good luck to you, Taya. Your old school strategies are fun to watch. And who knows, maybe they'll even help, even help you win today's tournament. <laughs> This next character is here as a representative of Kaiba Corp, the people that are hosting today's tournament. This character on the moon is known as the Rose Witch. That's right, everybody. We're talking about Akiza Izinski. Akiza is known as the Rose Witch because she has actual psychic powers that can harm people during duels. And if you love Black Rose Dragon, if you love plants in general, in case you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, if you love plants in general, this is your plant duelist. This is your rose duelist. This is your powerful plant girl. She's super good at the game and she got second place in the last Fortune Cup. Let's see if she can win it all today for Kaiba Corp. <laughs> The next character we're going to be going over is currently ranked second in the world. That is right, everyone. This is the second strongest character in the world. They use one of the fastest decks we've ever seen. In fact, I will say that if there is a tie in speed, she is probably the one in the lead. Even if everyone's tied with the same power level of speed, she is the fastest duelist we know. Her name is My Valentine. If you love Harpies from mythology or Harpies Pet Dragon from the game, then this is your character. She does use Harpies from actual mythology. I hope you guys enjoy her and I hope you guys love to see how fast those Harpies can really be. <laughs> This next character was once known as the King of Hell in the Underground League. This character is the strongest character in terms of pure attack. No other character can match him when it comes to power. That's right, everybody. I'm talking about the Hell Kaiser, Zane Truesdale. This Hell Kaiser is the master of Cyber Dragons, the master of Cyber Darks, and he was once the King of Hell, one of the highest rankings you can the highest ranking you can get in the Underground League. His deck is easily the strongest when it comes to attack points. No one will match him in that league. So, we'll see if attack is all that matters today. If you like somebody that just hits really freaking hard, then this is your character. <laughs> This next character was once known as a king of games. That's right, they were once on top of the mountain. They once held the record as number one duelist in the world. We are talking about the strongest insect duelist. If for some reason you like bugs, this is your guy. His name is Weevil Underwood. Weevil Underwood loves the power of his insects and he loves to put parasites in his opponent's decks. So we'll see how those parasites do today and we'll see if Weevil can prove why he was once a king of games. Strength, 
The next character we are going to be talking about is the two-time Fortune Cup champion, the hero of the satellite, and one of the strongest characters to ever be in our Master Era series. That's right, everybody. I'm talking about the Black Wing Master, Crow Hogan! If you guys like birds, this guy uses a bird deck, the Black Wings, and with their speed and annoying effects, he easily demolishes his opponents. He saved the satellite, and he's won two Fortune Cup tournaments. Let's see if he can do it today. Let's see if Crow and his battle city, uh, in this Battle City tournament can win it all. Good luck. This next character is known as the best buddy of Crow, the best buddy of the Hero of the Satellite. This man loves to use a junk style deck and was once the main character of a show that we don't care about because he did not do good in our tournaments. That's right, today we're going to be talking about Yusei Fudo! Yusei Fudo, the junk dragon deck. This guy, if you love junkyards or the idea of putting scrap together to make bigger things, then this is your guy. This is Yusei Fudo. Good luck to him. He is an engineer, if anything else. An engineer of junk. <laughs> It's time for us to talk about the host of our tournament today. For those of you that haven't been paying attention, today's tournament is hosted by Kaiba Corp. But who owns Kaiba Corp? Uh, no one else other than Seno Kaiba! The master of the blue eyes white dragon. But today, he managed to get his hands on one of the three strongest cards in the game. Last week, he was on the moon, and after talking with a new member of his corporation, he was able to find the strongest card. And now he will be using it in today's tournament. Let's see how Mr. Blue Eyes does it. Let's see just how strong this guy can be. If it wasn't for the Hellkaiser, this would probably be one of the heaviest attackers in today's tournament. Good luck to you, Seto Kaiba. You're definitely going to need it. This next character has not been seen at all in our Master Era series, except in the form of a golden toy. And now, they are here, in the flesh! That's right, everybody. I'm talking about an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. I'm talking about Yami Yugi! Yami Yugi is an ancient Egyptian pharaoh from the past, and all he wants to do is find his way to the future. Luckily today, there are other Millennium item holders, Golden item holders, and he needs to get those items. Good luck to you, Yami Yugi. Also, we're here for the kids today, so please don't hurt anybody. This guy is the master of the Dark Magician, the true master of the Dark Magician, and I can't wait to see him duel. This will be his first time and his first appearance in our Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era series. <laughs> this next character needs no introduction. This next character is currently the king of games. That's right, the number one ranked character. And this one is no fraud. Seto Kaiba, the host of today's tournament, is known as a fraud of the king of games because he was the second king and he just kept losing. 
Well, this character hasn't been losing. This character is a menace. And her name is Blair Flanagan, the number one duelist in the world at this point in time. Today's tournament, she is going to be the character to beat. She is going to be the number one strongest character. And you'd think I'd end our character introductions on her, but I'm not going to. Because even though Blair Flanagan is currently the number one ranked in the world, and we are going to get into her stats, there are characters that are coming after that are even scarier. <laughs> What the hell? Uh... Okay, the dual computer is reacting to something. Apparently, someone is appearing in front of the arena. The Supreme King wasn't supposed to be next. They were actually not supposed to happen at all, but they are here today because this next character is going to be the last character we have for today's tournament. This is going to be the number one supported character by Kaiba Corp. That's right, everybody. Kaiba's been scouting this character for the past couple months. This is the number one duelist from England. This is the undefeated duelist from England. A character that's been sent to the past not once, but twice, and still made it back to our time. And their name is... dumb hat but i am here today it is me cooper sorry about the echo don't worry about it 
It's me, Cooper, everybody. I am here. I didn't want to do it, but people actually decided to donate today. So I want to say thank you all for being here. Thank you all for donating to HP for Heroes. I am here to tell you all that we have done way more than I ever thought we would. And that our first duel of the day will be Yami Yugi. Yami Yugi, the freaking Egyptian Pharaoh versus Loomis and Umbra. Let's freaking go, everybody. We got the big viewers in here. I appreciate everybody for being here today. I'm going to keep this on for a long time because a lot of you did. Uh, here, I'll, I'll turn it up. A lot of you donated $50, so I kind of have to I have to wear the hat longer than I thought. Um, can you hear me better? Is that is that better? Don't worry. That's why it's the early part of the stream. We can we can fix everything up. It's going to be great. So let's do this. It's going to be the first duel of the stream. Thank you all for your patience. Thank you for watching the intro. I hope you all had a lot of fun. I know I did. And uh, let's just, uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's hop, hop on into our tournament. So like I said, the first fight is Yami Yugi versus Loomis and Umbra. And we're going to start. So let's watch these characters go at it. I'm going to turn up my microphone so I can hear the characters and let's do this. So who's going to be where? Yami Yugi is going to be on the player one side. Loomis and Umbra are going to be on the player two side, as you can see now. And we're going to see how they duel. Looks like Yami Yugi started with a breaker, which is very, very nice. And Dark Renewal immediately. Melka didn't get to do a darn thing. The Dark Magician is already on the field. It's gone. And that is a huge shame. It is absolutely, positively gone. So that sucks. Didn't expect that to happen. Wasn't, uh, wasn't prepared for that. Monster Aborn is going to come. Holy shit! Did you just freaking donate 300 goddamn dollars? How did I miss? I need to put. The, I need to have this closer to me. What the hell just happened? You get over here so I can hear things better. How the hell? Super califragilistic expialidocious. The hell was that? That is a huge donation, everybody, and I want to say thank you. We've already passed two thousand dollars, and it looks like life is good. The mask of brutality is giving his opponent an advantage here, but we're gonna see what. Oh, Eternal Soul is really good. Call of the Haunted. Well, oh, Breaker doesn't get his token. Though, our token. Spell counter though, so that's not gonna work. It looks like this guy is screwed. We are we are already got Poke Duels. That's happening, and we're halfway there, guys. We are halfway there. Yeah. So I I didn't I missed it, but um, which character are you guys most excited for? Who was the biggest surprise for all of you? That was a good search. He got himself thousand knives. With thousand knives, he's gonna do it. Cooper in the top three of stream donations. Thank you all so much. You all are amazing. Every single one of you is amazing. Supreme King and Yami Yugi. That makes sense. Or Yugi Mudo. Yeah, that makes sense. A uh, thousand knives goes through. We're going to pop the monster. And we got two Dark Magician. His mom lets him have two. Dark Magic Attack pops the trap. The monsters go in. Mystic Tomato will try to stall. But I don't like its odds. The odds of Mystic Tomato stalling is impossible. But we still... That $300 donation blows my gosh darn mind. I'm trying to... You know, I'm probably going to say goddamn mine, but yes, that is crazy. Thank you guys for the cheer. Thank you for everything. You guys are incredible people. I really do appreciate all of you. Also, this Melkid, I don't think Loomis and Umbra is going to stand much longer. They did not get their ritual spell. They did not get their effect monster. We got another $100 because you all are just nice people. And this is freaking awesome. Uh, we got ourselves a thousand damage going through. We got rid of the mad dog, oh darkness, and dark magician, dark magic attack will end this duel. Game number one will go to the mighty Yami Yugi. All right, so Yami Yugi is going to win game number one. Very proud of him. Dark magic attack was absolutely beautiful. I want to say thank you to everybody here today. If any of my mods can see the donations, I want you to put the big donators into the chat for me. Just because it's very far away from my face. But uh, yeah, because I think it scrolls through the big donations. I just want to know who did it specifically because you guys are incredible. Literally today is about raising money for kids, raising money for the nurses, and you're all helping me do that. I really do appreciate it. And I'm sure everybody at Gamers Outreach helps you. Uh, I mean, appreciates it as well. By the way, that is a bad hand. 
Oh, he should have said Eternal Soul. That could have helped it, but that is a bad hand. It looks like uh, Yami Yugi's in a bit of trouble this time. And the opponent got his ritual. He's totally going to do it. It's time for the advanced ritual art. It's time for the boss monster. Here we go. It's the masked beast ritual monster. At 3,200 attack, there's nothing in Yami Yugi's deck that can actually beat that by battle. Not a single card. Magic Cylinder is nice, but at the same time, you still gotta kill the thing. And 3k dono? Holy crap. Wait, 3k? You mean 300? Uh, if it was 3k, that'd, I, I, would, I would eat my shirt <laughs> on stream. $300 from Red Welch. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. That was the big, big thing that, that blew my mind. And it looks like, well, that actually did stall for a little bit. What does that do? Throw away a spell card, then what? What, you just get a Dark Magician? And it's dead. Yep, that's about right. But Eternal Soul says that uh, he gets it back. So Dark Magician is on the field, but he needs a way to deal with this masked creature. Clip the donation. Thank you. I appreciate that. You guys are good people. And we got Thousand Knives! With the Thousand Knives, he's going to chop down the Mass Beast. The boss monster is dead. He's going to Dark Magic build to summon his boss monster. And it's all gone! TT can't kill Duel. Oh, Duel of Soul protects Dark Magician. The Dark Magician is unstoppable. But they lost their boss monster. They lost their robe, I think. So he's kind of naked right now, but he's doing fine. Manju comes through trying to get the boss monster back on the field. We need another one. And he does have another one already! With the advanced ritual art, he throws away the mass. And Yami Yugi is left wide open. His monster doesn't stand a chance. The mass beast hits too damn hard. 700 damage goes through. And Eternal Soul will save it because you could bring it right back, but you can't beat the opponent. You already used Thousand Knives. What can you actually do? What top deck will save you? That uh, You know what? Maybe. <laughs> He's going for damage. He almost won with just damage. The opponent is down to 600, and he does get a Dark Magic attack as that's all he owns. But like I said, the Mass Beast is going to beat you in terms of power. So the power stat definitely is not in your favor. All right, so Dark Magician's gone. Mass Beast goes through, no problem. Yes, you can keep bringing it back, but you can't beat the Mass Beast. You need to think of something. Also, you got to be very careful because what if your opponent gets um, Mass Beast Desgardius? That thing's even more dangerous. So you got your Dark Magician of Chaos if you want it. It's not going to do anything, but you got it. Exactly, he agrees with me. It's not going to do anything. Yami Yugi is just sitting here trying to think of a way to beat something that big. That is only going to work for one turn, so that was a waste of a card. AI will be AI. Yes, welcome to the most hyped tournament, Lil Sis. Eternal Soul, let's get back out there. Dark Magician is back with 2,500 attack. He will continue to do this until he can think of something. Couldn't Chaos get back knives? Yes, you're right. The AI could do that. Good point. The AI is not going to, though. The AI is going to just be dumb because this is a CPU tournament and we should never trust the CPUs, which is why many people lose money. Well, not money, but channel points on their bets. Yep. Funny that he's using Eternal Soul when I'm doing a full Let's Play of Eternal Duelist Soul right now. Like, it's perfect. Actual perfect. I don't know what that rod does, but I highly doubt it'll matter. Like I said, Yami Yugi is stuck as long as that mass beast survives. And there's game. You should have never summoned that card. Unless you have game right now, there is no reason to summon that card. That is a huge mistake. And Apprentice Magician finally gets destroyed, which is probably what he's been waiting for. And he just got Apprentice Magician, which is fine. And we got rid of Apprentice Magician. And with Apprentice Magician, we're going to get a uh, robe. He loves his robes, people. Creature Swap? Wait. That's still too low. If he summons his Dark Magician, he could just attack Shining Abyss. He could summon his boss monster and attack Shining Abyss. It's already game. Loomis and Umber is about to get 2 0 everybody. Loomis and Umber doesn't stand a chance. Also, we're not going to summon that. We're going to make another Dark Magician. We're going to make the life points make it look like this duel was close, but it wasn't. The game-winning attack goes through Dark Magic Attack. Yami Yugi will be moving on to top 16 of our tournament. All right, this is Yami Yugi's first showing in our tournaments, and he did quite well. Let's go ahead and get rid of their faces, and let's see who's up next. I know you're all excited to find out who it is. I'm going to keep this hat on for a couple, well, a lot of matches, because you guys donated way too much money. I didn't expect that much money this early, so I, I didn't know I was going to have to wear the hat much longer. But I will keep wearing it, even though it makes me feel foolish. 
All right, let's look at our bracket. Let's see who's up next. The next competitors will be Miko Tsunami versus Joey Wheeler. Mako Tsunami is there for our water ocean fans. Joey is there for people that like me, because I like Joey. I'm a Joey fan. Mako's for the ocean fans. Me and the ocean, we ain't too, uh, we ain't good friends. That's for sure. Me and the ocean are not good friends. So, <coughs> let's do it. And we are good. The duel is starting in the background, and I will get their faces on as soon as I can. Big Dono from the Corpse King! Thank you so much for the big donation. I super appreciate that. I appreciate that very much so, and I know the kids will too. We have already passed the $2,500 mark, and by doing so, we are halfway to the Duelist of the Roses Redux mod, which honestly fits way more now just because... And Pogmice, thank you for the 10 bucks. And it fits way more now, and you want to know why? Because the Rose Duelist showed up to today's tournament. Also, that's a Legendary Ocean, and that's really good. Sorry if I got distracted there. I still will find their faces. Don't you worry. A little distraction can't stop me. Alright, there we go. Joey's there. Mako's there. Marauding Captain for Joey. Blue Flame Swordsman will take down the Mother Grizzly. But I'm guessing that was part of Mako's plan. And we got ourselves another attack from the Marauding Captain. And the Jellyfish didn't stand a chance. The Ocean is rooting for Mako. Well, Mako needs to play a little better. Terraform he got all of his terraformings. He literally got all three of legendary oceans. So no matter what, he has his ocean. He is the ocean man. And you know what lives in the ocean? Wait for it. Oh, he didn't summon it. Oh, he is gonna summon it. The Citadel Whale does! Whales live in the ocean. Here he is. And he got a trap card because he loves his trap card. Oh, dang it. I play an uh water deck and tack force. Bet your ass I do. It's the freest money I could ever achieve. All right, and Sea Stealth Attack is busted, so he's going to have a lot of trouble unless he gets his Harpies. Why is Warrior Lady in attack mode unless you're baiting? He might be baiting, but I'm also worried. All right, Joey Wheeler's in some trouble here. Sea Stealth Attack says it's just dead. And Battle Guard Rage! The Battle Guard Rage was the bait. Mother Grizzly goes back to the hand, which means it does not get its effect. But that Warrior Lady isn't strong enough to take down the whale. It's going to take a lot more than just freaking Battle Guards to beat that whale. And now that she's in defense mode, she's as good as dead. I'm afraid that it, for all Joey fans like myself, it looks like Joey's in a really bad spot. Unless he can get some of his Spell Trap Destruction, his, his cards won't last much longer. He also could use Guildford, you're right. But the only way that'll work... Another hundred? Are you serious? God freaking damn it. I'm missing all of it because you guys are just so amazing. Yeah, it did say that. Oh my god, you guys are freaking amazing. I love you all. I want to say thank you all. You are literally giving your money to the kids today. You are doing everything we need to do to raise that money to get some positivity up in these hospitals. And I just, just thank you. You're all amazing. All of you. Total drama as well. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm joking. Don't, don't stop. We need the money. It's for the kids. But seriously, holy crap. Another hundred. You guys are insane. With this much money, we're definitely going to be close. We're, 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 we're on the way. It's, it's really possible. We're probably going to get that Duels of the Roses thing. It just keeps happening. Dark Hole! See Stealth can protect one monster. Dark Hole will destroy two of the monsters, leaving Mako wide open for one turn. Like I said earlier, the card that Joey really needs right now is some Spell Trap Destruction. Command Knight can do 1600, but that's not enough. So, Joey, again, no Harpies, no MST, no Heavy Storm, not going to work. All right, we got ourselves some damage there. Sea Stealth Attack pops the Command Knight, and of course, 1600 damage goes through. The only thing good is that he's got that. The Viewer Deck Tournament is going to be huge. The Viewer Deck Tournament is going to be insane now that there's this many donators. Harpies, I was just talking about you. All right, and does that negate it? Is that the power of the Sea Stealth? Or is that just protect itself? It protected the legendary ocean. That's what's important. It protected the field spell. It protected the field spell. All right. It looks like with a couple jellyfish, he's going to end this duel. The whale is here. The jellyfish is going in. My favorite character, Joey, is so done. But this is only game number one. So Joey could still come back. Joey definitely can still come back. And of course, any of my moderators, if you ever see me miss $100 just because the game is so hyped that I happen to miss it, I do want you to just put it in the chat who, who did it so I can be like, thank you very much. 
because you all are amazing and you all deserve recognition for what you're doing today. Oh, man. All right. Well, that's really good, everybody. We got ourselves a victory for Mako fans. If you like the ocean, then there you go. Thank you, Total Drama. You're freaking amazing. I appreciate your donation. So let's get into game two and hope to God that Joey does not, you know, screw me over. You are my favorite character, and I don't want to end a charity stream early. That would be very distasteful. Don't make me end a charity stream early, Joey. Win this duel. Because if you leave, why am I here? Why did I even show up today? I don't care if this hat... There wasn't a Joey hair hat that I could get. And it wouldn't make as much sense on my head. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Double TT, and he already got his ocean. So he's in a great position. If you like the ocean, man, he's in a great position to win this duel. I'm doing great today. This is a freaking amazing day. A legendary ocean comes through. We got the Kaiyu Shin. And the... Okay, well, that's gone. If Joey loses, we right. Yes, you're, you're right. Thank you, Pizza Planet. You are right. I should have invited Nitrod. Nah, he sucks. Dark hole very early, so that is the only dark hole he has, and it's gone. But it was used to destroy an annoying kind, and it's gone. Yup. Oh, well, nope, it's back. Joey Wheeler gets back the freaking Command Knight. Command Knight goes in, and he's doing some damage to his opponent, which is very necessary. We need that damage. All right, let's, what will Mako do? Mako can't overpower the monster, but he can crash with it, which is perfect. When you got a Mother Grizzly, you want to destroy it just so you could make another monster come out. She gets herself another Grizzly, and now we got a problem. All right, Joey, let me think. Where is your Blue Flame Swordsman? We need fire to beat water. That totally works, right? If you ever have a water problem, like you're drowning, you just need fire to counter it. That, that, that's logic. Oh, crap. That's legendary fisherman number two. Mako is not following the script. Gabe, thank you so much for donating 100 gosh darn dollars. We are getting closer and closer to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses Redux mod uh, Let's Play. And we got Fury of the Kairushin. And Fury of the Kairushin is for real. We got ourselves a TT. And we got Mother Grizzly coming through. Mother Grizzly gets rid of the Marauding Captain, which is super, super good. And 2,400 damage comes through. We're going to redo that one. No, I'm joking. All right, Mako Tsunami actually did it, breaking my heart. My favorite character may not be here today, so I'll have to find a new favorite. Let's watch our fi uh, the fights today, and then I'll decide on a new favorite character. He never drew Fairy Box. He needed it. That was his only hope. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the next fighters in our tournament. The next fighters in our tournament will be Yami Merrick, once King of Hell, versus Prana Taker, once King of Games. Here we go. At 10K, there is a reward at 10K. It's a Tag Force tournament. I'm bringing it back, even though I said I never would. But $10,000 for the kids, they got to do it. I, I, I got to do it. As much as I hated it, I got to do it. And I did enjoy making the turns for you guys. It's just that the AI just drew me, drove me insane. So yeah, here we go. This is going to be a good matchup. King of Hell versus uh, freaking King of Games. But they're both former versions. They're not current versions. Or currently King of, King of Games or King of Hell. So I'm going to look for their faces as we speak. It looks like Prana Taker is the character we're going to be watching, which I'm super excited for. Because uh, Prana is an old duelist that retired a long time ago. If you've been watching our Master Era series, you saw her retirement. Corpse King comes through! We got another $100, everybody! And with the $100, we're that much closer. Thank you all, and thank you for supporting HP for Heroes. Thank you for supporting the kids. I really appreciate that. All right, and we got Zombie Master. Zombie Master is really good. All right. Oh, what? Winged Dragon of Raw is officially in his hand. Should I be scared for him, not not of him? Should I be scared that he has it in his hand? All right, 1800. Yeah, I want Konami to watch the stream and realize the kids yearn for Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> the kids yearn for it. All right, Nudoria is back. They should have attacked, but that's A-OK. -okay. Um, we got Dark Hole. Dark Hole is, I guess, OK. Especially if you go double cost on, you can get your boss next turn. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, there we go. No, no, no. For today's tournament, it's not a match winner. There is no match winners in today's tournament. Today's tournament is focused just on the fun. They will get their best of three. 
More, the more fights, the better. The longer the tournament, the better it is for our fans. That Monster Born was the luckiest top deck in the world because watch what's about to happen. Monster Born revives the Double Cost On. For those of you that don't know, Double Cost On's effect counts as two mon- It's not going to be used for tribute. What a, what a waste. Oh, never mind. It's not a waste. You love the Duels of the Roses? Yeah, I made that one myself. I obviously used Vagabond, but I really messed with it. Thank you so much for being here today, Wookie. I know you have to work, but I appreciate that. Um... There we go, 1400 goes through, damage is good, Prana is doing really good, and now she has two monsters! She could summon her boss if she wants, or go for a safe ill bud. She has the choice, what will she choose? Here comes the boss, despair from the dark! And with that darkness, she's going to destroy the opponent, but holding arms is going to hold it down! That Despair from the Dark can't do anything until that monster on the other side of the field gets destroyed, and you can't beat it by battle. And Gilgirth is just going to sit there because it knows it has nothing to fear. But you know what? I think you're going to tribute for Ill Bug because you're a genius. She's a freaking genius! This is why she was the first King of Games, and that's the end of the duel. Prana Taker takes down Yami Merrick in game number one! All right, let's get into game number two and see if Yami Mera can get a comeback because he fell apart in that duel. Come on, Yami Mera. You're supposed to be this big evil thing. Wow, Miguel's having a rough one today. <laughs> yeah, let's see. But come on, she's retired for a reason. She already was on top of the world at one point. She doesn't have to keep dueling. She's not the only retired person, uh, retired king in today's tournament, though. I know that would had to be the most uh, exciting thing for you guys. Or maybe the Rose Duelist. One of those is probably the most... Or Supreme King. One of those was probably the most exciting. With Axe of Despair, that old zombie card is really strong. Nightmare Wheel says no. That trap card says you're going to sit there and you're going to take 500 damage every turn and you cannot attack me. So, you could still use it for tribute and its effect, but uh, can't do much else. Well, he doesn't want you to use it for tribute or effect, so he's just going to kill you. And now that it's dead, Mystic Tomato can go right in there and do 1,400 damage. So given what her... Oh, wait. Is he going to steal it? Zombie Master is not good! Okay. If your opponent steals Zombie Master, that makes your zombie deck very... It works against itself. That was a great Monster Reborn. That was a very, very great Monster Reborn. Because Zombie Master can steal zombies from your opponent's graveyard. So we'll see if he tries to steal zombies once they get into the graveyard. But uh, Goblin Zombie is a zombie, so he can steal that when he feels like it. And it makes it easier to summon Raw. Ill Bud's in the hand, so if they can get a giant German position, maybe. Just maybe. I just wanted the 18 beater. No, it's also just a good monster. Giant Germ, okay, but I, you don't have enough germs. You started the duel with two in your hand. That's not going to work. I feel like that's a shame. Whoa! It's time for the new mini boss! It's the Egyptian God Slime! And there it goes. They're going in. The Giant Germ didn't stand a chance, and his damage is massive. Here comes the Slime. It did 2,000 damage. And the germs can't survive. It's over. Yami Merrick takes down the king in game number two. We're going to be going into the third place deciding duel. Wookie comes through with a hundred dollars. Yeah, let's go Drunken Dragon Animation. Subscribe to their YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Look at that, everybody. We're going to game three. Yami Merrick is still standing. He is still standing. I appreciate you guys very much. So we are so close to that goal. It's crazy how close we're getting. Double cost on us here. We got ourselves a trap. Everything is looking real good. You're right. I played Kirby with Wookie. That is correct. We did play uh, a lot of games together, but Kirby and the Forgotten Land was one of our one of our favorite Let's Plays together. We did so amazing. I was Dragonfire. He was the Waddle D. Bandana D. All right, double cost on, double cost on. They could tribute for four monsters, but Nightmare Will says no. And Mystic Tomato wanted to die, most likely, and let's see what they get. And they're going to hold down the other cost on. Both monsters are unable to attack. So all he was part of another uh, Kirby Let's Play, but it wasn't that one. But nice try. You were part of a Kirby Let's Play, though, and thank you for being there. Giant Germ comes through. Metal Reflex Slime evolves into Egyptian God Slime and can be used for three tributes. And uh, Uragito comes through. Damage is good. And that's it. Yeah, that's about it. She needs a lot. 
She's gonna need a lot. Smashing ground, I think, works. It doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't target, does it? You need a target, probably. Maybe. I don't know. No, it does work. Good. Get rid of that Egyptian God Slime. All right, the powerful fusion monster is gone, but all of your monsters are locked down, so that really sucks for you. The Costons aren't going to be able to beat your Aguido. Your Aguido defeats one of the Costons. She desperately needs a tribute bonds. No, she's in trouble now. Unless she top decks Ill Bud, it's over. That germ has 2,000 attack. She has to top deck Ill Bud or it's over. Well, that's not bad either. It's not what she needed, but it, it's something. It's something. This duel's close. Now, they're going to lose their attack stat. That germ is going to get a lot weaker. But no raw yet. You're right. No raw. That was his only Egyptian God Slime. And honestly, without it, I'd say he's in a lot of danger. Call the Haunted. Plus, he only has one raw, so he has to get it. He has to get it. All right, Giant Germ comes through. G, G, Gamer! Thank you so much for another $100. I super appreciate that. You all are amazing today. We are raising so much money for HP for Heroes. So much money for the kids. So much money for the nurses. We are doing amazing today. And it's all thanks to viewers like you. And don't forget, as long as you are watching, I will be making a personal donation with all the money we've earned today on top of my own personal money I'm going to throw in just for the kids. And Hate Buster will hate your card. Pop both cards. You take a thousand. But this is for game. Metal Reflect Slime! It may not become an Egyptian god but it's 3000 defense keeps merrick in the duel as long as he's got that 3k defense she can't do a damn thing about it fear from the dark of course now using zombie master throw away fear summon a new monster double cost on double cost on's gonna sit there waiting for a boss monster she does run cards like axe of despair so she could beat metal reflex line by battle if she needs to but we'll see if that ends up coming to pass that would do it that would do it it's a risky way to do it, but that would do it. All right, let's see what he gets. Uh, another Mystic Tomato. He's thinning out his deck. It's a good idea. He has plenty of life points to spare, so he might as well. Boganian was not a good idea, and now it's dead. All right, well, he tried his best. Uh, again, she did find a card that could kill the Metal Reflex Slime, but it would cost her everything. And he's just going to sit there. He knows he knows he has it. All he needs to do is wait for burn cards and win this duel by burn. He loves his burn cards. Zombie Master's gonna bring back Fear from the Dark, and now she's got a full field. And with that full field, she's got lots of, uh, you know, possibilities. He can't summon Raw, he needs three. 100 donators, oh, 50 donors, $10 donations are all kings. But those 100 donators, that shows a lot of love. That shows that you're trying to help the kids for real, and I really do appreciate that. Also, maybe you just want to make a deck, and I, uh, hey, who cares? Who cares? As long as, long as you're making the money go to the kids, I'm happy, all right? Your, your intentions don't matter. Even though I do care if you have positive intentions. Alright, forced to waste the widespread. Yeah, that's good. Okay, if he could find some monsters to get defensive. He's not drawing any of his burn. That's his weakness right now. He's not drawing any burn. Boganian's not good enough. He needs his trap cards. He's drawing a bunch of monsters, I assume. Or else there's no reason for him to keep these cards in his hand. But this is the game decider. This is game three. So he could lose everything off of this one duel. He needs some. Oh, there's her boss. All right. The boss monster is here. It's not strong enough to beat the slime, but it's this close. It is this close. One little buff and it wins. Call of the Haunted comes through. Call of the Haunted gets the Egyptian God. It's Egyptian God slime. And it's all gone. The duel has reset. <laughs> and let's go. Okay. Coffin Cellar is here. Coffin cell. Oh, no, he does have sphere mode in his deck. It's it's in the deck. And her haunted shrine brings back the boss monster. The double boss. She's going for game. She's going to be the biggest upset of the day. She's showing off her speed. Attack. Attack. Wait. What is this? All right. To protect his life points, he summons another monster. He's still there. This hat is for people that donated $50. I'll keep it on as long as... He got lava golem. He got Lava Golem! He did it, everybody! That's the burn he needs! If Lava go shit! Apologies for cursing, but oh shit, indeed. Oh. Oh. He did it. He did it. She's gonna burn. Lava Golem's taking its toll. She needs to tribute it. She needs to find a card to tribute it. I can't believe it. He was going to win. 
He was gonna, or she was gonna win, I mean, but he, he got her. He got her with the old Uno Reverso, the old freaking Lava Golem play. Now it's just, wait a minute. Now there's nothing to pop. One more turn and this duel is over. He clutched that duel so hard. Game number three is going to go to the evil leader of the rare hunters. The old pro prana, or the old king of games pro. Oh no, Rageki! He threw the game! Oh wait, that's, is that 300 burn? It's almost game. But he might have thrown the whole duel. He might have thrown the duel. He had game, but he threw it away. Wait a minute, it's not over yet. Despair from the dark. Haunted shrine. Here comes the boss. MST. Curse of Anubis, it's over! It's the judgment of Anubis! And Anubis says you lose the duel! And your soul... Oh no, Pyramid of Wonders saves the day. Pyramid of Wonders saves the day. It's not over yet. Pyramid of Wonders literally saved the whole day. But he does get... What is, I do not know what that is, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that card is past my time period. I don't know what that is. This duel's insane. It is... Throw away Egyptian God Raw, get a Monster Aborn. All right, he got a Monster Aborn. He's using Monster Aborn. He's summoning the Slime Monster. And the Slime Monster is going to come in for game. It's just enough to beat the boss. He's going in with the punch. And with the burn of Coffin Cellar, the duel is truly over. Prana Taker was amazing in today's tournament. She may be retired, but she still got it. But at the end of the day, Yami Merrick's not retired. So look at this. Yep. Yami Merrick has done it, everybody. Very clutch duel. Very good duel. Loved every second of it. But she did lose, sadly. If you're a Prana Taker fan, I'm afraid she did fall. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. The next characters in our tournament will be Yami Bakora versus Strings. All right, Yami Bakora uses a slow deck kind of like Yami Merrick, and Strings uses a special summoning slime deck. To summon Sly for the Sky Dragon. So let's see who's going to win this duel. Sly for versus Destiny Board. That's right. Now I'm going to go find these characters as we speak. And we're going to see who's the best. Gamers Outreach. Thank you guys so much for following. Thank you guys. We're doing super good work today. And uh, thank you for inviting me to do today's stream for the charity of HP for Heroes. I really do appreciate it. Uh, looking at this, we got ourselves uh, Yami Bakora. Let's get our strings character in here and let's see which character is stronger. Will we get Sly for the Sky Dragon? Will we get Destiny Board? Who's going to weigh the hell? Okay, well, the CPUs are going to summon it when they summon it. I wouldn't have done that. But Oh, that's why. You lost your good defender. You can't search. According to this card, you can't do nothing. There's the Destiny Board, but you can't draw cards except during... Oh, it's not drawing cards. It's searching, isn't it? Uh-oh. I think Destiny Board still works. They're in trouble. And we got another set. If they can get three tributes, they will get Sly for the Sky Dragon. Destiny Board has spelled F-I. If he spells the word final, the duel is automatically over. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh! works, people. And yes, if you're thinking about the Japanese version, it's D-E right now for death. So there's a thousand burns. And there's three monsters. He could summon Sly for, but that's not what Bakura does. Now, what are you going to get? So, the slime comes back as a tribute monster, but you need more than two. Mother Grizzly's going to come in to destroy the gross ghost, which should have never been in attack mode in the first place. And there are two more. All right. We have Finn, which should be the end of the duel right there because it's spelled final in its own way. But there's still the A and the L, and Slifer is a possibility right now. Revival Jam is gone. Revival Jam will be back. Mother Grizzly is here. Mother Grizzly's going to search into Revival Jam. Let's bring it back. If he has Slifer in his hand, it can be summoned. But will it be enough? That is the question. All right, main phase one, battle phase. He does not have Slifer. Do not get your hopes up. This duel is not looking good. If he doesn't draw any spell, what is that? If he doesn't draw any spell trap destruction, there is only one turn left. Yami Bakora is about to spell final. He's about to end this duel. The attacks go through. Revival Jam is gone. Revival Jam is gone. You get one turn. Oh, what does that do? Quick turn. I'm sure that'll be helpful. I'm sure there's a reason. Shallow Grave is just going to get back some monsters, making it even easier to tribute, but sure. Um, unless you do 7,200 damage in one turn or draw MST or Harpies or Heavy Storm, you lost the duel. 
choose. How will you lose this duel, Strings? Strings, in his final turn, will play Premature Burial, leaving him with critical life points, but life points don't matter in this duel. And he attacks. And he loses. He gave up. He did not draw Slifer. Final! Here comes the Destiny Board! With the Ouija Board, we spell the final. And with it comes your doom. That is it, everybody. Yami Bakura has won the first duel of the match. Honestly, that should be the match because he won with that effect. But no, today we're getting more duels so we can earn more money for HP for heroes and for the children. So let's do it. Let's get into another duel and let's see what's happening. Come on. Can Strings get a comeback? Can he actually get Slifer soon enough? Or will Yami Bakura get his destiny board too early like he did in the first duel? All right, this is going to be rough. Yeah, it looks like Miguel's having a rough day and Arturo's just making fun of him. That's rude. And that's a weird hand. That is not good for Yami Bakura to only have monsters. Granted, oh, that's really good for Strings. Strings got his Revival Jam with Carter's Safe Return. That is amazing. That, never mind, that fixed the whole thing. The cops are coming. Shh, shh, everyone, shh, silencio. Okay, we're good. Uh, no, there we go. We got the monsters going in. That was a terrible play. Now, it was one. You're right. That's one. They had three in their opening hand. Destiny board comes through. Again, you must destroy that spell or trap. Everybody's got spell trap destruction in their deck. At least two or three. And, uh, well, you didn't want to draw that either. And these defensive monsters aren't going to let you win. This is the power of Makora. He has defense with strategy. And that's how he wins duels. Instant win effect with defense to stall for time. And Strings just needs three monsters to draw to summon Slifer. But Slifer is not going to be enough anymore. He also needs a uh, heavy storm. He needs it. His opponent got Destiny Board so early in both games, it feels like he's cheating. I honestly feel bad for Strings here. I think Bakora's is just going to do... Wait! It's Slifer the Sky Dragon! Slifer's home, everybody! And the Revival Jam comes back, which means we draw one card. It's got 3,000 attack. But he has to draw something. If he could just pop the Destiny Board, he will be able to win with Slifer no problem. He just needs to pop the Destiny Board. Slifer, do something. You got 4,000 attack. Come on. No, that's not enough. No, at least we get to see Slifer before it's over. But I'm thinking that there's one thing in this world that could stop an Egyptian god. And that's a random Ouija board held by the Dark Necrofear. Here it comes. The evil Ouija board wins around the almighty Slifer. So as cool as Slifer is, it's over. What a shame. Final. <laughs> I like how you guys spelled out how the board spells it out. That's super funny. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get into our next fight in the tournament. I'm sad for Strings. He at least got Slifer once, but we wanted to see it do something. But he got a bad matchup. I think he got a bad bracket, personally. So the next fight is going to be the Rose Duelist from Duelist of the Roses in their first ever tournament. And they are going to be fighting Serenity Wheeler, who got top four in the only tournament she's ever performed in. Serenity uses Red Eyes Black Dragon in our tournaments. And Rose Duelist, you're going to have to wait and see because their deck is going to be interesting. So let's watch these characters go at it. Let's see who's the strongest. Which character do you want to bet on? And I want to say thank you for donating the $50. I'm keeping this hat on because of you and because of Caliber and because of everybody. I appreciate all of you. You are all amazing people. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got here. The Rose Duelist is a new character, so I need a little extra time finding their face. But look at look at how they look. I, I, I'm proud of how I made them look. I like the Rose Duelist. So their hand seems like a brick, but it can fix itself quite quickly. All right, here comes the Black Rose. All right, the first Rose card we're going to see is the Fallen Angel of the Roses. And with this card, we're going to have to fight a Red Eyes, aren't we? All right, that's not going to work out so well. Do we have an invader here? All right, damage comes through. Red Eyes Baby Dragon's willing to destroy itself for one reason and one reason, and one reason only. It's because we're going to get ourselves Red Eyes Black Dragon. The Fallen Angel didn't stand a chance, but two counters is really good. Two counters on the World Tree is really, really good. So let's see what you can get. Oh my, oh, but it got banished. It's okay, there's another one though. 
All right, with two counters, Red Eyes couldn't stand a chance, but why did you play that in attack mode? That I do not understand. It's just sitting there. Oh, Mass Dragon to match it. Call of the Haunted brings back Red Eyes, baby. Okay, they don't want that much power. And it looks like Serenity has the Rose Duelist on the ropes. The Rose Duelist needs to find a way to uh, throw a card into the grave. If the Rose Duelist can simply throw a card into the grave, they could summon their boss monster and control this duel like it's nothing. But how are they going to do it? What card can save them? Not that one. Get him, or Serenity! Get this guy! Let's go! Everybody that bet on Serenity, everyone that believed in Serenity Wheeler, here comes the Red Eyes Black Dragon! Let's go for um, Inferno Fire Blast! Inferno Fire Blast comes through, the damage is good, and game one goes to Serenity. Burn the force, that's right, fire beats grass, we should have known. We should have known. All right, so we're going into game number two. Just to let you all know that I actually keep track of the Master Era series, the Rose Duelist is in cahoots with Kaiba Corp. And for some reason, that anyone that gets in cahoots with Kaiba Corp suddenly becomes a fraud. But maybe they just had a bad hand. It's possible. All right. That's a plant. Funny enough, the opponent has a plant monster, so if they get a world tree, that'll be valuable. That's a good card, too. Uh, but, oh, Revival Rose into Fall. You love that You love that angel card, don't you? Magic Cylinder's gonna hurt. That Magic Cylinder's actually gonna hurt. That's not good. I'm sure they'll figure something out, but that is not good. I was actually thinking about taking this hat off, but I'm not gonna be able to, because someone put 50. Oh! Red Eyes with Chain! With this card, nothing can stop them now. The angel will be stolen. It will be devoured. And of course, the Red Eyes Iron Knight goes in with a 2400 attack stat, and it's unfreaking stoppable. That is the power of Serenity Wheeler. End this man's career. Well, that card could stall if you really need to. Once you donate the $100, you can just uh, send me a little whisper through Twitch. You whisper through Twitch, and we're good to go. Send me your deck list and we're good. No problem. Everything. Send your character that you want to use. You can send your profile pic to me on Twitter or... Yeah, I think Twitter works. You can find my Twitter. It's attached to... It's in my About section. You can find me. And that's a Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wall of Thorns. We were waiting for that. And they held back Wall of Thorns for a very long time, but the Rose Duelist is fighting hard. Serenity Wheeler almost had him, though. He's almost out of life points. Mystic Tomato would be a good choice. Call of the Haunted comes through. Casual Cooper's dad donated $200. My dad donated $200? Hell yeah! Thank you, Pops. I appreciate you. I love you, Papa. And by the way, the Rose Duelist just knocked her out of the park. It looks like a rough duel, but I appreciate that. I uh, really appreciate that, Pops. I really, really thank you. Um, let's go ahead and let's get into the next duel. Te quiero mucho. Let's get into game number three. Does Whisper allow links? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. And if it doesn't, then, you know, just send me, uh, you know, just uh, send me, what is it? On you? no, maybe not YouTube. YouTube doesn't allow links. On Twitter. Send me on Twitter. All right, I'll take your dad's deck list. You know. <laughs> no, you won't. He can build his own. He's a, he's a grown man. And, okay, the World Tree's a good start, Mystic Tomato's a good start, uh, but the Fallen Angel card's not as good until you already get started. Oh, wait! She got Future Fusion. This duel's over. It's already game three, but the duel's over. There's no chance. Mystic Tomato comes through. Let's see what happens. Mass Dragon versus Mystic Tomato. Oh, man, here comes the special summon. And Mass Dragon comes through, and Mystic Tomato comes through, and they're gone. And Mystic Tomato comes through, and Mass Dragon comes through. I can't believe we keep doing this. The Rose Duelist is fighting for his gosh darn life. The World Tree is building so many counters. It's such a good play from the Rose Duelist. But they need to use those counters to stop Future Fusion before they get those Red Eyes cards in the grave. Once those Red Eyes cards are in the grave, things get dangerous. Revival Rose is an interesting choice. You used your counters to special summon. You know what? I disagree with it, but at the same time, I'm curious what your real plan is. Everybody, Meteor Black Dragon in one turn. We are one turn away from... Oh, dear God. Yes, do that. Do that immediately. 
That could have been bad. That could have been very bad. Still, it's coming in one turn. And we have a tribute summon for Meteor Dragon, which I think... Oh, no, it's not a misplay. <laughs> they have a re... Oh, no, they didn't. No, it was a misplay. Either way, here we go, everybody. 3,500 damage comes through. Wait, you have to be verified? That's so stupid. Just just post it on Twitter and like link and just link me, and I'll, I'll find it. Or not link me. How do, how do you say that? I don't use social media. Thank you for the $50, by the way, but damn it. I don't use social media. Ever. <laughs> it's not my thing. Okay, you can pop it, um, but there's still one more coming at you. Thank you, Tribal Guys. See, they know how to use social media. There, you just talk to them. They should run the YouTube channel. Why do you guys put me in charge of these things? I don't know what to do. And let's end this duel. The Rose Duelist is the Rose Vault. Maybe they're not the fraud. Let's see how far Serenity goes. And Serenity Wheeler will take the duel. Serenity is going all the way, everybody. If she can beat this duelist, she can beat anybody. So let's go ahead and let's move forward. Look, as hype as characters can be, let's just enjoy the intros. Because past the intros, nothing can stop the AI from being dumb. They can't summon their Rose Monster until they put a card in the grave. They never got their Foolish Burials. They never got anything to discard cards. None of their Cyber Morphing, nothing. So let's go ahead and let's get Serenity uh, Wheeler over here. The next duel is my Valentine, the Harpy Lady Girl that has is ranked 2 in the world right now versus another former King of Hell, the Hell Kaiser. All right, the former King of Hell, the Hell Kaiser versus uh, my Valentine. You gotta love Mai, she's got powerful, fast harpies, or you gotta love Hellkaiser. He is the biggest, uh, strongest attacker in the game. Serenity's coming for Kaiba, you bet your ass she is. She's, she'd kick his ass. I honestly think Serenity would beat Kaiba's ass, like, easily in this tournament. Kaiba is a fraud, through and through. There is no denying that, as a fact. All right, my Valentine is ready to go, they're ready to go. Thank you for your patience, I know it takes me a little time just to get the character set up, but... It's technology, guys. It's not going to be fast. I got to do it myself, after all. And we're doing good. I feel we're doing good. Hellkai's is ready to duel. My Valentine is ready to duel. Let's get into game number uh, one. The power of speed versus the power of power. Hysteric Sign is good. That starts with her speed as she already owns the Elegant Egotist in her hand now. She summons Flying Kamikiri, which shows that she did not have any of her Harpies to start, but that's fine because Flying Kamikiri is fast. Also, they could have summoned that just to destroy the Mass Dragons. That's also a strategy. Twin Head, it's too strong, though. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Yeah. Elegant Egotist comes through, and we're going to summon Harpy Lady Sisters and Harpy's Hunting Ground because after the fact makes a lot of sense because you needed to wait until your opponent plays Spells and Traps. Oh, uh, that's a good card in its own way. Cyber Dark Horn is going to take one of the dragons from the grave and become even stronger. And Mirror Wall! With the Mirror Wall, they lose half their attack points. They lose their equip. And now she's in the lead. But she needs to summon a Harpy to destroy swords. If she does not summon a Harpy Lady, she can't beat swords. Mirror Wall is not worth it for her. That's a Harpy Lady. That's the... I understand that's a good effect too, but swords was better. I'm just saying. You know what? I get it. Harpy's Feather Duster and Harp... Oh, wow. No, no, that's really good. You get three cards? Never mind. She made the right play. She has time, right? She has time. Let her let her search while she has time. She doesn't have to go super aggressive now. Uh, especially since he has nothing. He's screwed. Harpy's Feather Duster. All she has to do is summon another Harpy to destroy swords. Pot of Greed for fun. Let her cook indeed. Uh, elegant Egotist for fun. Harpy Lady 1 is about to pop that Swords. Swords is gone. The field is open. That's another summon. They destroy a trap. It was dark. They don't even need it. Holy crap. The AI is so confident that they popped their own Dark Hole. She is one of the fastest duelists in the world because she has five monsters just like that. And the Chimera will not save the day. This duel looks like it's over. Unless he top decks Cyber Dark Heal, I would say it's over. Cyber Dark kills his best chance. Pot of Greed. You know, I never thought about Pot of Greed. What, what did Pot of Greed do? That's not Cyber Dark Heal. Cyber Dark Horn is okay. It's not strong enough, though. It does destroy one of the buffing cards, but again, you're not strong enough. Monster Born just to protect yourself, probably? Yeah. I think he's doing this out of desperation. He's scared. He's scared. Speed beats power in this first duel. There's no way you can keep up with her. Plus, she's just going to pop your equip. Watch this. 
And she's too damn fast. She summons five monsters immediately. What are you going to do? What can you even do against her? She blows up your card. She she didn't even use any of her balls. She used the mini ball. She has Harpy Lady Sisters here. But she just destroyed the Hell Kaiser. The second strongest duelist in the world right now is proving why she is that rank. So let's go ahead and get into game number two and see if she could 2-0 this guy. Or if he'll get a stronger start. Because this deck isn't slow. It's just that he's going up against the fastest in the universe. And I can't wait till that that new DBZ game comes out. Sparking, whatever. I don't care. I want to play it. Me and my friends play Tenkaichi 3 all the time. I want to play the new one. Sparking 0. Tenkaichi 4 is basically what it is. All right. Harpy Lady Sisters is there. Harpy Lady 1 is there. She has a very powerful start. But so does Zane. In my opinion, this is great. And what is that card going to do? Throw away Power Wall? You don't need to. That's fair. Power Bond? Mm, I don't know about that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Holy crap. He has no patience. No patience. He summons Chimera Tech. And he's got 4,800 attack stat. He's on top of the world. It's gone. All my excitement. Just gone. It did cost her everything, though. And Future Fusion comes through and Power Wall. Both of them have nothing. Well, nope, she gets to search. They pretty much have nothing. Power Bond does 2400 burn for its amazing effect. It was not horrible. He still did good. Problem is this. Harpy Lay Sisters is back to end this duel. So is Harpy's Perfumer. I don't really know what that does. Harpy's Hunting Ground can pop Future Fusion, meaning there's no chance to come back. Thank you, everybody, following today. I'm sorry if I can't keep up with everything that's happening. The duels are so intense, but I still want to say thank you to all my donators. And once again, uh, to my mods, if you ever see donations that I do miss, just put it in the chat for me because I'm not trying to miss these donations. It's just the duels are so hype, and there's no way around that. So the Power Wall does save the day. He bought himself one last turn in this tournament, but she's just too damn fast. She is just too... Oh, it's over. She is just too damn fast. You can't beat my Valentine. Speed overcomes power in today's tournament. And there it goes. The fastest duel in the, dueler in the world beats the strongest dueler in the world. All right, Zane, you've ruined a lot of people's days, but my Valentine, you did great, because I know a lot of people still like my Valentine out there. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. I remember a time in our Master Era series where everyone thought my Valentine sucked. The next duel is going to be the current king of games, the current strongest duelist in the world, and the character to beat in this tournament, Blair Flanagan, versus the creator of card games, Maximilian Pegasus. All right, this is the character to beat, everybody. This is the strongest character in today's tournament based on rank. All right, let's go find them and let's see what they can do. Blair is ready. Pegasus is ready. I am ready. I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, no, this is this will affect the lore. This affects the lore for sure. Oh, there's things that happen. Oh, he got to kingdom. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Toon he actually searched it. We're in trouble. Toon Kingdom's busted. Harpies does... I don't even think... Does that work? It does. Okay. Well, he lost Toon Kingdom very quickly. And apparently she's going to... Oh, she's the king of games for a reason. She lost Pot of Avarice, though. That's big. Losing Pot of Avarice is big. Uh, Wow. She's throwing away a lot of stuff very early. Jane goes in for 1,800 damage. She had a great start. She didn't hit any wolves somehow, but she had a great start. Judgment Dragon's been hit, and there's no Pot of Avarice. She has to win this duel without pot, uh, without Judgment Dragon. It is official. She has to win this duel without the Judgment Dragon. All right. Premature Burial comes through. We got ourselves Goblins and Cannon. Don't use your Cannon. Oh, my God. Well, AI will be AI. We saw freaking Playmaker making those plays as well. But a 2300 beater is still good. He just needs to fine-tune World. He may not have Toon Kingdom any world, but uh, Toon Kingdom anymore, but Toon World still is good. And with her effect, yes, yeah, she'll be able to pop that card. And we have a tribute. And it's the dragon! This is not the dragon that we wanted, Judgment Dragon, but this card is super good. And this is over. It's over. It has 3,500 attack. It does piercing. He doesn't have Toon World. It's just... Oh, that... Mm. 
That's a pretty good top deck, but it might not save the day. What? They did that to gain 300 attack. And there goes the damage. The damage is good. 3,800 comes through. Oh, what is this? Why didn't you do that during the battle phase? That's weird. Thank you, Nightburn, for the $10. I very much appreciate that. And I'm sure the kids do, too. I'm pretty sure she had game and she just didn't go for it. I mean, she still has game. I don't, I don't see how she can lose this. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> I searched the strongest card of my deck with no means of summoning it. Good job, dude. All right, GG. Game number one goes to the current strongest character in the world. Let's go ahead and let's do it again. And hopefully, you know, he gets Tomb Kingdom and she does not start Harpy's Feather Duster because that, that was unlucky. That was purely unlucky. I do not blame him for that. Oh my god. You know, I can't see the number from here because I'm dumb and I never set things up to, to make it easy on me. What are we at, money-wise? How close are we to 5k? It's just too far away. My brain can't do that. Oh, we got Tomb World at least. That's not the best, but it's something. Alright, we're at $3,473. Thank you all so much for raising so much money. She got Harpies again. That's just cheating. Uh, thank you so much for raising so much money. We are 1500 away from getting our goal of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses Redux Mod. Uh, let's play. And you know, since it was for the kids, I'll make it a good one. I'll, I'll, I'll put in a little extra stuff for fun. All right, there we go. How do we confirm the account that did bet on stream? What do you mean? Uh, confirming the accounts are easy. You just have to send... Uh, the Twitter thing doesn't matter. You still got to whisper to me here. Just whisper to me here. You don't have to whisper me all the information if you don't want to. But since you're all already here on Twitch, it'll be easier if you just whisper it to me. Yeah. And then the other stuff, you'll just be like, oh, I'm posting it on Twitter now. This is my account. Yada, yada. Very easy. And Lila's there. It's a freaking hell, man. Pegasus, get out of here. Get out of here. You never got to keep your Tomb World. Always got popped. You just kind of suck. <laughs> Blair Flay, it's not his fault. He had to go up against the King of Games. That is not his fault. All right. So Blair Flanagan is, wow, we got a Weevil believer in chat. I like that. Somebody in chat actually believes in Weevil more than Blair. And you know what? He is here today, so we'll see if he can do it. Blair Flanagan's going to move forward. The next duel is the Supreme King. One of the biggest surprises for today. Once again, I think I'd like to ask, which was your favorite surprise of the day? Which character was your, and before the duels happened, just like, oh my god, I can't believe it's them. That Like, I can't believe they made it in. All right. Supreme King is here, and Supreme King will be taking on the mighty Rex Raptor. Rex Raptor is currently ranked three in the world. Yugi Boy, of course, of course. A lot of Supreme King fans, of course. There we go. And let's do it. The Supreme King, a brand new duelist versus the almighty, the all-powerful Rex Raptor and his Dino deck, which got him third place in the last pro tournament, making him the third strongest character in the world. I know it doesn't seem like it fits him, but he earned it. He earned it. He beat a Shizu to get that bronze medal. All right, to start the duel, we got ourselves a Pot o Greed. And Pot Greed gets Fossil Dig. And Fossil Dig gets him Gillosaurus. And Gillosaurus, you can just summon it. It doesn't even cost you anything. And you just summon it. It doesn't cost you anything. All right, pretty good. Two Gillosaurus and a set. Love that start. Uh, the opponent, on the other hand, already has Supreme King's Castle. And with this castle, we're going to summon Stratos. And with Stratos, we get Avion. And it's time to call the powers of darkness. It's time for the Infernal Prodigy. Or Inferno Wing. Sorry, I was thinking of someone else. That's the normal monster. Whatever. S screw you. Don't make fun of me. All right. So, monster goes through. Damage is massive. That's right. This is the evil hero fling wingman version. And it's done good work. So, damage is good so far. What are you going to do? Monster Reborn. Sure, sure. Not going to work. But uh, wait. Does he have D to B? There's no way, right? He does. He's got it! His dinosaur! The ultimate card in his deck! But the Supreme King's Castle throws away Dark Gaia and he gains attack points! He takes too much burn! He didn't know what the field spell did! 
The field spell. If you throw away a card from your deck or extra deck that's an evil hero, your monster gets buffed by 200 per its level. Per level. And that is the end of the duel. Supreme King ends that on turn four. The unbeatable D to B was defeated. <laughs> it was defeated by a field spell. He actually got his boss in again. That was just like when he fought, um, what's that guy's name? Siegfried. Where like he gets his boss and immediately loses the duel. That that is that is a shame. Thank God Supreme King's not in Poke Duel. You got a good point there. Even the new update that's coming out, I don't have to worry about that. Which, by the way, we're doing the Poke Duel series now. You guys did earn that. I will do it once the update is released to the public. Once the update's released to the public, I'll start recording it. Alright, so Fossil Dig comes through. We got Gillosaurus. And Gillosaurus is going up. Oh, Pot Agreed, why not? Uh, Gillosaurus is going to be free. Gillosaurus is going to be free. Nothing wrong with that. It's the same start as last time. They got the exact same cards as last time. And Dark Fusion doesn't exactly work with your current hand. Sparkman's going to shock up some dinosaurs, but ain't going to do much other than that. Yeah, D to B is struggling just a little bit. Not the, not the most struggle, but a little struggle. TT is going to destroy every single card in the game, and that means Supreme King has full control. Supreme King's going to draw a new monster that you guys have never seen before. And now we're going to go ahead and summon Sparkman. And Sparkman's going to continue its onslaught, probably into a tribute set or just a dandelion, either or. So that's pretty freaking good. What are you going to do now? He had to search one of those Gilosauruses. Don't forget, he did search it. And we're going to go ahead and destroy a monster. And it looks like you're left with just one guy. That giant Rex is a little too giant, if you ask me. Whoa. That card only works when he gets his field spell. I will say, that card, is a, as good as it is, it only works once he gets his field spell. Hey, thank you so much, Viking bro. Thank you for being here today, my uncles. Always good to see you guys. Always good to see my family support. Especially since the support's been so good today. We've already raised $3,400, apparently. And more, I just can't see the little number. Uh, Two-headed King Rex on main phase two was dumb, but the rest of that made sense. Magic Cylinder's not going to be useful. And it looks like this guy's done for. Oh yeah, I do st uh, plan on doing the Capsule Monster series still. I'm just enjoying my break from it. Uh, Giant Rex didn't stand a chance, but Hyper... Oh, his Ace Monster 2 head goes through! Magic Cylinder is going to send it right back at him, though. There is a major advantage right now going to the opponent. I would say Rex Raptor still has complete control of this duel. Unless he draws a monster, that that's not good. Dark Fusion! Everybody say hello to one of the strongest monsters! It's Malicious Bane, the boss monster! Obliterate the fool! First, let's get a new monster. It's time for Malicious Edge. Obliterate the opponent's field. Eat their attack points and attack the opponent. Supreme King destroyed Rex Raptor, rank 3. So the Supreme King is obviously better than a Dino Duelist. That's not good. My cats are good. My cats are good. We don't really have money sleeping in my room right now, so we're not going to... There's no cat cam just yet, but maybe later. Uh, yeah, no, Supreme King is uh, here to win today's tournament. I don't know if you noticed. He's here to win today. He just destroyed the top three duelist. Oh, he's up against a king now. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if he can win. The next duel is... The old king of games, the retired king that did not lose his crown, but left his crown to the people. This is it, everybody. And let's see what happens. Will it be Yugi Mudo or will it be Bones? A duel that never happened in the anime, but hey, it's going to happen here, whether you like it or not. Um, wow, I haven't used Bones in forever. Let me go find that guy. Yes, Yugi is back. I'm super excited to see him. This is our king of games, out of retirement for the kids. I'm not saying he's out of retirement in complete, you know, in total. He's just out of retirement in the kids for now, or for the kids for now. Uh, let's see what we got. We got Yugi Mudo. We got Bones. We got Powerful Duelists. Who is going to win? Now, Bones is confirmed to be the weakest duelist here today, but I believe in my bow. Oh, but count it. Count it. That's one. Hell, he almost has three Call of the Haunteds for crying out loud. You can count. That's two, I mean. That, that counts as two. Yeah. Master Duel. 
Oh, we got a field spell. Field spell lets him search his black luster soldier, his old boss monster, and he summons Gaia the Fierce Knight. But this is Arisen Gaia the Fierce Knight. His Arisen Gaia the Fierce Knight destroys the monster. Pum King is not strong enough. All right. Dark Hole would be great. Dark Hole could be used to destroy the Pump King and the Arisen Gaia. With Arisen Gaia. I like that, Rick. That's really funny. Call of the Haunted! Pump King is back! And with the power of everything, he's going all in. Yugi's wide open. Yugi takes 12. Yugi takes 12. Yugi takes 18. And the king, our former king of games, is below half. But he uses a trap to search. There's a Gaia. There's a BLS. There's a BLS. He gets no BLS. What a shame, but that's fine by me. Because guess what? Ritual spell time. Yugi Mudo searches for his ritual spell. The Black Luster Ritual. It feels like we're back in old days. Armageddon Knight throws away another card. Black Luster Ritual activates. We throw away two Gaia the Fierce Knights to summon one Black Luster Soldier. And Black Luster Soldier with its unlimited attack stat. Now a 3,000 attack stat comes through. And Yugi holds game right now. He holds control of the field. Dark Hole has already been used. Bones has to think of a tactical way out of this. Pyramid Turtle is going to try and get a better monster. The better monster is... Mizuki. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Pyramid Turtle is going to try and get a better monster. The better monster is... Mizuki. That's right. For those of you that follow our Master Era series, Yugi was the champion of Duelist Kingdom, one of the biggest tournaments we've ever held. And we got ourselves three. Blackluster Ritual again, but does he have his other ritual monster? He does! Holy crap! Here he comes, everybody! It's time for the Black Luster Soldier! He's got two! And on top of that, he also has effects on Gaia. He has BLS. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Envoy. Okay, can't summon it. <clears throat> I assume. Either that or he's taking it easy on this kid, which I would not blame him for. Ooh, I'm going to lose my voice very early in today's tournament. I'm not going to be able to last, that's for sure. But it's for the kids, so I don't care. Just don't expect any YouTube videos for a while. All right, that could actually win Bones the duel. That's a burn card. That burn card can win Bones this duel. Bones is going to destroy the monster. He could search out a zombie card for burn. It's Armored Zombie! All right, Bones, just burn Yugi to death. You could burn Yugi and win the duel that way. And BLS! It's over! Yugi summons his boss, the Black Luster uh, Soldier Envoy of the beginning. He destroys the whole field. He's wide open. I'm losing my voice. And 6,000 damage goes in. Yugi Mudo has won game number one. With the same card he used to win Duelist Kingdom and a new card for today's tournament. All right, going into game number two, I know Bones can win if he just gets his burn out, so let's see if he can get a little luckier this time and uh, hope for the best. Bones did good. Yeah, Bones did good. Thing is, I really like Bones, and I already lost Joey. Bones got a bad bracket, in my opinion. Um, Let's see. Pump Princess would be a perfect start. Get that on the field immediately. You want that card dead as soon as possible. The sooner the better. And there you go. And there's the burn card that can win you the duel against Yugi. Yugi's deck has no protection against burn. Well, that card has 2k defense. What is that card? That card, for those of you that don't know, because I don't know, is a card that looks like BLS but tiny. It's tiny BLS. That would work, technically. Dragon Zombie's here. Dragon Zombie goes in. And we lost a guy, the Fierce Knight card. Gaia card is gone. And we got another Gaia card. It's the Gaia that just summoned itself, apparently. Hello, Arisen Gaia. I think we're about to feel a dark hole into a dragon zombie. If I were Bones, I would dark hole into a dragon zombie, do burn, leave my opponent wide open, and win the duel. Or you could do that. No, you're going to do my strategy. I like that. I appreciate that you, uh, you go with my strategy. So the reason this strat works is because he gets to do burn and he does so much direct damage that Yugi has no life points left and has no chance. And since Yugi didn't get his field spell, he doesn't have a chance. He's going to run out of car. What? What? Karibo? What are you doing? <laughs> the original hand trap. Everyone bow down. 
to the original hand trap Karibo. Karibo saved his life points. He has another guy of the fierce knight. He can afford. He can afford it now. And now he's going to get lightning vortex most likely. All right, Lightning Vortex comes through. We take away Dragon Zombie because, honestly, Pump Princess and Dragon Zombie are about to be summoned. And my buddy Bones is going to do it! Let's go! Bones goes in, and the king is toast! All of that destruction. Bones got uh, Dark Hole. He got Lightning Vortex, and he put the kid down. That's right, everybody. Bones can do it. The weakest duelist of the day can do it. You got to believe in him. You got to believe. We're going into game number three. Will Bones do the big, have the biggest upset ever? It'd be so funny. It'd be so funny. I'd be so happy. I'd still have someone to root for. I'd still have someone to root for. I got nothing against Yugi. I love Yugi. But Bones is fun. I like this kid. That's no spells and traps. But you know what? Pump Princess makes up for it. That's right. That's right, Bones. That's how we play. Oh, he played Pump Princess, all right. All right, Arisen comes through. And Pump Princess is going to do a lot of work this duel. As long as Pump Princess is on the field, it's going to start nerfing Yugi's monsters, making them weaker and weaker and weaker with each standby phase, including Yugi's. All right, here we go. Yugi's already down 200 points per monster. Yugi's going to play Rhoda. Rhoda's going to get him uh, Gaia the Polar Knight, another Gaia card. And we got ourselves another Gaia card indeed. Clown Zombie didn't stand a chance. All right. Oh, that's awesome. Welcome, Mexican Wolf. Always happy to have you here. Uh, damage goes through, and he's lost a lot of life points due to that card. And his monsters are going to lose 400 points by the time he gets his next turn. So he's in a really bad spot right now. Bones can just play defensively until his card builds up. Once his card's built up, the duel is officially over. Once that thing has like six counters, I don't think you can win. All right, attack goes through. Exactly. He can't even beat a defense mode monster with a level four. And 1900 attack goes through. I'm loving this. Bones can do it. I believe in Bones. Come on, little man. Get another one. Do it. Do it. Set that mother right now. Set okay, he doesn't want to. All right, if he doesn't want to, I can't make him. That's fine. Now attack the other one. Okay, doing good work still. It should be good. Should be good. Now let's summon another monster. Okay, we're at six counters, 1,700. BLS! Oh, there's your gateway. I've been waiting all day for that. Okay, Yugi is coming back, everybody. It's the Black Luster Ritual. Yugi is going all in, baby. All freaking in. No more patience. Even with a little bit of attack points that he has left, he's going to use BLS's effect because guess what? Even the blue one can ban. And with this monster's effect, he can buff his monster BLS. And with that monster's effect, he gets another ritual spell. And guess what? Bones is done. Even with the weakening power, the BLS car can attack twice. And then the other one can. The power of the BLS combo has ended the duel. Envoy of the beginning and the OG BLS has won. I'm sorry, guys. Yugi is still up at Crash, but don't worry about that. Uh, Yugi is still the king. For, well, he's not, but he's the retired king for the reason. Bones deserves respect, though. I don't want anybody disrespecting Bones. That kid came to play today, and he did good. All right, let's go to our bracket while I, I, I reset this up. So Yugi Mudo is going to move forward. The next duel is going to be Bakora Rio. Bakora, the pro duelist, is going to be going up against Yusei Fudo, who needs no introduction. All right, let's see here. Yusei Fudo or uh, the other one? Where, where are they? Yeah, Yusei or Bakora. Place your bet. Who do you like more? Which character tickles your fancy? There we go. And there we go. You say Fudo is ready. Bakora is ready. I am ready. Okay. They're getting into the duel. Sweat on their brows. 
Technically, if we go by power level, I did give Yusei a higher power level than this character. But we'll see what happens. Mystic Tomato comes through. Mystic Tomato is going to hold the field for now. There's nothing wrong with that. Magical Thorn is very interesting. I feel like Yusei is a character that discards cards, so Magical Thorn is going to make him pay for it. All right. Yep, you, you discarded, right? Oh, it doesn't count. Whatever. He has Morphin Jar. And we got ourselves the first monster is going to be Nitro Warrior with a nice attack stat. Doppel Warrior brings in the Doppel tokens. And it looks like Yusei already has a perfect star. Well, Magic Cylinder. All right. Well, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's a good start from Yusei because what is he going to do against that? What? What? Excuse me? S sir. 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 I don't know about that. S sir. Sir, I don't know if that's the player you should go for. Oh. Wait, well, hold up. Let him cook. Wait a minute. No, no. I, no, actually, no. What are you doing? Oh, we have a tribute. It's the boss monster of Bakora. A very simple boss monster, but good enough to destroy Excel Synchro. And, uh, yeah, welcome to Yusei Fudo, everybody. Welcome to Yusei Fudo. It didn't have to be level 6. He could have done a bunch of things. Excel Synchro could have thrown something away if he wanted to. And level 5 Synchro is here. And level 5 Synchro equals... The Junk Warrior! And it's going to be super strong! This Junk Warrior is going to have 35... It's going to be a Meteor Black... Wait, no. It's going to be stronger than Obelisk. This, this Junk Warrior is going to be stronger than Obelisk the Tormentor. It has 4,300 attack. Only a Blue Eyes Ultimate can stand up to that. Holy crap. Yusei Fudo. He, you know what? He sucks with the newer stuff, but he can Junk Warrior. But this man can Junk Warrior. All right, Bakora, figure something out because you're going to die. Oh, no. Oh, dear, no. Oh, no. What'd he lose? Just Desserts would have done 2,500 burn. It would have been so good. This duel's over. Bakora came to play. Bakora came to freaking play. What is this? that stardust no road warrior whoa 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 take it easy you don't gotta go this hard on the kid oh my god the germs cannot hold this field wait they can they can't hold the field germs the on the other doppel tokens can't beat you bakora lives bakora lives everybody he's still standing bakora do something Find something that can help you. Yeah! Swords! That is the only card that can save Bakora. Now his only hope is to draw burn in three turns. He already lost just desserts, though. He has to draw burn in three turns. Swords is gone, though, so he's at a big disadvantage. Thank you for following, everybody. I appreciate that. Chain energy is very interesting, because Yusei doesn't need to play cards anymore. So I feel like it's only going to work against him. Wait, no, Yusei, don't... Yusei, your life points... You say, be careful. I reached my 150 sub goal? Hell yeah. Awesome. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, luckily, you say, you say you don't need to burn yourself. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. The thing about Bakora is it looks like he's not going to do any damage to you. And then it just, it just happens where he just wins a duel. Bakora's one card is Harpy's Feather Dust. Nope, Starlight. Wait, there's nowhere to summon Stardust. It negates the card, but Stardust can't be summoned. All right, no Stardust Dragon, but yes, the card gets negated. And his final card is a set. He has to somehow do 3200 burn with just defense mode monsters. This duel is over. The duel is about to be decided. Giant Germ, that's five. He has to do 2700 more. Uh, nope, he lost. Abaki ends the duel. Abaki ends this duel. The winner is Yusei Fudo. All right. Yusei Fudo is going in. But who cares about the sub goal nearly as much as the fact that we raised this much money for the freaking kids so far. We are this close to getting to our um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses Redux mod. But let's go ahead and get into game number two and see who's going to make it to top 16. Top 32 always has some fun characters mixed in, which is why, you know, you have Bones, you got, you got the Rare Hunters, you got... Technically, Bakora and Yusei are more fun characters, but yeah. Yusei finally wins. I know, it did take him a minute. Sometimes sometimes he struggles. He's not the best duelist in the world. He could use some help. 
All right, that's a great card. Starlight Rogue gives him a lot of advantage in the beginning because that means Dark Hole and Harpies are now death cards. You don't want to play those cards. But we'll see what happens. Chain Energy. Okay, great start for Bakora. Oh my god, that start is beautiful for Bakora. Except Harpies. Uh, I didn't even look at it. But yeah, he'll still have to pay 1,000 for the Harpies. Yeah, no, that start would have been better. It could have been better. <laughs> he had so much... Oh, why would you... Oh, no, he set Monster Reborn so he didn't have to burn. Makes sense. Never mind. That sucks. That Harpies is super valuable. That's a Spirit Reaper. Now, we all know that Yusei has plenty of cards that can do some effects to affect them, but still. $3 million. What are you talking about? That's $3,000. That's 3,000. 3 million be insane. You, who do you think I am? <laughs> I'm not Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> and neither are my viewers. We're just, uh, we're just, uh, we're just casual Cooper and friends. And you guys are the friends. All right, there we go. There we go. Thank you for letting them know, Brian Daco. I appreciate that. Excel Synchro, are you going to use it right this time or are you going to mess up horribly? I'm curious. It's all good. It, it sounded funny, at least. Uh, Synchro Summon comes through. And Stardust Dragon's a beautiful card. Stardust does good work. And we got a quick draw. Wow. Wow, this turn's scary. But you know what's scarier than this? Is the fact that it won't matter unless he gets a card that can affect Spirit Reaper. He did not. <laughs> not None of those cards were chosen to affect Spirit Reaper. He did not play that route. Starlight Road. Damn. Damn, that, you know what? It could have just been Stardust Dragon, but let's just give him two. All right, his mom lets him have two Stardust Dragons. Now what? Call the Haunted? Sure, what are you going to get? That's a little risky when your life points are not very good. I understand you don't want them to have Quill Bowl, but let me just tell you my point of view. You're gonna. Oh, that's his third Chain Energy. That's the last one. All right, well, that Chain Energy has to do 7,000 burn. The other two could have done it, but not this one. All right, Yusei's got Max Warrior. Yusei's got Debris. Oh, there goes Excel Synchro real quick. Uh, yusei got Dragon Card. Magic Cylinder will do 2,800 burn. That's really good burn. Do not get me wrong. That is really good. Yusei Fudo will destroy the Mystic Tomato, putting Bakora in a really bad spot. Bakora gets Sand. Sand. Interesting. What are you going to get with that? Okay, not really the play I'd go for, but whatever. Abaki! <laughs> Abaki does the burn. All right, Yusei's life points are getting kind of low, but, you know, he just needs to think of a monster that could beat Spirit Reaper. Is that third Stardust Dragon? Okay, his dad lets him have three Stardust Dragons, and none of those is going to beat Spirit Reaper. He's not choosing the right cards. All right, AI will be AI. And we're just going to set no traps, surprisingly. Despite how big that hand is, not a single trap. And if you picked Mystic Tomato, you basically threw the duel. And Abaki, good. You did not pick Mystic Tomato. Oh no! Nitro Warrior had a target! I didn't even think about that! End this duel, you say! And Bakora is out of here! Alright. Bakora's done. You say Fudo is good. Although, unless you like Yami Bakora. Yami Bakora is still in the tournament. He's top 16. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward in the tournament. And, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, you go away. Now let's get back here. So, the next fighters in our tournament will be... Okay, this is a blast from the past. A character we haven't seen in a very long time. It's time for Taya Gardner. Taya is back, everybody, and we have not seen her play in a while. But we'll see if her old school strategy will work against the former king of games. It's freaking Weevil Underwood. All right, king of games versus... uh, Yeah. Former runner-up. Again, we have not seen Tay in a bit, so I have no clue how she's going to react to all these new duelists and how she's going to perform against them. Now, Weevil Underwood is known as the king of games to have the crown for the least amount of time. He wore the crown for the lowest amount of time, which is a shame for him, but it is reality. So let's see how this goes. Weevil Underwood is ready. Taya Gardner is ready. And I need water because I'm dying here when it comes to voice. Big Bang Shot is ready. So that's her first equip spell of many. 
Armored B beats it, though. Armored B can easily beat that card. And with Ultra Evolution, everyone say hello to the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. He already has the boss. How many people grew up with this card as one of the coolest ones? Who grew up with perfectly ultimate Great Moth being one of the coolest? All right, here we go. So, yeah, she could beat 35, but it's going to take a lot of equip spells to do it. Yep, that's my butterfly. Oh, my God, no. She lost everything. What did she lose? What was in her back row? She lost mage power and premature. She's losing everything. The piercing's too good. The king of games is showing why he was the king of games. Yep, that's my pug moth right there. He's in so much. She's in so much trouble. Sunlight unicorn desperation did not gain equip spell. United we stand. Desperation is all she could do. And she's been para parasite. You've been infected by a parasite. It's over. It's over. That Harpy's Feather Duster guaranteed game. That's the, Go get him. Go get her. I'm surprised he didn't summon a monster, but I guess because he already had game. With exact damage, Taya Gardner gets wrecked. Nothing she could do. She got Harpies. Once she gets Harpies, she's done. There's a chance that Weevil can prove that he is the true king of games. That it, Look, if he wins one more duel, he's in top 16, which is already a big accomplishment. With perfect damage, you're right. He does deserve more money for perfect damage. Good point. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into game number two. We lost Rex, but we, I believe in Weevil. Rex had, a, Rex had to fight Supreme King. That was not fair. I felt bad for Rex when I saw that bracket. All right. The bug boy. What will he do? Oh, Sunlight Unicorn to start the duel for Taya Garter. She got premature. Wow. That works. United we stand. Very nice. But... Her opponent once again started with Harpy's Feather Duster, which feels unfair. Everyone only gets one of those, and they keep starting with it today. So she's already lost her equip spell, but if she can keep the Unicorn alive, she might find a way to get it back. So, Unicorn, maybe you could search something better? She needs a little better than this. What you got? Sunlight Unicorn gets... No, that does not work. Freed. Oh, you do have another equip spell. Okay, there's something. You lost one of your best equip spells, but it's fine. And Goki Pulse coming. Pinch Hopper gets Goki Pull, and Goki Pull dies, but Goki Pull searches, and now they can get a better beater. Cross Sword beater, it, uh, beater, Beetle it is. We are at $3,493. Hell freaking yeah. We are so gosh darn close to freaking $3,500. And then from there, we're going to go up and up until we can hit that $5,000 goal. Pinch Hopper is here. Pinch Hopper is here. Ultra Evolution! Here comes the Pug Moth! It's perfectly ultimate great moth! And he does the... Da okay, yep, you're doing that to summon Cross Sword Beetle. Makes sense. And that gets destroy destroys Freed. Makes sense. And Pug Moth is back. Makes sense. The hell are you gonna do? The hell are you gonna do? Taya does have a hand trap. That's correct. Just not in her current hand. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, you're done, Taya. You're done. That back row is amazing for this situation. Monster Born's not going to save you. I guarantee it. That was a terrible use of Monster Born, but you're AI, so I understand. Okay, wait. Are you going for an equip spell? Whoa! What? Holy crap! Taya got Snatch Steal! What the hell? She stole it! It's gone, but she stole it. But it's stolen, and Super Califragilistic XP Alidocious! <laughs> Sorry, I saw that one in time. What the hell? What the hell? Call the Haunted can bring back a monster. That's good enough. That is good enough. And it's way more than good enough. You're not the only one that uses equip spells, Taya. That is crazy that that... Like, she was done. She was done until that equip spell came. She needs another one, though, or else she'll never beat this beetle. She doesn't have it. She, I'm afraid she does not have it. And that monster, if she, if he summons one more insect like that, it's piercing. They both do piercing, which is going to break my heart. Oh, Shin again? She's almost done, man. She is almost... She drew two star boys. She drew two star boys, guys. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. But thank you so much for helping me pass uh, $3,500. You all are amazing today. Every single one of you are amazing. And that's the end of the duel. Taya Gardner... Good night, sweet princess. I'd say sweet prince, but it doesn't work in this context. And there it goes. 
Weevil Underwood. He shows you. He's the king for a reason. And when Taya loses, she loses to kings. Remember. She beats everybody else, but she loses the people that win tournaments. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to... It was JB Armor. Thank you so much, JB Armor. I really appreciate that for uh, helping us pass that 3,500. Very kind of you. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get into our next fight in the bracket. The next fight in our tournament is going to be... Wait for it. Seeker versus Akiza. I might have to start saying them now. Seeker versus Akiza. The Exodia Man versus the Black Rose Dragon Girl. It's gonna be crazy. Both the it's the Rose Witch versus the Son of a Bitch. I'm sorry, I just we all hate this guy, right? How many people in chat hate this man as much as I do? Oh shit, I just opened Sony Vegas by accident. All right, let's not do that because that's gonna that's gonna ruin my my freaking CPU. All right, I like him, I hate him. There's a, okay, it's a mix. There's a mix of hatred and liking in this chat today. That's all right. I'm not gonna judge. I'm gonna secretly judge. Me and my friends are gonna judge you after today's stream. We're gonna remember you. All right, so Dandelion does destroy the monster. There we go. And dark. Did Seeker just dark hole a dandelion? You said you like this guy? I'm talking to you people in chat that said you like this guy? Did you just watch that? You just watch your hero in action? Sorry, the hat's kind of hard. To... Yeah, yeah. yeah, there we go. I'm not used to having something over my eye. Oh, you bet your ass. Well, evil is subjective. She works for Kaiba Corp now. Alright, well, there we go. Black Rose Dragon, all this fun stuff. We got a Monster Reborn coming through. Did you just steal Hannibal Necromancer? Rose Girl's going back to the hand, and she's going to do a ton of dance. Oh my god. Her mom lets her have two. Her mom lets her have two Black Rose Dragons. Uh, Seeker lost. I don't care if you're a fan of him. Unless he gets Potagree, Graceful, Graceful, Potagree, Graceful. It, he, not even. Not even. Unless that's a Skellinger or something, or Dark Mimic or whatever. Potagree comes through. Look, she got Potagree. Why can't you? Rose Girl comes back, because that's what it does. Yeah, Rip Seeker indeed. Giant Trune, he can't even use the trap card, which is hilarious. So even if he got, like, a, a destruction trap, it won't matter. You can't be defensive against her. She's just kicking your ass, man. I'm so sorry, but that is the truth of the fact uh, of the matter. Look at this. Look at this damage. That's it. Black Rose Dragon goes in. Seeker loses game number one. Game number one goes to Akiza like it was nothing. There's a reason they call her the Rose Witch, and it's because she's super freaking good at Yu-Gi-Oh! And apparently that, that, that tracks. Yeah, no, it's actually because she hurts people with psychic powers, and, you know, she uses Rose cards. Or Black Rose Dragon. A bunch of other Rose monsters. Whatever. Alright, what do we got? Only monster cards, which for her deck is not the worst thing in the world. Animal Necromancer again. Sure. Sure. He's never get he has three pot of greeds, three graceful charities, three upstarts, three draw he's got three of everything. Three of the best draw power in the game. And he got none of it. He got absolutely none of it. My assumption is he has only Exodia cards. Because he has three copies of, of the Exodia cards. Oops, all legs. I like that. That's funny. Seeker is very annoying, but guess what? I don't think Akiza's going to let him last any longer. I think this duel's over. I think she's going to she's gonna put him down her, herself. Yup. There goes the damage. And that was not exactly a good play, but at least now you can do some massive damage. It's alright. She's doing fine. Seeker, what are you going to get? Where's your draw power? That's pretty good. Not going to lie, that's pretty good top deck. Of all the things you could have drawn, that's... Well, that... You you were not wrong. He would not summon that unless he only had legs in his deck. I'm not... Uh, in his hand. He only summons things that he has copies of. I'm not joking. He kicked her. <laughs> Exodia kicked Akiza. And all it did was piss her off. All right. And there we go. The damage is good. She basically... He's down to half life point. She has game. If he had to kick her, then she has game. 
that that's better in defense but it wouldn't matter she just used black rose dragon and then put you in attack mode so it's actually better that's in attack mode all right let's see what he decides or she decides to do she's going to use this card to throw away her monster get herself gigantic cephalotus summons gigantic cephalotus and uh, destroys Hannibal. That's actually the slowest play she could have made there. She's okay with going for the slow plays. All right, next card. It's over. It's over. We can end the duel. Black Rose Dragon time. End the duel with Black Rose Dragon or something of that nature. Lone Fire Blossom will search out the monster. Oh, that's that's actually pretty good too. Attack goes through. That monster is done for. I can't believe he's still in the duel. It's over, but he has none of his draw right now. None of it. Zero. Zero draw power at this moment. He only drew Exodia pieces and monsters. He literally runs like 12 draw power cards. 12 that are going to help you get more draw power cards. Oh, you want to see his deck? You want to see what it looks like and what it should have done? <laughs> All right, here comes. Oh, it's all. Oh, this is the boss of bosses. This is her strongest card. It's the Ruddy Rose Dragon. And that's truly the end of the duel. It's, it's, Jesus. It's sad, but it's, what the hell? You had game. Why'd you do that? You, you, you had game. But the, the duel was yours. But the duel was yours. The, the duel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Akiza fans. I think it's time. Okay, he's not drawing his draw power. How, how many cards he got? 12 of those 29 cards draw more cards. 12 of the 29 cards. That's, that's what we're going with. 12 of the 28 cards draw more cards. Akiza doesn't matter. She has 17 cards left. She has so many cards left. She's not losing the deck out, guys. 28. Okay, you gonna get it now? There we go! All right, Pot agreed. And let's get rolling. Grace with chair. There we go! Where were you? Oh, did... And that's as fast as he went. That is as fast as he went. Um... Yeah, all she has to do is use that monster's effect and the duel's over. I think we can give it to Akiza, guys. I think we can give it to Akiza. All she has to do is say, I activate my effect. And there we go. She says, I activate my effect. That monster goes into attack mode and the duel ends. Ruddy Rose Dragon ends it. Oh, well, that's a shame. Let's go ahead and let's uh, move on in the next fight of the tournament. Very unlucky hands from Seeker today. Very good duel from, from Akiza. So, let's get Seeker out of here. A lot of the rare hunters are falling. I mean, Merrick's still standing, but other than that, I think Arcana's still in. That's about it. The next duel will be Koyo Hibiki, the elemental hero duelist from the manga. And Koyo Hibiki will be fighting Crow Hogan. Crow is the champion of the satellite, the hero of everybody. Let's see who's going to win. Will it be Koyo's heroes or Crow's black wings? All right, all right. Koyo Hibiki, Crow, everybody's ready to duel. I'm excited. Uh, once round one is over, I'm taking off the hat. You guys paid a lot of money, which is why I kept it on so long, but I need to take off the hat. It's crazy that I have worn it this long. It, it feels, it feels so, I do not like hats. You can ask any of my friends. I never wear them, ever. Not a fan. Although this one's very silly. I find, I, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. I will say that. Crow is ready. And shut up, Rick. <laughs> and uh, where's the other guy? Koyo, Koyo, Koyo. Koyo is ready. Trust me, we still have 15 more minutes right now. <laughs> It'll take 15 minutes to be done with round one. Oh, he has a great hand. Harpies destroys whatever he set. What was it, by the way? 
poly? Why would you set your poly? Why in God's green earth would you set your poly? It is an oops all tuners hand, but double gale is not fair. It's just going to win you the duel. And anti-reverse, make sure that your opponent can't set any traps against you. These tuners will do the job. Blazeman can get Polly. Oh, nope, he used it for Shadow Mist's effect. And Shadow Mist's effect can get you another monster. Should I assume you already had a Polly? No, you messed up. And you lost your card. Let me get this straight. You had Darkhold. The card that could have saved your life. And you didn't, uh, you didn't play it. You didn't play it. You said it, but you didn't play it. Koyo, get out! I, get out of here! <laughs> get out of my tournament! <laughs> get out of my tournament! I, he has a heart problem, but it's starting to feel like a brain problem. I feel like a lot of people have that brain problem. And yeah, so we're gonna go into game number two. And if Koyo plays like that again, literally setting his poly, setting his dark hole, not playing either of them, then we're gonna lose. And that was his boss, by the way. That was uh, Blackwing Dragon. It's just I'm so flabbergasted I didn't even get into it. Normally I'm like, oh, we got his boss, but nah. Nah, screw you. You play like that, break my heart. Break my goddamn heart, Koyo. All right, the Elemental Hero Duelist struggled against the Blackwing Duelist before, but maybe Koyo can get a re- Oh, look at that. That's not all tuners this time, and that's Black Whirlwind. Maybe he's a Crow fan. That makes more sense. Rhoda comes through. Rhoda gets Blazeman. Blazeman, maybe we search for Polly this time. That's Heat. <laughs> that, that's not even... That's not even the guy. That's Double Gale in the same... That's two times he got Double Gale. All right, Gale will give you... Why'd you summon Gale? Zephyr. Isn't the whole point of Gale is you summon another monster and then you get to specials? You could have had four monsters. Yeah, whatever. What do I care? So like his opponent's going to dark hole him, right? <laughs> it doesn't happen. Uh, and one of those is not a tuner. He just doesn't want to play it because it's better in the hand right now. And Blaze Man. Let me guess. Not Polly. Not Polly. Wait, Ocean Man. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Let, let, let me see what he's planning. What is he making here? That's absolute... G oh, crap. It's zero. Absolute zero is here, everybody. And with absolute zero... Miracle Fusion. Holy crap. He's summoning his boss monster. It's Elemental Hero Core. The card he used in the manga. And Kalu... You didn't want to do that. That No. No, that was a mistake. You lose everything. Core goes in for 2,700 damage. It's not quite Frieza. This isn't Terra Firma. It's a kind of Frieza. This is like, this is Frieza Super Saiyan 2, or Super Frieza 2. All right, and we got ourselves Gale. I won't be able to read the text. I don't got time. I'm sorry. But you're doing a great job. Thank you very much. All right, Polly again. What are we feel? What, did you just throw away core? It's because it had half its attack points. Fair enough. All right, what are we going to do then? The Shining! Oh, crap! The Shining is so strong, it's at 3,500! Crow, the winner of the Fortune Cup tournament, is actually freaking struggling! All right, he is struggling. No way. No way, that trap. Wait, didn't he have to be in face-up attack mode to use it? Am I crazy? Yeah, didn't he have to be face-up to use that trap? Why didn't he... Why didn't you play your monster face up in attack mode? You win. <laughs> All right. Well, sure. Let's go into game three, everybody. It's time for game number three. Is it possible that the hero of the satellite is going to get knocked out before? I mean, you say still in the tournament. Are you going to tell me Crow's going to get knocked out before you say? And Koyo is known to make mistakes. So I'm surprised that he won a duel. I mean, he's good. He just, he makes mistakes here and there and it, it becomes a problem. All right, that's a really good hand. That is a really good hand for Crow. Look at all those special summons. There's only like two, I know, but still. I, I would not have picked Zephyr, but I would have picked Shura. Card Trooper's interesting. You didn't use it for its effect, but you still get to draw. And we got a Synchro Summon. Oh, it's, arm it's over. 
Guys, it's Armor Master, the card that makes the AI play stupid. They're scared of Armor Master. They don't know how to deal with it. They don't know what to do against such a creature. What will Koyo do? He will E-Emergency Call and get Heat because he's scared. That's fear. Koyo feels fear. He needs a Poly also. All right, Shura's here. Shura was supposed to be here earlier, but we'll take it. And Shura is going to do some damage. Absolute Zero Dark Hole is correct, but uh, the duel's over. So, you're also incorrect. All right, that is the end of the duel, everybody. Crow, the hero of the satellite, will be moving forward. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into the next fight of our tournament. Crow did do it. Koyo did win one, so good for Koyo. But at the end of the day, Crow is just way too big of a challenge. This guy, I mean, there are people in this chat right now that think that this guy's going to win the whole tournament. Super Califragilistic XP Aladocious. Damn it. <laughs> thank you for, for, thank you. I appreciate that, even though that one is going to, that one's going <laughs> to get me. So let's go ahead and let's move Crow forward. And the next duel of the tournament will be Ishizu Ishtar, the Necro Valley deck, everybody. And she will be going up against Bandit Keith and his machinations, the American duelist Bandit Keith. If you love America, then Bandit Keith is your guy. If you love Necro Valley or Graves, uh, Grave Keepers, then this is your girl. Place your bets. Bandit Keith or Shizu. Now let's go ahead and start this duel and let's see who's going to win. Let me go find these characters right now. I like Carly. Um, let's see. The Shizu's on the player one side and I believe... Yes, Bandit Keith is on the player two side. All right, these two duelists are ready to go. Let's see who's going to win this. I'm very excited. And we got uh, that. Sure. Swords is a very annoying card. I, I agree. In America. So both of them have annoying cards on the... What the hell? Okay. Both of them have annoying cards on the field, and that was a very strange choice. Hey, thank you so much. I love you. All right. Did you just steal a freaking monster that puts Necro Valley on the field? Wait, you, I don't think you want... Bandit Keith, look, normally, great duelist. You didn't want to steal that one. That's not one you... Okay, well, they they killed it anyway. I was going to say, that your monster in the grave was more valuable than that one. And we got ourselves a set. So right now, Ishizu's in a great spot. She summoned herself. She summoned Odeon, and there's nothing that Bandit Keith can do about it. That is very ballsy. Bandit Keith has summoned the strongest card ever. It's Power Bonded Gatling Dragon. And he's going to flip those coins. And let's see what he gets. He got a heads. Pop one monster. When he gets a heads, everybody, he gets to pop a monster. He did burn himself, but look at this. And that card is the problem. He needs to flip those coins again right now. Okay, pop the face down, please. Oh, he did! Whoa, he popped the face down! There is a chance that that 5,200 attack point monster is going to do it. Necrovelli is on the field, and that's very scary. But, obviously, you could just pop two monsters if you do it. Thank you very much, my uncle. I love you. Here comes the flips. The flips come through. That's a heads again. He keeps getting one. He can pop it. The face down is gone. And he's going to go in, and that card says that it doesn't die. So you actually bought yourself another turn. And he's got Mechanical Chaser! How many people grew up in old Yu-Gi-Oh! And this was the best beater in the world? Because it was. It was awesome. It was literally the GOAT. So uh, let's see uh, what Gatling Dragon's going to do. Gatling Dragon flips some coins. Sadly, he hit two, so he has to hit one of his own. He doesn't need Cyber Jar. Recruiter's going to get the Chief, which is the well mini boss monster. And that is a lot of damage coming through. Bandit Keith almost ended the duel in that one attack. Oh, he could not have ended the duel. Honestly, it's better that Cyber Jar doesn't get flipped. It's better that it's face up. And now all he has to do is flip those coins again, and it is the end of the duel. Doesn't matter how many heads he gets. 
Doesn't matter. He could just pop Cyber Jar. He's good. The monster is gone. Bandit Keith has this in the bag. All he has to do is attack. And he will attack with Gatling Dragon. It is over. Game number one goes to Bandit Keith. All right. Now we are going to go into game number two, and we're going to see if Bandit Keith's machinations can win him another another duel, or if Necro Valley will come up. Oh, it crashed. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Or if Necro Valley will come sooner, and we'll get to, uh, you know, uh, get her combos off. Plus, she needs Visionary. Her, her, her Visionary boss monster is super good. And let's see what we got here. We're going to go into our duel. Sorry again for the little crash there. I don't control the website. It just does what it does. And we're back into the duel. Game number two. Let's do this. We are making so much money today for the HP for Heroes. So much money for the kids in the hospitals. So much money for the nurses. We're doing amazing today, guys. And I personally want to thank you all once again. Helping us raise this money makes me feel very good. All right, and we got Gravekeeper's card. That's not good. We got Necro Valley, and we're going to... Oh, there we go. Triple guard. Yeah, you could you could say that. Yep, and we got Swords once again. The fact that she got Swords in both duel is crazy, and yes, I know, my uncle. Yes, I know. Much, much love. All right, here comes Harpies. He can go in. He needs more monsters, though. Just Mechanical Chaser alone isn't enough. He got two. His mom lets him have two Mechanical Chasers. And Limiter Removal will beat the guard, but at the... Oh, no, actually, that's worth. Because you kill guard and you save your card. But he doesn't know that there's two more guards. He, di he didn't know that. Don't blame him. Desperado, it's his boss. This is his boss monster. It's a gun dragon. It's a metal gun dragon. It's called Desperado Barrel Dragon. It's amazing. I love the name. The name's great. It's literally just a dragon made of metal and guns. I, I, don't, I don't get it, but it's funny and I love it. All right. Attack goes through. Desperado, get back in that hand. You're not allowed to be out here. And Gravekeeper's Guard's just too big. They're going to need to find something better. She's got too much defense for him. Card of Demise, you'll get one new card. Let's see what you get. Honestly, it's better if most of that goes away. You don't need it right now. Guard will do the job. And terraforming. He got it. He got his field spell. His field spell is going to give him a lot. So with the field spell, he gains full field advantage. His monsters will... Oh, blowback dragon. All right. He should have went for the face down. But if he gets two heads, two or three heads, he's allowed to pop one monster with blowback. And after popping, he gets Desperado. And Desperado... Oh, no. We're going to go with that. Desperado, get back in the hand. Who let you out? Get, get back in there. All right. Now we go in. So, um, yeah, Shizu Ishtar fans, I don't know. I don't know about this. What's up? I, I really don't know about this. This feels, this feels bad. I, I, I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna lose this one. Yeah, one heads does not work out with Bandit Keith. And Mechanical Chaser will go through, but that monster has a very nice effect where it can search. And yes, your field spell lets you summon Desperado again. This is going to be like the fourth time we've seen Desperado, which is super funny. So we're going to set the boss monster visionary, but sadly it has no value. Oh no, Blast Sphere. Okay. Uh, it has no value because there's no Gravekeepers in hand. And that is it. How do I donate? We'll go ahead and go to the top, uh, at the top of the chat. It's uh, pinned right now. Right now it's pinned. And any of my mods that are here today, if they can't find it, can you just copy and paste it into the chat for them? Amon, if you make a deck, the only restriction is your own heart. If you follow the Master Era that we're currently in, then your deck gets to be in a lot of episodes. If your deck is too far in the future, then I probably won't use it for a very long time or just for that. It'll be used in that one tournament, but it might be that it's only tournament. So yeah, there you go. Rick helped you out. If you need, a, if you need to know where to donate, there you go right there. And Blowback Dragon comes through. Blowback Dragon flips some coins. That's two heads. The trap is gone. And with the trap gone, all these monsters are going in. They're all, you know, gun things, which is very funny. Look at this stuff. And Desperado ends the duel. Bandit Keith is moving to top 16. A Shizu Ishtar didn't stand a chance. And her name is not Akiza, but nice try, Malevolent. Nice try. All right, submitting your custom deck is easy. You just whisper it to me on Twitch, and uh, you could also do it to me on Twitter, or you could do it to me on YouTube comments. Those are the easiest places to find me. But if you whisper it to me on Twitch, nobody will see it, so you can keep it secret till the tournament date. So let's go ahead and let's see who's up next. 
The next fighters of the tournament are going to be um, Aster Phoenix. It's time for Destiny Heroes. Aster Phoenix is going to be taking on Esperoba. I know it was a long time ago, but this was actually hinted at a very long time ago when Aster Phoenix got a strange envelope that was originally meant to go to the D. Anybody that remembers that, there you go. It's finally come to fruition. All right, so Esperoba and Aster are ready to duel. And I am going to uh, get them on the screen right now. I apologize if you don't see the screen, but don't worry, you will. Aster Phoenix is good to go. Esperoba is good to go. I am good to go. Let's watch. That's a really good card. Scapegoat this early has a lot of value. Plasma this early has a lot of value. Dogma and Plasma, if you just draw a fusion card, this duel's over. All right, Jinzo Lord is already here, which is very good for Esperoba. Most of Esperoba's deck relies on stuff Jinzo related, and Jinzo Lord is no exception. Jinzo Lord is like, are any of those trap cards? Just, just to ask. Um... Uh, if you donate a hundred dollars, I'm gonna and you you don't want to use it. I'll save it for somebody else, and then I'll find somebody that could use it later. So don't you worry. Like my dad already donated two hundred. I'm gonna save that for some other people that uh, that didn't have the money to donate today, or just ran. I might randomize it, just stuff like that. Also, this isn't gonna work. Esperoba did good. Don't get me wrong, but this is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Here it comes. Drill Dark, and are we going for Dogma or Plasma? We're going Plasma, everybody! Plasma is here, and Plasma's gonna eat the Jinzo Lord, which means Call of the Haunted will be used for Stratos, and Stratos is going to destroy the spell card. And now we're going to destroy the Reflect Bounder, Magic Version, whatever, and Plasma's gonna go in. So his boss monster got devoured by the opponents, and Dogma's here! Dogma's gonna cut your life points in half. Oh my God! Gamers Outreach is the one that is in uh, is the one that started this cause. They're the ones that started the cause. HP for Heroes is just the event that I am a part of. And for those of you that don't know, the person that invited me to be part of this event was the Jaywits. Which I want to say thank you to the Jaywits. I'm having a lot of fun today. Cyberjar gets negated. All right. So Aster Phoenix is going so good. He's got Plasma. He's got Dogma. Nothing can stop him. This is literally unstoppable. Cyber don't work. You're right about that. Cyber Dragon will never work. Destiny Draw, do it. You, yeah, okay, you don't really have to, but... Yeah, that's the end of the duel. You didn't stand a chance. Yeah, that's 3,400 damage. And that is game. So, with the duel being over, I feel bad that it had to end like that. We're going to go into game number two. Even though, you know, Esperoba did everything he could. He got his boss. His opponent's hand was just better. And his boss monsters are stronger. It's the difference in power, guys. It's the difference in power. So, let's see what we can do. Wow, we're getting really close to that freaking donation goal. Once again, my mods, if you ever see me miss a donation because, you know, the duels are getting hyped, don't forget to remind me in the chat. Um, so, if you see one that's rotating or anybody else, I'm sorry if I do miss it. It's not on purpose. It's just the tournaments are hype, and I'm trying to get into it just like we all are. I'm a viewer, too. I'm a viewer, too. But it is my job, and I'm trying to be better. So, Harpy's... What, what the hell? Oh, little sis, you closed the door. Roxy can't get out. She's trying her best to open it. Holy crap, I think she did. She opened the door? Look at that! She opened the door! My cat opened the door, she's crazy. Alright, good job, Roxy. Alright, and we got ourselves Stratos. Roxy did it. The next play is Brain Control! Brain Control is super valuable. Jinzo is there a trap on the field? We got Jinzo Lord, we just need a trap. That's a trap! Now we can special summon. The special summon will be... Oh, you didn't have a special summon. There were no Jinzos in hand, so that doesn't work. All right, and the damage comes through with 2,200. And there is that. Monster of Born comes through. Stratos is going to normal summon another monster. I definitely will, Viking Bro. Thank you so much for being here. I'll definitely tell a little sis. And we got Drill Dark. We need one more monster. That's one more. Here comes the Dogma. Dogma is on the field with a massive 3,400 attack stat. And now it's over. We got Plasma in the hand. Plasma is in the hand. Dogma is on the field. Stratos is going in. And half your life points are about to get cut. 
Look at that 38 in the top right. It's about to become 19. Just like that. And what? That Snatch Steel! Oh no! Esperoba, known for mind control, has Snatch Steel, has stolen Dogma, and now the opponent has to find a way to defeat their own massive monster. How can you defeat your own Dogma? By throwing away Diamond Dude, they get two more cards. They summon Drill Dark. Drill Dark has an effect to summon Doom Lord. Doom Lord needs to be in attack mode to use its effect. They misplayed hard. They needed to do that. They misplayed hard. Monster Reborn comes through. Monster Reborn gets Drill Dark, which can do piercing. This is pretty big. Does he have a tribute? He does not have a tri- He doesn't even have a summon. That's unlucky. Drill Dark does the piercing. It looks like a Master Phoenix is at the end of his rope right now. This duel is pretty much over. I don't think Fearmonger can save the day. I think we gotta call it. I think we gotta call it. I think Esperoba showed you all that it's possible. Let's go, Espa. Let's do it. Drill Dark pierces the heavens, and Dogma ends the duel. All right. Dogma has ended the duel, everybody. We're going into game number three. It looks like Esperoba is actually legit. Now, let's go ahead and get into game three and see what can happen. It was because of a misplay, I agree. Destiny Heroes still won, you're right. The Destiny Heroes did still win, which is very funny. It just won for the wrong master. Diamond Dude's going away, drawing two new cards. Rhoda and Pot is so good. Rhoda's going to search. Stratos most likely. Pot agreed, gets you two more cards. This man's deck is fast as How did you lose to that freaking... Esperoba when you're this you just drew a billion cards in one turn seeker is jealous right now seeker is blushing in the corner because of your play diamond dude could even get another card if you're lucky you're not lucky but still could have could have all right celestial pop spell card good to know and reasoning comes through reasoning okay magic cylinder's gone brain control oh you're losing some really good cards but you got psychic mega cyber out of the deal so you got your psychic mega cyber and your psychic uh rebounder right and limiter removal is very desperate, and it will cost you both your cards. So that was not worth at all. Unless your opponent draws Drill Dark, it was not worth it. Nope, that's a that's a Dogma, and you're probably gonna search Plasma. All right, 1800 attack goes through. Call of the Haunted comes through. We do get back the Psychic Mega Cyber, and Psychic Mega Cyber is real nice. It's just the Psychic, ver well, it's the machine version of Fiend Mega Cyber, and Esperoba's card. Bring, uh, sorry, Premature bur uh, Burial brings back the other card he lost, and they're going to go in. Esperoba has full control. The opponent is, oh, no. Oh, no, it's Plasma. It's over. He's going to summon Plasma, negating all monster effects, devouring the best monster on the field. There's no way you're going to stop it. Everybody, get ready for the summoning animation. It's time for Plasma. And with Plasma, he devours an opponent. Well, first, we're going to do that. Weird. We're going to devour an opponent's monster. We can negate all effects on your opponent's side of the field. And we do some damage. All right. Esperoba. This is the game three. This decides it all. What will you do? That's about right. That's about right. He's scared. And the opponent can destiny draw again. All it Okay, they're dumb. Uh, Reflect Bounder should never... Oh, wait. No, sorry. I apologize. It should be in defense mode in this one case because that negates effects. My apologies. It's fine. Uh, we'll have to, you'll have to see when the duel comes. Kaiba hasn't dueled today yet. All right. Plasma goes through again. That's a lot of damage. And this is the end of the duel. This is the end of the duel right now. I'm surprised he never got Fusion Gate or anything like that. And Esperoba did not get Snatch Steel again, which is not lucky. Hi there, Roxy. Um, I did have to remove Remade and he does not use it consistently enough. Jinzo Jector will die, which is a shame. He's holding himself in the duel very slowly. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Think of something, Esperoba. Doom Lord is not... It, it technically is enough. Wow, that... The old Destiny... Do, okay, fine. Fine, he'll do it for that. And that's the end of the duel, everybody. That is it. I would like to get the deck within two weeks. That'd be nice. Um, Jinzo Returner saves the day. Roba still has another turn. He bought himself another turn with all these Jinzo cards. That does not work. Your opponent is too weak. Funny enough, Plasma has no defense, which saved his life. 
having no defense. Oh, he got Fusion Gate! It's the end of the duel! The true boss monster is here by fusing his two big boys, Plasma and Dogma. They become the Dragoon. And with Dragoon, he can pop monsters, he can banish monsters, he can punch you in the face. And he will punch you in the face. That is the end of the duel, everybody. All right, so with the ultimate monster being there, we are now going to go ahead and move on to the next uh, fight of the tournament. The next round, not round, uh, the next fight. Let's see who's up next. All right, the next fight in our tournament will be, let me see. Um, Seto Kaiba versus Arcana. This is the last duel of round number one. And then I'm taking off the hat for a second. All right. Just let me breathe. Just let me breathe. And let's go find Arcana. Where is he? Wow, it's been a while since he's been used. All right. Let's do it, everyone. This is the final fight of round number one. After this, it's only going to be powerful characters left because all the losers got knocked out. No offense to favorite characters that got knocked out. I'm sorry. They are losers. All right, Kaiba is showing us his hands. He already has a lot of interesting stuff. And that's way better than your stuff. So Assault Wyvern dies. You should not have summoned it. What else you got, Kaiba? You're going to need something better. Nope, that was terrible. You top deck the same monster twice. You don't need that one. And he summons it. This is his new Lord of D. It's called Dictator. And Dictator of D is there. And we got a Monster Reborn. And Monster Reborn gets Skilled Dark. Skilled Dark is back. And if it can get some spell counters, it's over. Dictator can be annoying, but it's only good in the late game. You're not supposed to draw them super early in the early game. Plus, he only has two. So the fact that he got two early is insane. Assault Wyvern works. That actually works. Assault Wyvern's going in. Mystic Tomato dies. It can now combo. Assault Wyvern leaves the field. And wait, Mystic Tomato also gets its effect, but don't worry about that. What matters is what happens right now. And what's happening right now is the Spirit Card. And the Spirit Card gets rid of the back row card. And now, here it is, everyone. Dragon Spirit of White. Hey, thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate that. We definitely beat our sub goal today, and I really do appreciate it. And with 800 burns, skill dark returns, but unless you have three spell counters, it doesn't do anything. You needed three spell counters. Monster Born could be valuable. You don't need to get anything too crazy, but, you know. Assault Wyvern, just an 18 beater in this case. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe get a little Dictator out there, a little D. Yep, that'll work. And the damage is good. Assault Wyvern can deal with that monster. Good, but that monster does search for a dark hole, so you gotta be careful. All right, Dark Hole is good. And we got ourselves Mystic Tomato, which is good. Legion of the Fiend Jester returns. We're doing really good right now. So what are you going to get? You got Mystic Tomato. Mystic Tomato is going to get... Cha oh, well, you shouldn't have attacked. Dictator says you made a mistake. Don't do that. Oh, for the love of God, don't do that. Oh my God, no! The AI is getting dictated. They're getting dictated. They don't know what to do. Oh, thank God. Okay, here it comes, everybody. The Dark Magician. The only card that can save the day. Arcana got his boss monster, and he can win now. With Arcana's boss monster, he can actually win this duel. Seto's in trouble. Seto can't beat it with Shrink. He's in so much trouble right now. This is one of the best cards ever. Oh, we saw Yami Yugi win with it earlier. Apprentice is just here to do damage, but it honestly doesn't have that many attack points. So you got to be a little careful against Kaiba. It's very easy for him to get a blue eyes when he actually draws the right stuff, which in this duel, I'm not going to lie. Seto Kaiba got a bad hand. He made, yeah, like I said, he made it work for a little bit, but he got a bad hand this duel. All right, what are you going to do? It's over with double dark magician. We're going to double dip and end this duel. Apprentice goes in. Dark magician goes in. The game winning dark. Wait, he shrinks the dark magician down. It's too damn weak. He bought himself one turn. What will he do with the one turn though? What could possibly be done? That's too slow. That is actually going to work. 
Because you did that, Arcana, you gave him a blue eyes. You messed up. You should have never activated that trap card. Arcana misplayed super hard, unless... Okay, he didn't have Thousand Knives. I was going to say, Thousand Knives would do it, right? Uh, you know, it would have been a surprise. All right, the next card he draws is just another Blue Eyes card. And with this card, he can bring a card back to the hand that counts as Blue Eyes. Very nice. And with all these cards, he's going to go in. He has to get through all the Dark Magicians turn by turn. It's going to take forever, but he can do it. All right. Activating that cost him the duel. That's another Blue Eyes Dragon. He drew all... Okay, no, he didn't draw all of his blue eyes. He drew one or two of his blue eyes. And with Polymerization, it's time for the ultimate monster! One of the strongest cards in the game! It's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! It's gone! He lost. Playing that spell card cost him the duel. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> Oh, he loves his Blue Eyes Ultimate a little too much. Dark Magician comes through. And, of course, I'm not wearing this hat for nothing. Arcana is going to win with Dark Magic Attack. He's still a fraud, but that was only game one. Fair enough, it was only game one. Anything can happen in game number one. Okay, let me put this over here because I need some uh, breathing room. Uh, thank you so much. 175 goddamn dollars! You know, I'll give you one of everything. I'm going to keep the hat on longer than expected. Super califragilistic expialidocious. And thank you so much, Amon. You are incredible. That has to be the second highest donation of the day. That's insane. Let's go ahead and get into game number two. We are getting so much closer to our goal with that. Very, very close. And, of course, we have Alexandrite. We have Magic Cylinder. Third highest of the day? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, my dad was second. You're right. Sorry, Pop. I didn't mean to forget you. That was rude of me. Yep, I remember now. See, this is why the chat's here. They remind me. Thank you very much, Amon. Also, that's an instant blue eyes white dragon. Very quick in this duel. It looks like he's not going to play around this time. I think Seto's a little pissed off about game number one. And Alexandra goes in again. You got anything better than Apprentice Magician? Because uh, you're going to need it. You are going to need it, sir. Old Vindictive. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hello there. Let's see what kind of monster we're going to get this time. We got ourselves a... Sure. Yep, you're not going to play it. He's probably going to set it. Knowing him, he'll set it. Yeah, he'll set it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's fine, Corpse King. That wins. That wins. 200 in individuals still counts. All of you people are amazing today. Every single one of you. Especially the ones that are going all, are going ham for the fans. Going ham for the kids. How do I whisper? It's like, it's top right, right? Somewhere in the... T Even I figured out how to do it on Twitch. It's like, it's like a little message thing in the top right of Twitch. Now, I don't know how it works on phones. But it looks, it looks similar. Oh, hi there! That's an Egyptian god card. Alright, I highly doubt he'll summon it today, but we already we did see Slifer today. We saw one Egyptian god so far. And the other two are still in the tournament for now. Yes, I'll keep the hat on for now, because you did do that. But, I will be, uh... What, hold up, Breaker's here. Breaker, what are you gonna do? Breaker can pop a trap card, and it shrinks. So you're gonna shrink now. You're a little tiny. Tiny little uh, Arcana Man. No worries, if you can't donate, just watching the stream is generating money as we speak. We are generating money that I will do a huge donation for at the end of the stream. Alright, Blue Eyes White Dragon comes through and that's 1400 damage. That's beautiful. And there's a Synchro Summon! He did it, everybody! Akiza taught him something! And Azuri Eyes Silver Dragon is here! And that's 3,000 defense, and he gets an extra blue eyes thanks to putting that card in the grave, and his field is insane. This is just insane. That, I love it. You gotta love it. It's beautiful. Draw phase comes through. We got Phoenix Chain. We got another blue. Oh, Alexandrite. That works. Alexandrite works. That's a damage. Uh, we got another card. We're gonna put a card in the hand. Yep, that's a blue eyes. Man, if he had Polly right now, he'd be insane. I mean, he's already insane, but that. Old Vindictive. Damn it. <laughs> Azari will bring it back. 
Weird to put in attack mode after the fact, but whatever. All right, what do we got here? We got ourselves a set. The set is very good. Kaiba could have won. Yeah, I agree. He could have he messed up, but it's fine. Because he's set freaking Kaiba. He can do whatever he wants. This is his tournament today. He threw it. All right, Mystic Tomato is gone. I wish he would summon his god, but then he wouldn't win the duel. And Blue Eyes Burst Stream of Destruction! Game number two goes to the man, Seto Kaiba. And game three will decide who is top 16. This will be the one that decides top 16, everybody. Let's go. And then after this, I, I am going to need to run to the bathroom. Just take a real quick little bathroom break. Do not, do not leave the stream. We're generating money with you here. You can go do something, but like keep the stream on. And then, um, yeah, just a little bathroom. <laughs> Dark uh, Magic Curtain's coming through. Dark Magician is there. Dark Magician is good. And we have a set, but that cost him half his life points, so we'll see what happens. Oh, Diesel Kane must be pissed, that's for sure. Set, working on your deck. Perfect thing to do in the background. Work on your deck. And then listen for the hype. Because that's a Dark Magician, right? And it's gone. <laughs> they never last. Oh, wait! Dark Magician returns! Everybody say hello to the strongest card in the game. Yeah, it's not really, but it's a good card. And nope, you can't activate traps. You thought he was going to get Magic Cylinder. Not against this guy. This guy runs three of those. He'll never get hit. And now look who's the one that's actually going to lose. It's Kaiba. Kaiba doesn't stand a chance. All right, what else you got, Arcana? You need our skilled dark. Oh, or, or, or play a spell or you die. And he lost the duel. <laughs> Arcana threw! Oh no, he went super ham, but he didn't know about the magic cylinder. Kaiba will be moving forward, which honestly he was going to lose. Kaiba had the worst hand ever. He was totally going to lose that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is great. So, I don't want to lose momentum in this stream, but it is real. I, I'm a human being. I am, I am going to need a small bathroom break. So, I'm going to go run to the bathroom. And you guys can see the top 16 bracket right now. While I'm gone, I just want you guys to be kind to each other. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to be as fast as possible. Um, and get ready for the next duel. The next duel is going to be Yami Yugi versus Mako Tsunami. Also, just want to say thank you again. Plus, you know what? Just, uh, you know, I'll, ha I'll have a little thing about why we're doing this. Here we go. All right, guys, give me one second. I'll be right back. Oh, not that one. Let me, let me give you the real one. Every child deserves a chance to be themselves. But right now, in hospitals around the world, many kids are isolated, fighting some of the most difficult battles of their lives. What if we told you gamers have the power to help? We're Gamers Outreach, and we believe the world is better when kids can play. Our team is on a quest to help make play a part of care. With your support, we can restore a sense of joy and normalcy in the lives of families through video games, Learn more and get involved at GamersOutreach.org. Apologize. I was needing to go since freaking Koyo Habiki was up. So I am back, everybody. I am ready to duel. I appreciate um, 
everybody here today. I hope I didn't miss any, um, any, what do they call it, donations or whatever. But let's go ahead and let's get the duel started. It's time for Yami Yugi to fight Mako Tsunami in round number two. For those of you that don't know how tournaments work, since we're done with round one of the tournament, that means half the tournament is over. Half the tournament is over. It, it, not gonna lie, it's moving faster than I thought it was. I thought the duels would be a little slower than this, and I put more characters. It didn't matter. Um, some of these characters are getting wrecked. <laughs> some of these characters showed up and just immediately got destroyed. So, let's go ahead and let's get into game number one of Yami Yugi versus, um... What should we call it? Yami Yugi versus Mako Tsunami. Yami Yugi is ready to duel. Mako Tsunami is ready to duel. I need some water. Ban your chair was rude? God damn it. What, what are you doing this to me? I, I already got rid of the old chair because it was rude. Had to get a new one because of you people. You, you told me the old chair was, was, was bad, so I got rid of it. All right, well, Yami Yugi has only 4,000 life points left, and his opponent has Guaranteed Ocean, and you lost the monster you spent so much. Oh, no, you didn't. Eternal Soul says you're not allowed to kill Dark Magician with spells and traps. You got to beat it up. Which, honestly, it's a 25 beater, so it's not the easiest thing to beat up, but still. A Legendary Ocean. All right, let's see what he gets. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Oh crap, Mako Tsunami's in trouble. He did not draw a monster he can actually use. Dark Magic Attack destroys the ocean and a trap card. Sea Stealth Attack is gone. One problem though. Please don't set it. Please set, yeah, set it. Uh, one problem though. He has plenty of oceans. He just needs to get lucky. Pot of Greed, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. A Legendary Ocean, there we go. What else you got? There's the Harpies! And that means Dark Magician is done. Without Harpy's Feather Duster, I mean, with Harpy's Feather Duster, Dark Magician dies. All the cards die, and they're bricked. This is game one, and he's bricked. He has the perfect opportunity to hit Yugi, and he's bricked. What did you draw? I need to look at your hand. I wish I could look at his hand. What did you draw? Okay, there you go. Oh, no, that gets TT. Well, that's not bad either. TT's fine. I wish Fish Zoner worked. I, I, got, I took it out of his deck because he didn't know how to use it. All right. Oh, that card is only good in certain situations, which have already passed. That's it. Mako wins. He's going to steal Dark Magician. It's on the wrong side of the field. Dark Magician is going to end this duel. Yugi Mudo has advantage. Attack goes through. The robe didn't stand a chance. All right. What are you going to do now? <laughs> End this duel. If Mako draws any monster, he's going to move forward in the tournament. And that is it, everybody. The duel is over. The winner is Mako with his Dark Magician of the Coral Reef. Sure. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's get into game number two. That was uh, that was a little rough for uh, old Yami Yugi. And Mako had a horrible hand. He still won. Mako cheated. That Harpies fell. It was pawed into har Harpies. That combo ended the duel. If you destroy back row, you're going to beat Yami Yugi. He really relies on that eternal soul. Just like how I rely on that let's play to make me money to survive. All right, a legendary ocean comes through. So I understand Yugi on a personal level. Wow, he did it again. That's the same hand where he's guaranteed to have ocean. He is guaranteed to have ocean even if you pop it. Mother Grizzly. No, it's a better hand than last time. Yugi's done. Yugi couldn't beat a better hand. No way. Yugi just dark hold of Mother Grizzly. Yep, I'm I'm calling it. I think I think he's done. I think we're gonna have to get him out of here. And we got ourselves a summon. It's the fisherman. The fisherman is here, everybody. And Apprentice will search out a robe. He loves his robes, after all. All right, we got to draw a thousand knives. He actually drew the two cards he's supposed to search, so he actually, he's screwed. That was not supposed to happen. He got very unlucky. And let's see what we get. Mother Grizzly can do the job. So there goes the robe. Goodbye, robe. And there goes uh, Apprentice Magician. 5,000 years of knowledge? I don't know. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He'll figure it out, though. He's Yugi Mudo. He'll have to figure it out. All right, Yugi Mudo draws. That trap better figure it out. Last time he hit... That is the trap he had when he got Harpies, funny enough. 
Oh, look, it's a legendary fisherman number one. So it's the OG fisherman with the new fisherman and a mother grizzly. And that is pretty much game. I think Yami Yugi is truly done. He drew the two spell cards he does not want to draw. He wants to search. And Monster Born, I don't think will save you as there's no real monsters to work with here. Apprentice Magician just doesn't do it. Apprentice doesn't do anything, guys. And that is it. Let's get him out of here. There's a reason I only ranked him three. Although this guy's doing better than usual, I must admit. And that is Apprentice Magician going to the grave. What else does he have? He has another one. Uh, he should be out of cards by now. I don't think I gave him three robes. Exactly. I didn't give him three robes. Oh, well, I'm sorry. He does still have 100 life points, but he's not coming back with 100, everybody. It's over. The card he draws is Breaker. Breaker can break the... Tra yeah, it's over. Yeah, I was going to say, I can break the field spell, but the field spell doesn't matter. Get him out of my tournament. The Seaman is going to win. It's time for Mako Tsunami to move forward. Once he beat Joey, I knew he was going farther. Once he beat Joey, I knew it was happening. Yami Yugi is out of here. We don't need him. All we need is fish. Freaky Fish Man will continue. All right, so let's move that Freaky Fish Man forward. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. He even came back from a bad hand. Little Yugi is still in the tournament. That is a correct statement. But Little Yugi lost a duel to uh, Bones. So I wouldn't put much faith in him either. The next, uh, the next character we're going to talk about... Oh! The next duel is actually a plot duel. Everybody, it's Yami Merrick versus Yami Bakora in top 16 of our Battle City Tournament. Yami Merrick and Yami Bakora are going to be going at it. I wonder which character is going to win. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. Let's find these characters. Oh, God, I don't know who's who. That's Bakora. All right. Yami Bakor, you might remember, wins with that Ouija board deck. And Yami Merrick wins with Burn slash, uh... Well, he hasn't used Raw, but he has it. Mystic Tomato goes in, and you only helped your opponent search out and burn. Alright, this is a cool duel, though. Both of them use a similar strategy, so I don't know which one is better at it. Because both like, both like to do, you know, certain things. Uh, Harpies is unbelievable. No! The Judgment of Anubis! Oh, he threw away Monster Born. I don't know about that. He, he, the Judgment of Anubis will destroy the Harpies and a monster and do burn. That saved the day. That counter... Oh, the Earl of Demise! It goes in and it destroys the Mystic Tomato. The Earl of Demise is going to happen and we're holding his arms down. The arms may be held down, but what's going to happen next? So that Earl is just going to sit there. It doesn't do anything else. It can't attack anymore because of the arm card. Mystic Tomato can be revived, but it won't do much. Metal Reflex Slime can be summoned, but it won't do much. Except summon the Egyptian God Slime. An Egyptian God Slime punches the Earl of Demise. Mystic Tomato... Oh, sorry. The Harms punches Bakora, and the Mystic Tomato punches Bakora. But we see Bakora's hand. We know what's coming. Also, Bastion, thank you for, uh, for the $10. I really do appreciate that. That's super kind of you. Dark Hole comes through. Dark Hole's going to wipe out the Egyptian God Slime and friends. And now Slate Warrior goes in for major damage, but the Nightmare Wheel will hold it down. Merrick just loves holding down people and torturing them, and yes, that's actually real. And he's going to do 500 burn. 500 burn is good. Mystic Tomato will sit there in attack mode, even though it should not be in attack mode. All he needs to do is a little more burn. That is not what you want to draw. All right. It's not going to work out too well. Mystic Tomato comes through with New Doria. Do not... Merrick... Don't kill Slate Warrior. It's valuable to you. It's doing burn. It's doing burn. Kill You can kill the Headless Knight, but don't kill the Slate Warrior. All right. Good. He realizes that that burn could win him the duel, so he's being patient. Now, does you... He didn't get Destiny Board. The, remember when he fought his last opponent, he got two Destiny Boards in both... I mean, he got a Destiny Board in both duels immediately? That's crazy. All right. The burn continues, and it looks like Bakora's time is almost up. He's only got six turns before the planet explodes. That could help. That could help. Five more turns until the planet explodes. That's fine. Giant Germ could do more burn. It might be it might be even faster than we think. Bakora never got his trap, so he never stole Oh crap! You shouldn't have kept Slate Warrior, but my god, that's good. 
So that, that monster negates effects. Giant Germ is not going to work. Which means he needs something else. Des yeah. Dark Ruler Hades is here, everybody. Oh, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have another monster. He got the Destiny Board, which he doesn't even need anymore. Nightmare Wheel number two. His mom lets him have two Nightmare Wheels. That's a thousand burn. You only have two turns left. One turn left. Harpy says no to your trap card. I don't even know what the trap was. That was Oh, it's Destiny Board. Yeah, he didn't have enough time for it anyway. And Giant Germ is in attack for no reason. It doesn't work anyway. Giant Germ, as long as Dark Ruler is there, Giant Germ does not work. Potagree comes through. That would have saved his life way earlier. The winner will of game number one will be Yami Merrick using the Burn of Nightmare Wheel. But Korra did not get Destiny Board in time, and that Harpy's Feather Duster into End of Anubis was very critical. So let's go ahead and uh, get into game number two and see if uh, old Bakora can make a comeback happen. I know, he I know he needs one. This time draw Destiny Board and not the spell card. Thank you so... Oh my god! Holy crap! Thank you so much for gifting subs! I really do appreciate that. That's super kind of you. And Coffin Cellar is here. That is so many gifted subs today. Today is definitely a many records have been achieved on this channel. None more so than the fact that we're giving back and it makes me feel good. It, it feels good to give back. All right, Nightmare Wheel comes through with 500 burn and lots of traps, which honestly having a bunch of traps for Yami Merrick isn't typically a bad thing. He actually likes it. The only weakness of it is that, uh, nope, he got two Nightmare Wheels already. That's a thousand burn every turn. Bakora, do something. He's trying. <laughs> He's trying. They keep locking him down. He can't do anything. He needs Destiny Board. The one opponent you need Destiny Board and you never draw it. Oh, thank you for following. Oh, he got Destiny Board. Never mind. It can happen. He can win with Destiny Board. And that's a slime. Your days are numbered. Yep. He did draw it. His days are numbered, everybody. The slime, the Nightmare Wheel still does a thousand burn. And here it comes. It's time for Egyptian God Slime. Thank you for following Star Fox Fan. And with the power, we get Ancient Champ, which he cannot play. He has too many spells and traps on the field, which is fine. And Jiragito comes through, and Jiragito is going to attack the... Oh, wait! Chaos Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Jiragito is out of here! Or, well, gets negated. Sanctuary! He's losing! Oh, no! Yami Merrick is sweating! He doesn't know what to do! The field spell prevents him from attacking if they guess right. And he's starting to spell the name. If he spells the word final, the duel is over. Oh man, we need something. We need something. The burn is nice, but you will lose before that burn wins you the duel. You will lose. Attack goes through. And another... He's so lucky! This man is the luckiest man in the world! He's still in the duel! He's getting all the heads! Imagine getting four heads in a row! I want all of you to go find a quarter right now and flip it four times and tell me if you got four heads. Because the answer is you didn't and you're a liar if you say you did. This is the luckiest man in the world. Alright, Nightmare Wheel comes through. Nightmare Wheel comes through. This whole duel can be decided right now. Again. Okay, for once it didn't work. For once. Coffin Cellar does burn. And here it comes. That's what the field spell does. And that's five out of six. He got five out of six. Six out of seven. Ancient chance. He got a... It doesn't matter. He can't afford it. He can't afford it. Oh, he summoned it! Everybody, it's the Winged Dragon of Raw! And the Winged Dragon of Raw has 4,350 attack! But the duel is over. This duel is over. That is a lot of attack on the Winged Dragon of Raw. All he has to do... ...is end his turn. This is it! This decides the duel! Heads or tails! Heads! The winner is Bakura! Seven out of eight heads! This man only won because he got so many heads. 
Raw couldn't stop the luck of the coin flip. I can't believe he got seven out of eight. Merrick, this is game number three. Who is going all the way? Who's going to top eight? Head game two struck. God damn it. You're right, though. The best coin flipper in the world. He got the field spell again, but he does need the trap. Giant germ is there. Like, I care. Any more water? Oh, that's not a good hand, but I mean, got protector, and the field spell always helps. All right, Giant Germ is going to special summon two more. Making it closer and closer for Merrick to get his monster. Makora went for the head. God damn it. Uh, oh, wow, that's early. All right, but what is your luck stat? All right, game number three will decide everything just by luck. All right, this is a restart, so that's one out of one. Okay. It's fair. That's 50-50. That's way more fair. That is 50-50 right there. All right. You got lucky. So best two. You got two out of three. Okay. Three out. Uh, all right. Three out of four. That's that's a little suspicious. I don't know about three out of four. That, that seems a little much. What do you guys think? Someone check the coin. Honestly, at this point, yeah, you should. All right, Mystic Tomato again. Giant Germ goes in. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to go the other way with it. That's good. That's good. And here comes... This is the one that actually matters. This one has to go through. It did go through. Okay, wait. This duel could be over. Not right now, but it's it could be like Burn will end the duel. Damn, you're lucky. You are very lucky. Thank you again, everybody, for being here. Oh, my God. That is actually cheating. Okay, got a got a hit in. So I would say it mostly favors heads so far. It mostly favors heads. Not by much, but enough. This is it. This is going to decide the duel. The field spell is what does the effect. Okay, that attack didn't matter. Let's be real, that attack didn't matter. That attack kind of matter. You know, it didn't matter. Every other attack has to work, though. Okay? Technically, that attack didn't matter either. This attack, this attack matters. Crap. This attack matters. <laughs> he can't win! How are you supposed to beat this? This is the most heads I've ever seen! No way! It's so close! He can win by giant germ burn! But, you know, Dark Ruler Hades would never allow that. Both characters could lose by the burn effect. This is crazy. This is crazy. Why is this so close? Why would you set that? I guess it doesn't matter. You'll win by the burn effect. It's, a, it, it's all up to the coin. Again, the coin decides all. The coin doesn't decide shit if he attacked with that. That was, that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. All right. The winner is Bakora. The winner is Bakora. He defeated Raw in the first duel. I mean, the second duel. And in the third duel, he defeats Yami Merrick completely. That was the most heads I've ever seen. I, I, I agree. Bullshit. That was cheating. But it worked. <laughs> but it worked, though. It 100% worked. And because of that, Bakora is in top eight of our tournament. Thank you, Viking Bro, for the $100 donation. I love you. I love you very much. All right. Look at how close we're getting to our goal, everybody. We are so close. We're at like 10%. We're almost there. All right. Bakora is up there. That was so lucky. He should not be here. No. It was 100% luck based, and he got lucky. It works. The next duel is Serenity Wheeler versus my Valentine. Red Eyes versus Harpies. This is actually perfect. I love this. It's Red Eyes versus Harpies, everybody. All right. So which one do you like more? Harpy Ladies or Red Eyes? Wait, really? 
Sabir Lions, or Lions, thank you so much for a $100 donation. I'm so sorry if I missed it. It's not on purpose. These duels are hype, and they distract me. But thank you. Thank you, Rick. You did great work. That is amazing. You guys are incredible. Every single one of you are incredible. So let's get this out of the way, and let's watch our characters duel. My Valentine is ready. Serenity Wheeler is ready. I don't know what that means, Jason. All right, Mystic Tomato goes through and Harpy Channeler is dead. I would have kept that Channeler safe. You're right, he beats Slifer and Raw. I did not even think about that. Harpy Harpist comes through and Mystic Tomato is gone. Mystic Tomato gets out Red Eye's uh, Baby Dragon. Red Eye's Baby Dragon is here. Um, Red Eye. Oh, he's gonna eat. She's gonna eat it. My Valentine's Harpy card has been devoured, and now the Red Eye's Baby Dragon has seventeen hundred attack. Fourteen hundred more from the Mystic Tomato, but we all see the card in her hand. We know what Mai's about to do. You could do that too, but there's no point. Is Blair's title on the line? Oh, you know what? Let's just enjoy the tournament. The repercussions of the tournament will be dealt with later. <laughs> just enjoy the tournament and, and be ready for changes. Okay. Another Red-Eyes Baby Dra- It's Baby versus Baby! Both the babies are fighting each other, and the winner is Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, which is super funny. But this one summons the dad. You hurt my son, you're going to get attacked. But Mirwall will weaken it down, so now it's only a 1350 beater. If she's willing to keep, well, sh yeah, she should keep it. I don't know if the AI is willing to because of how low the life points are. They are. All right. My Valentine kept it, which means she can now pop the back row. Go all in, my. Go all in. You don't need this. It's gone. Red Eyes Baby Dragon gets you a Red Eyes Black Chick. That's good. Or Red Black Dragon's Chick. They changed the name. Uh, what else we got? We got ourselves Harpy Lady Sisters. Harpy Lady Sisters pops a Steric Sign. It's okay. Even if they didn't get the effect, it's fine. This is good. And 2450. And they still have one turn left of Mirror Wall. So that's really good. Serenity's in a bad spot. But this is a very close duel. Very back and forth. We have ourselves a set. Harpies isn't going to work right here. You don't need to pay for it when you have advantage. I understand. Red Eye. Oh, Gearfried is gone. Wait, what is that? Okay. Cool. What is that? Oh, Retro Dragon. I've used that one before. I know that one. That's Retro Dragon. All right, we're going to go ahead and set that card. And that's a really good top deck. Now, even if they do get Red Eyes, they can't do much. And there goes all the gear freaks, all the stuff that you, that Joey would love. Serenity's in trouble, guys. I don't know what top deck she can get, but at this current moment, she's in a lot of trouble. That's interesting. I don't know if she has enough. Oh, wait, Harpies is in the hand. What am I talking about? None of this matters. None of this matters. Monster born for game. All right, no future fusion allowed. I'm sorry. You don't get to. And Monster born can steal Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh, yeah, no, that works too. The baby dragon's actually stronger than Red Eyes. I'm not even joking. It's at 27. And Red Eyes Black Chick is gone. And the damage is good. And the winner of game number one is my Valentine. Yeah, these duels have been good. These duels, the duels today are probably the best I've had in a long time. So let's go ahead and let's get into game number two and hope for the best. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on, come on, come on. My Valentine Serenity. I want to see Red Eyes fight back today. I want to see Black Skull Dragon. That's literally my favorite monster in the entire game. It's so cool. They fused two of the coolest cards into one. And it's just, it looks so grotesque. It's awesome. Harpy Queen comes through. Someone's that, I can't even see the amount. It's so small. But it has to be or else it'd be blocking Serenity's face. And whatever this Harpy card... Did you just pop your own field spell? Why'd you play your field spell if you were just going to pop it? Eh, whatever. Why do I care? Elegant Egotist comes through and Harpy Lay Sisters is nice and safe. Alright, good play. Very good start from my Valentine. And it's gone. Wait! 
I just realized what it was. You were that scared? You knew it. Wait, she knew it was going to be Red Eyes. The baby evolves into Red Eyes Black Dragon. And Red Eyes goes in for 2400 My Valentine, did you put perfume on the other character's cards? Because that's cheating. That doesn't work enough. Premature is nice, but it doesn't do enough. Interesting. How is Serenity going to deal with this not knowing what's down? Did Weevil win? Weevil did win. Very badly, too. He won He won very badly. All right. Red-Eyes Black Dragon is gone. That eats the monster. Mirror Wall doesn't matter now. The Mirror Wall does not matter. Wait, it has an effect. By getting rid of it, Red-Eyes returns. Whoa, what a combo. The Kunai with Chain with Gear Free gets back the Red-Eyes Black Dragon. And are you willing to pay the 2K? You're not. Whoa, you're not? What's going on here? What's going on here? Holy crap, she just summoned a bunch of monsters in one turn. But what else you got? Is it boss time? And that card pops. Yep, pet baby dragon pops the monster, and that is it. Serenity's done. She has four monsters, and you got nothing. You got rid of the baby, I guess, but you got nothing. Mystic Tomato is not going to save you. Oh, there's the boss, but they're not going to need it. And another Harpy card. Nope, here comes the boss, everybody. The strongest card in her deck. Her Harpy's Pet Dragon. A uh, Fearsome Fire Blast version. And no, it can't beat a Red Eyes, so that's why they didn't attack. It needs to be in defense mode to hold back a red eyes. And that's Gear Freed. And there goes the baby dragon. Baby dragon evolves into the legit red eyes black dragon. The dad is here. And it has 2700 attack, which means the other boss is not going to stand up to it. Yeah, that, that harpy card didn't work. Nice try. Oh, wait, what's its effect? Nice try, though. So what are you going to do? I can't believe Serenity actually did turn this around. Oh, that would have helped a long time ago. You needed the buff of that card. So that's a little too late for that to matter, though. Yep. All right. Serenity Wheeler actually holds control of this duel. It looks like my Valentine, ranked second in the world, is going to lose to some random person. All right. That's all you got. Harpy's Feather Duster can weaken the opponent's monster. But it's not weak enough. You need unless you had your pet dragon original, maybe. All right, baby searches for red eyes black chick. That's fine. And that card has an effect apparently, but I don't know what it does. Celtic, thank you so much for subbing. I really do appreciate that. You're a very kind person. Elegant egotist is so good. My God. Okay, she got elegant egotist back, but can she survive a turn? You know what? It's funny. We got the, the chick form when it's still in the egg. The baby form when it grows up a little. And now we have two adults. That is two adult forms. And end this. The little chick is going to end the duel. We're going to game three, baby. That's right. It's time. All right, all right. That was fun and all, but we're going to go to game three. Serenity got very lucky, in my opinion. I don't know how she actually won that. I know, I'm surprised too, gamer. I'm surprised too. Oh, that is good. Water keeps me alive. That that stuff, that don't... You drink more water, guys. It's good for you. Drink it while we got it. All right, what do we got? What do we got? And we got ourselves a Gear Freed. Yep, Gear Freed. What did they call this one? I actually don't know this one. Gear Freed the Red Eyes. Okay. <laughs> and Elegant Egotist will help her out quite a bit because now she can beat the opponent's trap cards. What? Did he... That was stupid. All right, the AI did something dumb, but that's normal. Goodbye, Call of the Haunted. Elegant Egotist will get rid of the other one. Harpy Lady one's very nice. And goodbye, uh, Magic Cylinder. Big hit. Serenity lost a lot. Serenity lost a lot of good support, and that really, really sucks, but it's A-OK. -okay. You're still fighting. All right, what else you got? 
premature burial. Here comes Gearfried, and Gearfried's effect says it can pop itself and its opponent's field spell. What the? That, that's all you could do? And it's over. It's over. I'm sorry. That's all she could do. That's all she wrote. That's it. We're ending this duel. Monster Reborn. Anything. And my Valentine on turn four will win the duel. The damage is good. The damage is good. All right. Very proud of you, uh, Serenity Wheeler. You did good work. You did very good work. Now let's go ahead and let's get into the next duel. So, my Valentine won today's fight. I'm very proud of her. Serenity did way better than anyone expected, so good props to her. Top 16 and a good showing at that. Now, let's see who's up next. The next duel will be the King of Games, Blair Flanagan, versus a duelist from out of nowhere. It's Supreme King. Which character are you more excited for? Who's going to win? Will it be the number one ranked duelist in the world or the Supreme King, a character who is new? Do you bet on the new or the guaranteed? It's time for some evil heroes. All right, Serenity Wheeler. Oh, wait, not Serenity Wheeler. Whoops. Um, crap, who's fighting? Supreme King. Supreme King. And uh, Blair. Of course, Blair. That makes sense. All right, Supreme King has a pretty pitiful hand, except for Pot of Greed. And Garoth, of course. Don't worry about that. No need to worry. Super Poly works thanks to his field spell. Granted, he did not draw his field spell, but it works thanks to his field spell. That's not his field spell. Pot agreed. Dark Hole! Wow, that was lucky. Holy crap, that was lucky. Why does he have Magnet Warriors? He doesn't. He has one rock monster he runs for one very particular situation, which is this one. This is why. Here's a grand example for you. Say hello to El 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 or sorry, El Element Hero, Evil Hero, Dark Gaia, with 5,100 attack. And you ask me why. <laughs> he does 5,100 damage in one turn. And you ask me why. Oh, crap. She did it back to him. They both had Dark Hole to start the duel. What? Oh, no. She had everything. She had Harpy's Feather Hole. He's out of everything. He has to top deck his way back in. All right, heart of the cards. Avion is not heart of the cards. Oh, dear God. Oh, no, no, no. All right. And Garoth coming through. I, I don't know what they're going to... Yeah, Dark Calling would be the best chance, but at the same time, that's one out of three... Uh, three out of... How many cards left in the deck? We're at a 31. No, it's over. This was a crazy duel, but Blair's got this. The duel's over, because look what look at that. Drew two new cards. Yeah, like that's gonna matter. In attack mode, yes. Okay, he gave up because he knew it was the end of the duel. Blair, the king of games, despite the low life points, will win game number one thanks to the Harpy's Feather Hole. Alright. Game number one goes to the king. Which is actually Blair. <laughs> Which sounds weird. Sorry. It goes to Blair. It goes to Blair. I hope you're paying attention, Jason, and not just listening to what I say. It's going to be very confusing in this duel. All right. Let's get into game number two and see what happens. Who's going to win in game number two? Who is the ultimate duelist? Don't get me wrong. Supreme King showed he has potential. But this is Blair we're talking about. This is the best duelist in the world. Even Blair in chat supports Blair. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect timing. You're right. I could. A dusted gold says, I don't want this. I want this. The field spell. And the field spell of Supreme King's castle is good. Next. Attack goes through. Dandelion buys tokens. Very nice. What else you got? 
She lost Monster Reborn, but she also hit a monster. We have Stratos, which can search for anything. Oh, we know what he's getting. He, he won his first duel with this monster. All right, here it comes. We have the Inferno Wing. Evil Hero Inferno Wing goes in. And the damage is very good, thanks to her effect. Big burn. And Call of the Haunted will bring back Jane, which you can crash, but I guess you don't want to. All right, good field, as long as your opponent doesn't dark hole you again, because that was unlucky. All right, Jane's going in, but Magic Cylinder says no. All right, Infernal Wing's about to do another 2100 damage, and that's not going to leave the opponent with much to work with. I don't know what that is. Evil Mind. Oh, hi, Dark Fusion. <laughs> that's a good card. And that's a lot of burn. Oh, the doggo! The dog comes in. Infernal Wing is gone. Oh, she hit Judgment Dragon. Crap. I hope she still has Pot of Avarice. All right. Heart of the Cards comes through. What does she get? Premature Burial for Garoth. Is that really the best you had? Oh, no. You're fine. You're fine. There's nothing for the Supreme King to fuse right now. He has no hand. I'm pretty sure... Oh, she lost Pot of Green and Dark Hole. That sucks. She got Wolf. There we go. With 1,200 life points left, she's going to win this duel. With 1,200 life points left, she... No way! You drew Pot of Greed! There's no way! That doesn't... Fe no way! Yo! He's going to get it! It's the Golem! The Thunder with the Earth! You fuse them together and you get the Lightning Golem! The Pot of Greed was so crazy! It's gone! Lightning Golem, using its effect, gains attack points, wins the duel! It's over! Supreme King beat the king of games once so far. We're going to game three. I, that Pot of Greed was insane. He needed, he needed Pot of Greed because he needed two cards. And he got two cards. It was insane. That is not fair. I feel bad for Blair. That was cheating. We just watched a character cheat a victory. But it was so hype, I, I I gotta love it. I gotta love it. Alright, alright. Cool duel. Let's keep let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and draw some cards. That's a much better hand for the king. Oh, that's a good hand for her too, though. Ho oh, ho, that's really good. Oh man, that's good. One more to the grave and she could summon Judgment Dragon. And Stratos comes through for Sparky. And Dark Calling can fuse anything. And yep, it's going to pop face down. Even if she got the dog, it's gone. Lightning Golem's effect. Every single turn, you get to pop one. Monster Reborn for no reason. Oh, no, it's a big reason. That's, that's important. Dude. What the hell just happened? The dog is gone. There's only three monsters in the grave. She can't summon Judgment Dragon. She lost so many life points! It's only turn two! The duel just started! Blair! Brain control is not enough! You don't have enough life points for this! It's only one turn! You didn't even kill Stratos! Unless you just drew a trap, it's over. Unless you just drew a trap, it's over. You didn't draw a trap. I mean, yes, technically Wolf is stronger. I'll give you that. But look at your life points, Blair. Look at your life points. Okay. You have my attention, but I don't know how it's going to work. That's really good. I give you that. Sure, that pops. Popping is important. She lost Judgment Dragon. Dandelion wanted to be popped, though. That was part of the plan. Holy crap, I can't believe she's coming back. It's not enough, but it's impressive. This is how this is why she's a king. She fights. She freaking fights. Alright, what else you got? Trap to summon monster. Oh no, piercing! Holy crap! Double piercing! She won! It's over! The tokens! The 
tokens were a mistake! The king of games with the king of comebacks! Blair Flanagan with the best comeback I've ever seen! Won the duel! She beat the Supreme King! I thought he had it! I thought he had it! She had no life points left so quickly! And she still won! She is the king of games for a freaking reason. Get this. You know what, Spring King? If you had a better bracket, you might have gone all the way. You're so good. No, di Everyone, no disrespect to the Supreme King. Everyone give him some respect in the chat. He was good. He was good. He just ran up against the best. The number one ranked character. Blair is so good, guys. <laughs> She's so goddamn strong. All right. The next duel is Yugi Muto versus Yusei Fudo. We got ourselves a protagonist battle, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I thank you for following and everything. It's very kind. And I love that you love the Tag Force series. I love making those videos. So let's see. Who's that? Where is Yusei? Where is Yusei Fudo? That duel is crazy. That, that match was crazy. Every single one of them. Every single thing that happened in that was just insane. I loved it. We're not even in top eight and the duels are hype. All right, where is... I'm actually having trouble finding him. This is a problem. I'm either blind or stupid. Oh, there he is. In the corner. Of course he is. All right, and let's go find... I can find him immediately. And we're going to start the duel. So, guys, here we go. It's time for a little Yugs to take on um, Yusei Fudo. Oh, man, this is going to be hype. This is going to be hype. Now, you, now, don't forget, Yugi was the king of games. He, he retired. He's not the king anymore. He just was the king, which is impressive. He is the winner of the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, which earned him that title. You, thank you, Laser Mike. I appreciate that. We need clips for hype moments like that. I want to send them to the gamers outreach so they can see how we did today. Uh, we got Swift Guy. Or not Swift Guy. We got Arisen Gaia. All right, Guy the Fierce Knight is here. Yeah, we do have a Guy the Fierce Knight. That's a very good top deck. Dark Hole can get rid of the annoying Gaia card. And Jet is going to combo with this. Yep. Or, I do not know if it does. Actually, I was going to say that's not low. That's level three. I don't think. I don't think I gave him a level three. That card can be very good depending on what he chooses. Okay, a bunch of Gaia cards and a BLS. And uh, he ends up with a Gaia card. Not my choice, but whatever. Hey, thank you, Wookie. I'm so glad you could be here. BLS! He already had one! It's gone for good! He could have... Actually, he should have just attacked, but the AI is stupid sometimes. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? He got BLS so early, and he could just start banishing. He doesn't even have to attack. He could just be like, no interesting again that's level three. Oh, that's level five that's it that's what we need you say fudo's coming back everybody jet warrior and jet warrior gets you out of the way doppel tokens are coming to play but honestly that guy is still too big for you that guy the fierce knight is still too big for you you can't even beat a guy let alone bls Oh, it has... Oh, Rush Warrior! I'm an idiot! I don't know what that does. Oh, whoa, that's a big gain in attack. Holy crap. Yugi's struggling. He's below... Okay, Yugi has no life points. He lost everything, and uh, he needs to think of something. Now. Oh, he already had a Dark and a Light. Never mind, he won. <laughs> Yugi had a Dark and a Light, and I did not know. What does that do? Ah, also increases. Good to know. And that does 2,600 damage. And yes, you get to attack. It's over. Yugi Muto wins the duel for game number one. His BLS card is just too strong. All right. Let's get into game number two and see if Yusei can make a comeback. Whoa, I missed one? God damn it. A greedy guy. Thank you so much for a $100 dono. Not so greedy today as you gave back to the children. And I need to know from my moderator, since I can't see that far, how much money have we raised today? Or fans, if fans want to tell me. How much money have we raised today for the children's hospital, for the nurses at the children's hospital, making that money? How did we do so far? Because we're only halfway through. 4028 or $24. We do not know. $4,000 is good enough for me. $4,000 freaking dollars, people. We're amazing. You're amazing. 
All right. That, it's weird that he didn't Synchro Summon. And that gets him a Ritual Monster. But he needs the Spell Card for it to matter. And that's a Gaia. Gaia can get rid of a tune. No, you've been baited. Oh, Yugi, he's going to hit you hard next turn. If he draws a monster that is a non-tuner, he's going to just destroy you. Oh my god, Yugi's done. Yugi's done. Okay, that, that isn't what I meant, but... You know what? Yeah, no, it works. Yugi's done. How much does watching the stream generate? It depends on how many people are watching. It's, it's, it's going to be varied. But by the end of the stream, I'll know. So we'll be able to figure it out together. Oh, crap. Is that Junk Warrior? All right. We have Excel Synchro. We have Junk Warrior. And we have Excel Synchron. We have a Excel Synchro. What the hell? Excel Synchro level 10. It's Stardust Warrior. Gaia didn't stand a chance. Stardust Warrior is here. The mi mix of Stardust Dragon and a Warrior put together into the ultimate creature. An Excel Synchro in today's tournament just to beat Yugi. That's a dark hole. Do you have an effect in the grave? Yes, you do. You summon the all-powerful Road Warrior. It's still a 3K beater, Yugi. You can't do nothing about that. Well, well that's be well. You could tie, but you can't beat it. You could you could tie with it, but you can't beat it. BLS for BLS. He didn't have anything else. That's sad to see. All right, Black Luster Soldier. Wait, no, Gaia buffs him by getting rid of BLS. BLS gains 500 attack, but the Scrap Iron says no. Sword says no. Wow, Yugi's like, you got Scrap Iron, I got Swords. Different generations, the same amount of annoyance. Dude, this is an epic duel. Road Warrior's like, I'm not done. Doppel Warrior. They both have annoying cards. <laughs> the trap and the spell. All right, what do we get this time? Thank you so much. A BLS, sure, sure. Ritual spell. Uh, Polar Knights are on the field now. We throw it away to buff him again, even though you don't, do you not remember? The Scrap Iron's right there. It doesn't cost him anything to do it. It's costing you, Yugi. Yugi doesn't know. Scrap Iron's hurting him. Reinforced Truth will just bring out another Doppel. He's waiting. He knows Junk Warrior can overpower it. Funny enough, Junk Warrior. Oh, that's good to get into the grave. Oh, that, oh, you didn't want to Synchro. Okay. Oh, he already... Did, he didn't do Jet yet. Yeah, he should have synchroed. Harpies? Oh, Harpies! Wait! But does he have any more monsters to banish? He messed up if he doesn't. He doesn't have any more monsters to banish! He got Harpies too late! And he honestly, he wasted his effect. Oh, Level Eater's gonna have so much value. It's gonna have so much value. He can buy himself more time. Rhoda, too. Dear God, that can get Junk Synchron. Max Warrior? Why Max Warrior? Now oh, I'm confused. Dead Synchron. Level Eater. Wait. Wait. Synchro? Synchro Summon! Wait! Wait a minute! We have another one! There is a level 2 Synchro that gives you a card! It's Formula Synchron! Formula Synchron, let's draw a card! That's a really good top deck. That That's insane. That top deck is literally insane. It's gone. It's gone. He's not willing to crash, thank God, because he would just lose. Freaking hell, this duel's tense. Road Warrior's gonna do it again. He just keeps searching. He's just so good at it. No, not Magic Cylinder! That's so much damage! Okay, you say it takes his first big hit. They're both at 5k. That is the first big hit on you say. And obviously, I think Yuki's just waiting until he draws another light or dark. What does that do? Okay, he did that. He gets Envoy of Chaos. That's so interesting. That is so interesting. What is he doing? All right, Yugi's falling for it. Yugi didn't know. Road War, Rush Warrior, whatever its name is. It's at 6,000. BLS is gone. Yugi has no more protection. Yugi's going to lose. He lost his best monster. Well, his mini boss monster, his old boss monster is gone. And we got ourselves a Rota, everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. Just end this duel. Uh, one more attack ends this duel, everybody. All he has to do is say, I attack. Please stop. Please stop. My God. 
You say Fudo. All you have to do is attack and use Road Warrior and you win. A Rush Warrior and you win. And that is game. The winner of duel number two is Yusei Fudo. That was great. That was a great duel. The person going to top eight will either be Yusei or Yugi because we're going to game three. Who is going all the way? Will it be Yugi with BLS Gaia or will it be Yusei with Synchron Junk? Stardust. Honestly, that Excel Synchro decided the duel. Once he got that monster, he guaranteed Road Warrior. Road Warrior guaranteed he would always have monsters. It was just too much. And obviously the trap. I hope that final duel is good too. Let's hope. Although in that last duel, Yugi never really hit the guy. He never got a chance. He got Magic Cylindered and that's about it. Alright, Max Warrior and Synchron. Interesting. I don't know if I would have done what he did, but whatever. Rhoda, okay, you both like Rhoda because you both run Warriors. Guy of the Polar Knights here. Field spell is good because it gets you a Black Luster Soldier, but you have to have the spell for that to have any value. You have Gaia. Gaia has value. Gaia gets rid of the Rush Max Warrior. I don't know. I don't know any of their names. I'm very bad at this. Why am I the Why am I doing the video? <laughs> One of you guys would do much better when it comes to knowing the cards. And there is no card to search. Yusei's in a bad spot. I have to admit it, Yusei's in a bad spot, but his deck is about coming back with just one card, so even if he loses a lot, he could just come back with one card like he did last time. Oh, that's a problem. He got the Ritual Spell. Don't play it yet, just in case, but you have it. That's important. Don't set it. Oh, God, if he just said it, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, man, if you just said it, I'm going to yell at you. Oh, you didn't. Oh, oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. And Yugi has a BLS in hand. That should scare a lot of you. That should scare so many of you. The Dapper Vulture is reacting to it. Here comes the Junk Warrior. It's not enough. Th Wait, no, it is enough. He only needs 31, right? He only needs 3,100 attack to beat BLS. And he has, with two tokens. Granted, the tokens will cost him life points. I don't know about this. The tokens are going to cost him. He does have enough to beat BLS. Junk Warrior is the true warrior monster. It's stronger. But what will Yugi how will Yugi summon BLS? That's the real question. Blackluster Ritual. Only one. See, that's the mistake. Wait, what? No, it wasn't only one. What's going on? He can do one and one if it's the Arisen card? I didn't know he could do one and one. That's awesome. Uh BLS gets an effect. Yeah, the blue one has an effect, too. That one has an effect. Dear God, Yugi. You, Yugi. Yugi, calm down. He's just a boy from space. He doesn't know. He doesn't know who you are. Yugi, leave him alone. Yugi. <laughs> no, you're supposed to attack with BLS. Okay, he did attack with BLS. Yugi Mudo, everybody. Decimates Yusei Fudo. Yugi Mudo will be moving on to top eight of the tournament. And I think I... Look... Yeah, you guys did amazing donations, lots of the $50 donations, lots of love. But I have earned the right to take this off. As long as as long as we're good, I, my hair's going to look crazy because of it. No. As long as we're good, I've earned the right to take that off. It lasted long enough. Lots of matches were were there. Yugi Muto has done it though. <laughs> now we're just going to go back to our bracket and we are going to see who's up next. The next duel is a former king of games, much like Yugi Mudo, Weevil Underwood. And Weevil Underwood will be taking on Akiza, the, uh, sorry, the Rose Witch. Which character do you like more? Do you like this one or do you like that? <laughs> Weevil and his insects are the plants of, uh, Akiza. We're not in top eight. We're not in top eight. We're getting people into top eight. We're still in top 16. Sorry if I said top eight. That's my apology. Oh, my apologies. All right. I don't know. Kaiba almost lost. He might as well be a fraud still. All right. Akiza. 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 Where the hell is Akiza? There she is. All right. Let's start this duel, everybody. Do you believe in insects or plants? Plants or Akiza? I insects or Weevil? Weevil. 
I'm very excited for this. I'm, I'm sitting. I'm sitting up. Akiz is a high-ranking duelist, and Weevil was once the king of games, one of the highest-ranking characters. So I'm very excited. All right. Oh, that's a good start. Pinch Hopper into Insect Queen. That works. That 100% works. Her field spell already. He's done. Lone Fire Blossom into Black Rose Dragon. Yup. <laughs> yep, that's about right. And Black Rose Dragon into Rose Girl. You're going to use their effect first. Very smart. And with that effect, you're going to destroy the opponent's monster, forcing out the Insect Queen. Insect Queen, funny enough, can hold the field. Insect Queen is strong enough to hold the field. But that only lasted until now. Everybody, it's time for the Ruddy Rose Dragon, the strongest card in Akiza's deck. And now neither character has a graveyard. All right, well, we have a top deck. That's the worst top deck. He never wants to draw that card. And you know what? He's going to... And I'm back. I apologize. I need a I need a second. I need a second to get back into my own head. Oh, that's the worst hand they could have top decked. Those cards are meant to be special summoned from the deck. And you could just end this duel, Akiza. We don't need to be here anymore. Thank you. All right, game number one goes to the Rose Witch Akiza. I don't know what happened with him. I don't know what's wrong with that head of his, but he uh he messed up. He messed up. All right, let's go ahead and get into game number two and see what happens. The AI couldn't see two steps ahead, I guess. What a shame. All right, here we go again. I'm starting to recover from that. I apologize if I'm a little more quiet, but when I get upset, I get a little quieter. I get very quiet. Because if I don't, I get mad. If I get mad, I get loud. All right, Botanical Lion is here and Magic Cylinder. Yep, might as well do 1900 burn. You're going to lose anyway, because you suck, Weevil, after what you did. And let's see what Weevil plans to do, because other than this, he's in trouble. All right, he's got himself a Parasite Paranoid, and he's got it. He's got it. He summoned it. Perfectly ultimate Great Moth. He got it immediately. This is going to be the fastest duel of the day, isn't it? He got Harpies from that. He top decked Harpies from that. Almost won the duel on turn three. If he had one beater, he would have won. 200 life points decide this duel. And Weevil's not known for his burn. Weevil, oh, Piercy, he won! That's how he beat Pegasus way back when! Weevil Underwood with perfectly ultimate Great Moth decimates uh, Akiza Izinski. Akiza literally gets decimated. That is crazy. That took no time at all. Let's get into game number three. There is a chance Weevil is a true king. There is a chance he deserves to be here. So far, no King of Games have been knocked out of the tournament. Oh, Prana did. Well, Prana was unfair. She was close. Prana was close, and she's the oldest. Give her a break. All right, she retired a long time ago. She didn't keep up with the game like Yugi did. All right. Oh, we got a seal. With his seal, he has a lot of power. One of those cards in his hand isn't very useful, but the seal is very useful. Actually, no, he has Howling Insect. It could be useful. I was incorrect. All right, Silvora Calcos is here. Howling Insect goes in with a massive attack stack. Granted, it's used against him. Unlucky. All right. Howling Insect will stand strong. What will you do, Akiza? Akiza gets her Rose Girl. Harpies cannot do anything. Actually, she wasted her Harpies. Wow. 
Big misplay from Akiza there. Rose Girl goes back to the hand, sure. Akiza is now going to do nothing. She is scared of the Howling Insect. Oh, you should be more afraid of what, what's about to happen. Everybody, with the effect of Pinch Hopper, you are allowed to summon the other queen. The Metamorphous Queen is here, and it has 3,300 attack. And now Weevil... Okay, you shouldn't have wasted Monster Reborn, but Weevil is so close to victory. Weevil is so close to knocking out the Rose Witch. He, he even gets a token, which is protected by Seal of Orichalcos. Lord Poison in attack mode only works if there is a wall. Parasite Paranoid says no. The queen has an effect and she gets another token to devour. Can't summon that, sadly. 1800 damage is pretty good. You should have attacked with the insect tokens. I'm not going to lie. They would have helped. Oh, that's why. Lord Poison. How can I forget? Yup. All right. Now she's going to need to get her... Uh... Oh, yeah. She didn't want to do that effect. Silvery Cocos wouldn't... Oh, that's a tuner. She could do it. Guys, she could do it. I don't know what she's doing now. What? What? Wasn't that a tuner? Am I wrong? Was that not a tuner? Oh, you can just special summon it? Oh, no. What? The field spell? Does that... Does that work? No? Why'd you do that? Wasn't that a tuner? I'm sure it was. It was level three. I'm pretty sure that was a tuner. Why'd you do that? Unless you have Wall of Thorns and you're just waiting. He's going all in. Oh, almost. Pinch Hopper's still in defense mode. Wait, wait. Okay, she's fine. She's fine, but she's weird. Thank you again for subbing. I appreciate that. What the hell's going on here? She did predict monster cards, so anything she synchro summons this turn will have an extra thousand attack. But those are tuners. It's over! She misplayed super hard! Akiza, joining Kaibacore was the worst mistake of your life! Wait. What? Why'd you do that? Wait. Why'd you do that? You gave her another turn! Why'd you do that? Oh, dear God! Oh, my God! Why'd you do... What the hell? Why aren't you synchro? Does this card do something uh, Something I'm, you're not allowed... Is this? Does this say no synchros? This says no synchros, doesn't it? Did you just... I'm sorry, did you just lock your own monster? To summon a weaker monster? Oh, it does piercing. Never mind, they had a plan. They had a plan this whole time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He had a plan. Insect Queen does piercing now. Alright. It's okay. He wins. <laughs> With his old school Insect Queen, he wins. Weevil Underwood has defeated a Moon Duelist that went to second place in the freaking Fortune Cup. Even her at her best can't stop Weevil. And you call him a fraud. He's top eight in one of the most hyped tournaments ever. And you call him a fraud. All right, let's move into the next duel of this tournament. The next duel of the tournament is... Wait for it. Crow Hogan, the winner of the Fortune Cup Tournament and the Satellite Hero, versus Bandit Keith, the American Champion. If you believe in America, you'll vote for Bandit Keith. If you believe in the Hero of the Satellite or the Fortune Cup Champion, you'll vote for Crow. Go ahead and place your bets, people. Who do you like more? Who did Bandit Keith have to beat to get here? He beat a Shizu. That's pretty good. He beat a Shizu. A Shizu would have countered so many decks today. She would have hurt so many decks. So Bandit Keith stopping her is pretty crazy. Alright. Thank you for being a sub, bud. I very much appreciate that. Very kind of you. All right, Bandit Keith is ready. Crow is ready. I am ready. Let's get into the duel. That's a very weird start. That is a very unrecommended start. All right, attack goes through. Oh, you banish. That's why. Not much you could do about that, Bandit Keith. All 
All right, what do you got? Shura, I'm sure that's going to work. And with the Synchro Summon, here comes the boss monster, everybody. The strongest card in his deck in terms of attack. It's the Black Wing Dragon. All right, he got his freaking, uh, what do they call those things? Not a Synchro Monster, but his... Uh, Signer card. He got a signer card. Mechanical Chaser uses the field spell. Yes, this turn it's not strong, but next turn it will be with 2800 attack. So next turn he'll have 2800 attack to deal with the, the dragon card. Oh crap. He really needs his field spell. So that's. Mm. Uh, Bandit Keith is officially in danger. It. What? Crow messed up so hard! Did he not realize what he was doing? Oh man! Oh man, that's upsetting! Oh, Crow, what was that? Bird brain is right! What was that? Your opponent had no life points left! You could have decimated him! Alright, Zephyr for a synchro summon. Okay, he could still synchro. He's fine. He's fine. His last synchro summon will be. The all-powerful, wait for it, the monster that used to be his boss, armed, black-winged arm wing. And the, it's, uh, it's dead. When it comes to attack, you're not going to beat Bandit Keith. The only characters that can maybe, maybe beat Bandit Keith in attack points. Seto Kaiba, Taya Gardner, and of course, Hellkaiser Zane. Are we going to pop Black Whirlwind so he can't come back? He got two, there's so many heads today! Why are there so many heads today? You get heads. You get heads. All right. Last card is Bora. They're tied. His last card is Bora. What are you going to do against it? That's interesting. Oh, that's... You, you're crazy. Keith is crazy. Keith is an insane person. Instead of going for the guaranteed Blast Sphere, he went ballsy. Keith is insane. Look what you just gave him. Oh, you're lucky. The AI always goes set when they're the aggressor for some reason. Okay. Okay, but what does Keith get? That's good. That's interesting. Oh, no. Okay, he didn't get Barrel Dragon. He needed Barrel Dragon. He did not get it. Uh, interesting. No matter what, that saved Crow. They both saved each other. And that's a Synchro Summon. We're going to go for a Piercing Damage Monster. Look, Keith, let me just be real with you. Clean up clean up the field with Dark Hole. It's your only hope. Just clean it up. You don't want to deal. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Everybody, it's time for Gatling Dragon at 5,200 attack! It's un- Let's flip those coins. How many heads? Two is enough. Get rid of those face downs. You didn't get rid of the face downs. All right. Well, limited removal for game. Do it. The biggest attack of the day. He's just going to go for 52. Bandit Keith with 5,200 attack ended that duel. I told you the American champion is one of the heaviest hitters. I told you in the intro. I warned you all. He is good. All right. We're going into game two. Crow is a little shocked at how bad he played, but don't worry. He'll figure it out. Give me a second. I've been screaming too much. I need to blow my nose. Trash right there. Perfect. All right. Keith gets slept on. Don't forget, Keith in almost, like, in 90% in of the pro tournaments, he got top eight. He's good. <laughs> All right, and we have two normal summons, which is very fun. Just a tournament of upsets. Yeah, if Crow loses, I agree. If Crow loses, that's an upset. Dark Hole comes through. Dark Hole is going to be pretty major. Um, are we going to set Deku? No, we're going to use it aggressively. Interesting. Um, interesting. What are you going to do with it? Sure is too strong for you. And now you've given him a tuner. Oh, Nope, he wants damage. Interesting. Does he already have a tuner? Is that why? Oh, that's why. That's a good play. That's a very good play. That dark hole was worthless. Officially, that dark hole was worthless. That's interesting. That's even more interesting. What are you doing with it? 
Okay. This Cyber Jar could be major if the, unless the opponent has a popping card that we don't know about. Nope, they're just going in. And this decides the duel. This Cyber Jar decides the duel. Shura, Shura. That's amazing. That's later. Okay. The trap is God tier. And uh, the spell is God tier. And the monster could be amazing. It did win him the Fortune Cup after all. That's really good. That's good enough. Sure. Oh my god. He got five monsters. Bandy Keith got five monsters. I'm not joking. He got him. He's only missing the field spell. Bandy Keith's a god. Oh my god, he drew the field spell. What the hell just happened? The hell just happened? It's over. Bandy Keith got five monsters and won the duel. Bandicoot got five monsters and then his... And with Metal Morph! Why not? Metal Morph Blowback Dragon! The American Duelist knocks out Crow in a 2-0! He didn't even drop a duel to Crow! Bandicoot is for real. <laughs> the American Champion is for real. He's going to top 8, everybody. Although that's usually when he falls, funny enough. All right, so we're going to move Bandit Keith into top eight. And the final duel of top 16 is here. Are we going for Aster Phoenix or are we going for Seto Kaiba? Seto Kaiba did not exactly intend to invite Aster Phoenix. He tried to invite the D, but the D was in jail. So the D redirected the invite to Aster Phoenix, which is why he's here today. So we'll see how Aster Phoenix does against the host of today's tournament. And I'm excited to see it. I want to see both these duelists. We saw Aster earlier today. He was insane. Aster earlier today was pulling off crazy combos. Will Seto make top eight? No way. Seto sucks. Let's be real. Let's just everyone come together and let's all accept something. There are some things in this world we disagree on. The one thing we can agree on is Kaiba is a fraud. He is going to... He's, this, is, this is the end of him. This is the end of Seto Kaiba. Thank you, Jason. All right, let's do this, guys. Seto Kaiba versus <clears throat> Aster Phoenix. And interesting start from Seto Kaiba. That is very interesting. All right, damage comes through. Yes, you get a blue eyes, but unless you got three in your hand and a poly, I don't see the value. And Fearmonger does its job. Thank you, DGATS. And don't worry, you're making money just by watching this stream. Just by watching your, this stream, you're giving back. I can guarantee it. At the end of the stream, you'll get to see just how much. Rota's very good for Stratos, but Stratos can't get you both fusions. Oh, Doomlord. Interesting. Interesting choice. I don't blame him. That's not bad. It's an interesting choice. If he had Dogma right now, it'd be crazy. Interesting. You're going to let him draw another card? I don't think you should give Seto Kaiba more draw power. That I don't recommend. What does that do? Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Get rid of that Doom Lord or else you're going to die. No, that was a good card. You wanted that one. That was your friend. But you're Seto Kaiba, and you always make the worst decisions, so I understand. Oh, well, hold up. Are you going to banish, or are you going to destroy everything? You're an idiot. Aster Phoenix is also an idiot. I apologize. He's just going to set Defender. All right, well, this is going to be weird. This is going to be a weird duel. Seto Kaiba, how are you going to come back? All right, he summons the Dictator of D, but it's not strong enough, and nothing he has is. And now he's just going to play the waiting game. Dat Tribe, thank you for subbing. 21 months, you're an insane person, and I appreciate you. I love insane people. All right, and here comes the Stratos, and you used it to pop swords. Really? You could have searched for half of the fusion gate, and you used it to destroy s swords. I told you not to give him draw power. I told you. I, I literally am giving you... I'm, I'm coaching you, and you're making a, a mistake. 
All right. Attack goes through. Goodbye. Attack goes through. Goodbye. Attack goes through. Good freaking bye. And Aster Phoenix, good luck. Because now you have to deal with Blue Eyes and Azure Silver Dragon. How are you going to beat both of them? Because you're not. Only Plasma. That's fair. Only Plasma is going to beat it. Heartbreaking. You're right. Fusion Gate would work with both characters. That's hilarious. Uh, and that is it, everybody. That's a lot of damage. That That's... Just leave him alone. Dude, that's bullying. That's actually... Bu he summoned the... He attacked with the egg! The AI is actually insulting the enemy! He did that on purpose! First stream of destruction! He did what Yugi used to do with Magician of Faith. He summoned the egg just to make fun of the opponent. Seto Kaiba is one duel away from top eight. Granted, he was given... Ah, he stole a fraud. He was given that duel. How many defenders... How much free draw power did he get? He did BM the opponent, though. He was like, you know what? I premature... I spent 800 to do 300, even though I don't need it. Interesting start from Kaiba, because if that goes to the grave, it's very valuable. Dusty draw for a defender would be your best option. Good. Good AI. All right. Starting to work better. Oh, he's o it's over. Kaiba thinks he's strong. Try dealing with one of these. And here it comes. It's Destiny and Dragoon. It's coming back next turn. On the next episode, it'll come back. I promise. No, if he won the whole thing, he's not a fraud anymore. This is the hardest tournament any character's in. I mean, did you see the lineup? This is the hardest tournament I've ever had. There is no harder turn. Like, pro-level tournaments aren't this difficult. And we're going to just summon two blue eyes because his mom lets him have... What the hell is that? That's not blue eyes. That's, that's a fake eyes. All right. The attack comes through. But the one problem with this, my buddy, my pal, my friend, is there's plenty of Destiny heroes in the grave. So you'll never be done with this Destiny and Dragoon card. It will always be there to bully you. And all it has to do is 3,000 burn a couple turns, and it's over. Stratos is going to search. If if he special summons next turn, he can get Plasma for game. He should have Synchro summoned. I agree. What the hell? Black Dawn, thank you so much for donating another 100. And you know what? I'm just going to... That's that's $100. I'm not going to pretend like it's not. All right. There, I'll put the hat back on. And we're going to make him shrink. But like I said, he's only going to be dead for this turn. My favorite season of Yu-Gi-Oh! is Duel Monster. Well, no, GX season... I don't know. It's tough. I really like Duel's Kingdom because they're so creative in that season. Alright, damage is really good. He almost won, but Dusty and Dragoon... And it's over! It's over! He got Fusion Gate! It was so close! He was so close to winning, but Destiny and Dragoon times two is, two, is 4,200 burn! It was a good fight. He put up a good fight, but at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough. That's a lot of drill darks. Dictator. He did it! No! God damn it! Oh, I gotta get the hat back. I God damn it! You had it! <laughs> you had the burn! What was wrong with you? The hat's back on. Don't worry. It's a little awkward, but it's back on. Oh my god, the AI is so stupid. It's just like when Weevil attacked and he didn't know he was strong enough. Oh my god. He just had to do the burn effect and he would have won. But he's too dumb. Alright, whatever. Whatever, let's move on. Let's move on. Yes, he gets to move to top 8 because he 2 would Aster, but it wasn't fair. Aster gave it to him. The way I see it, Aster gave it to him. Alright. Let's, let's just move on. Let's just move on. We're in top eight. These are the eight strongest characters. The eight most powerful duelists in the world right now. And the eight most powerful duelists in the world right now. Former King of Games, Seto Kaiba. American Champion, Bandit Keith. Former King of Games, Weevil Underwood. 
Former King of Games, Yugi Mudo. Former, all the former King of Games except Prana are here. Former King of Games, Blair Flanagan. My Valentine ranks second in the world right now. Yami Bakora, unknown. And Mako Tsunami. I, I'm missing some stuff, aren't I? Crap, what did I miss? Uh, mods, what did I just miss? Was it a follow? Was it a sub? Or was it money? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's continue. But if I miss something, let me know because I was looking at the bracket. Okay, the duel is Mako Tsunami versus Bakora, everybody. Blair is the current king of games. You're right. Sorry if I said former. My brain is a is, is a hype tournament. My brain ain't working so good. Mako is definitely the the what is it called? The black sheep of the group. Where they're just like, how did he get here? He's good. All right, he's good. This is just Battle City with Blair. <laughs> it's Battle City with Blair. All right, let's do this. Thank you very much. Doomy Gamer, thank you so much for 100. Five ba what the hell's going on? 308 Caliber, thank you so much for $50. Uh, freaking Doomy Gamer, thank you so much for $100. And thank you so much, Five Bastion, for $100. I'm keeping the hat on, all right? All of round top eight, I'll keep the hat on. It's too much. It's too much money for me not to. It's for the kids. It's for the goddamn kids. I will not take it off. But now that I've had a little breather, we can we can start doing it. Sorry, I need a I need a second just to just to think about who's top eight and what what the hell happened to get them there. Can you guys imagine if Mako wins today's tournament? How would you all feel if Mako won today? What 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 emotions would run through you? Because Yami Bakura, how many people believe Yami Bakura shouldn't be here? Who saw the Mo Mer Merrick versus Bakura might be my favorite match today. And there were some really good matches today. Supreme King versus Blair. Think about them. But he shouldn't be here. Because that was crazy. Ban the whale. Ban the chaos sanctuary. Uh, yeah, ban the sanctuary. Here it goes. Sorry for making you wait so long. I just, you know, it's top eight. We're moving into a new round. I wanted to get into it. You're right. He did do well in the Summer Bowl. But the Summer Bowl didn't really have high-ranking characters. But you know what? Mako really loves that TT. Oh, well, you know what? TT only works well against high attacking monsters. And Bakora's deck is all defense. It's like all defense. And then maybe, oh, well, except that guy. Fair enough. He got me there. <laughs> you played me, Mako. You played me, Bakora. And Bakora did not draw his card. That is bad news. Bakora does not have his card, everybody. No destiny board on turn one like he did to his first opponent. And no field spell either. Alright, we have a tribute. It's time for the Citadel Whale. Is that what it's called? No, Mega Fortress Whale. Sorry, the other one, Citadel. Oh, God! <laughs> I haven't seen that in forever. It's not a... Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's the real boss monster. That's Mako un uh, unbound. <laughs> that is Mako unstoppable if he gets it onto the field. That car could just attack directly, though. Citadel Whale. There we go. Giant Germ to stall. Understandable. That's the towers, basically, right? Bacor oh, he had two Giant Germs in his hand. No wonder his hand sucks. He had two Giant Germs. And he doesn't have Destiny Board. What does he have? You know, when Mako gets his stuff, he's a pretty fast duel. Sometimes he's slow, sometimes he's fast. And again, if I missed it, I know I, I tried to get all donations. If I missed any donations, let me know. And they're all gone, and it's game. That is the power of Mako Tsunami. That is truly the power. Oh, Magic Cylinder. No. Does Citadel Will have a counter to Magic Cylinder that I don't know about? It does! Citadel Will can negate Magic Cylinder! It's over! Get wrecked! The winner for game number one is Mako Tsunami. All right. He is one win away from being top four. From rank 100 to top four. He never. It's rare when he gets his legendary fisherman level three. But when he does, my god, it's great. He got his field spell. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. He got legendary fisherman two, which is also good. 
The Freaky Fish guy's unstoppable, unless he gets Destiny Board. Destiny Board and the Field Spell make a big difference. The Makora always got the Field Spell against Merrick and always got the Destiny Board against his first opponent, which I cannot remember the name of. Strings, against Strings, my apologies. All right, attack goes through, Magic Cylinder says no. But that one works. The Dapper Vulture, thank you so much for sub. We almost have 200 subs, that's freaking insane. Life's, life's kind of cool sometimes, you guys are awesome. All right, here comes the Destiny Board, it has begun. The card that wins duels has begun. Interesting, but probably understandable. All right, he got his Mega Fortress Whale. He has nothing. You're telling me he has nothing? Bakor, go! Your opponent is bricked! They're all spell cards in his hand. They're all Destiny Board spells. Go get him! Legendary Fisherman turns into Mega Fortress Whale! 2750 goes in. He needs defense. He is... Oh, wait. No, he spelled Finn. It's over. F-I-N. That, sta that stands for final. It's over. It's not over. All right. Keep it going. Oh, it's over. It's over. He didn't get anything to defend himself. He didn't draw any monsters. That blows my mind. Mecha Fortress will go... Why didn't you summon the other monster? Yeah, that guy. I guess it wouldn't have ended the duel, but still. If... But if... Bakora can hold on for one turn, he wins. But he has to find something. That monster has to stop 2,500 damage when this guy can, can do this much damage. He has two whales. You're not stopping him. No way! Wait! Can you stop that? Yes! The Citadel Whale protects the Mega Fortress Whale! The Night Assailant fails! Mako Tsunami! is going to top four. The whales defended each other. The whales defended each other. Get countered. Yami Bakora. You cheated to get this far. Wait, did I just see it? Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, crap, I missed it. Who was it? Who, who I, mi I missed a bunch of donations. Who were they? Squall? Squall, thank you so much. I appreciate the $100. We're doing it. We're so close to the Redux Let's Play. This is impossible. I didn't think this was possible. We're doing it. I, am I going to have to bring up the third freaking thing? It doesn't matter. Let's just focus on this. Top four. Mako is in top four, and that blows my mind. That shouldn't be happening. That should not be happening. This is the most insane tournament I've ever had. How close to 5K? I can't read it. It's too close. I, I just know we've been getting a lot of hundreds lately. That's why I can't, I can't see it. My brain... All right, Mako, Yami, Bakora, Mako one. Blows my mind. The next duel is my Valentine rank. Wait, it's a rematch of the Beetle Box. These two characters fought each other at the Beetle Box. $4,478, everybody. That's how much we've raised so far. You are all amazing. We're still in top eight. There is still more tournament to come. There is a chance we're going to be getting that Redux Let's Play. All right, now let's see. My Valentine versus Blair. My versus Blair. Never say never. There's still more tournament to be had. As long as there's more tournament, anything is possible. Oh, Blair, Blair, Blair. don't know where she is up there she is all right this is it we're going into another top eight fight a rematch of the beetle box these two fought to become king and blair won that fight in game three my valentine what will you or game i don't remember i remember it was a good duel though all right my the fastest duelist versus blair one of the fastest duelists it's gonna be a good duel but blair has a power advantage so there's always that also with all these donations i'll keep this on for half of semifinals as well it's been too much. Too many donations for me to not keep it on. <laughs> Flying Kamakiri, there we go. Flying Kamakiri is going to get Harpy Lady number one. Harpy Lady number one pops Hysteric Party, which is incredible. And Harpy's Oracle comes through. Harpy's Oracle gets Harpy's Hunting Ground. Monster Aborn comes through. Monster Aborn gets Jane. Jane comes in with power. We got Harpy's Hunting Ground, which hasn't been used yet. And the monsters are going down. You attacked in the wrong order, in my opinion. Oh, no, it's the same attack. That's fine. And the damage is good. 
Blair, you've always been in these tense situations and you're always losing. And then you just come back with no life points. So I'm not going to say nothing. I can't say, oh, it's over. I can't do nothing because you, you're... I can't trust you. You always do something to come back. I don't know about that one. You didn't hit Wolf. So I think she was trying to hit Wolf. She did not hit Wolf. Double Harpy Lady 1s would be... Oh, no. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon is 2,700 attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Number one. Duel number one goes to my Valentine. She's getting revenge for the Beetle Box. She proves she is the fastest duelist. My Valentine truly is the fastest, and there was no power to match because Blair didn't get any powerful cards. So, we'll see if in this duel Blair gets more powerful cards to hold back my speed. The only thing to stop speed is a very high defense stat or a very high attack stat. Alright, Elegant Egotist is really good. Harpy Dancer, Harpy Harpist, all of this is really good for my... Oh... Oh... Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. What the? What is in her hand? Is it three wolves? With the, the way this game works, we've seen three of everything. It could be three wolves for all we know. Pot of Greed, she's fine. She's fine. She's going to fix it. It's going to be fine. Harvey Lay Sisters is gone. It's going to be fine. Wild. All right. She lost two traps, but she has a new trap. It's fine. Blair's not out of here yet. TT. There we go. TT safe. You scared her. That's all you need. MST. Amazing. Blair stopped the Torriental Tribute. The TT is gone. Tribute for piercing. Oh, even better. Popping. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. 23 to the face. Blair's doing it, guys. Even without anything, she's coming back. Harvey Lady 1 doesn't do anything. It can't stop Lila. Hysteric Sign helps, but it's still not... Yo, you still lose. Even Harpy Lay Sisters doesn't have enough attack. And you agree. Alright, alright. What else we got? Ooh, that's a lot more interesting. Alright, we got Garoth. That's pretty good. We have another Tribute. Piercing this time. Okay, with this much damage, it's totally worth it. Blair Flanagan has made the comeback a reality. She's going to win. She's going to win next turn because you can't play defensively against it. That won't save you. That's GG. Elegant Egotist will not save you. Double Harpy Ladies will not save you. You are done. End this duel, Blair. With the equip spell. And with one attack, the game is over. Blair Flanagan has won game number two. Despite a horrible opening hand, she still comes back. She could have Triple Wolf and still win. All right. <clears throat> we are now going to be moving into game number three. Who is going to top four? Current king of games, Blair Flanagan, or current rank number two in the world, the runner-up, my Valentine. Speed versus just probably the best deck we have so far, which is Blair. Hell, Blair beat Supreme King. And so, you got to admit, Supreme King's deck was busted. It was busted. All right, Harpy Harpist. And there's the boss. All right, we got the boss monster super early. And it's pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. If they have Dark Hole, you just misplayed so hard. You slow down next time. If they don't have Dark Hole, you're probably going to win the duel. <laughs> she had it! Blair had Dark Hole! Blair! only will win the duel because of that that's cheating there was no other way there was no other way wolf is on the field mother about the mother reborn monster reborn steals the boss the boss monster is stolen garoth is on the field blair could have lost if she didn't start the duel with it but her limited to one dark hole was in her hand harpy harpist gives you one card to come back with you have one card. Make it work. Mm, you didn't do any damage this duel, so that doesn't... Oh, you really don't have anything. Harpy Chandler out of desperation. Very sad, but understandable. Harpy Dancer is worse than the card you had in your hand. 
It's over. My my threw everything she had at her and realized, oh sh I should have I should have planned for Dark Hole. That's why I said don't use everything you got. What? Guys. Harpy's pet dragon says you can't attack. Right? Doesn't that what Harpy's pet dragon's effect says? You can't attack non-Harpy... I mean, you can't attack Harpy cards. You can attack face downs. But the second that turns into a Harpy, the monster you stole... Oh, why would you, why would you pick that when you have no life points? Pick a Harpy card. Are you trying to loot... My throws the duel! What the hell? It's over. It's over. It's just done. We are done. The winner is Blair. The number one duelist is still the number one duelist, but no disrespect to my Valentine. She is still super good. She is still one of the best duelists we've ever seen. All right. So let's go ahead and let's uh, move on to the next fight of top eight. All right, thank you so much, Total Drama. This tournament is going amazing. It's been so much fun, and it's just going to keep getting better. The next duel is a blast from the past. Everybody, it's time for Yugi Mudo versus Weevil Underwood. All right, Yugi versus Weevil. These two once fought each other. Wait, well, I don't know if they fought each other, but they were once in the same tournament. Only once, and that was back in Duelist Kingdom. And I'm talking about our lord, not the anime. The anime they fought, uh, they've seen each other many times. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens. Yugi Mudo, an old king, retired, came back just to, just for the kids. Weevil Underwood, an old king, retired, came back for the glory. One for the kids and one for the glory. That is interesting. So you already have the ritual card. You don't need the ritual stuff, but you need tributes. And that trap can get you tributes. So that is an interesting start. Pot of Greed's a god tier start. Let's see what he gets. Silvar Kalkos, amazing. Amazing. Good piercing damage monster, way stronger than his. So what do you get? What monsters would you choose in this situation? Okay. 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 You didn't get the one you needed, I assume. If you chose, then you chose wrong. You got swords otherwise. Harpies doesn't work completely, but I understand you're hitting the trap card, so it's fine. What did you get out of the deal? Oh, wait, that's a good hit. That card is how Weevil won most of his duels and how he became king. And Charging Guy is just going to sit there until uh, Yugi draws another card. Unless Weevil gets Spell Trap Destruction. Alright, Yugi, you need one more monster. What can you draw? That is a monster. And Black Luster Ritual will give you exactly what you need. The boss of Duelist Kingdom. It's time for Black Luster Soldier. And I believe by using that guy, you get something, right? All right. Using that guy, you get a... Is there not a dark and a light? Oh, you got rid of the spell card. You are so good. You are so lucky you got rid of the spell. Are they all darks or something? And lights or... Are they all lights? They're all lights, aren't they? Oh, that Fisher is crazy. The swords will protect him. Insect Queen for free? What the hell? Insect Queen for free. If it wasn't for swords, the duel would have been over. If it wasn't for swords, Yugi would have already lost this duel. Monster Reborn is crazy, too. Because you summon BLS the correct way. You could... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, you do you, man. I don't care. <laughs> it's not me, duel. I'm not the one in... Oh, my God. He had an R Paranoid. Nothing he does matters. Weevil had the best hand ever. Yugi's done. Yugi's just done. There is nothing to save him. Look at this field. Look at this field and be horrified. Arisen doesn't matter. It looks like it's going to matter, but it doesn't. Howling Insect be damned. Goki Pole be damned. You don't have enough life points left. End this duel. Yugi got outplayed by a real champion. Insect Queen, you can start devouring if you want. You're hungry, I understand. Sorry, the hat's on a little weird. Whatever. All right, piercing damage goes through. Insect Queen is hungry. Pinch Hopper activates. Now you have a B as well. And that's a lot of damage left over, so that's game. 
Oh no, Yugi gets one more turn. And only one. Alright, Yugi, with your last turn, and you do not have nearly enough attack to do anything, what will you do? You could try, but it won't matter. Exactly. He had three. He had three. You guys watch that? Well, maybe he didn't have three. Maybe it searches to the top, but it's over either way. It searches to the top, right? That's what I thought. Uh, Weevil Underwood, everybody. This is the true king. This is the true king. And duel number one goes to Weevil. Where are my Weevil fans at? One more duel and Weevil is in top four and he beats the former king. Let's go. Granted, Weevil had a god tier hand. You saw that opening hand. But still, who cares? If he wins it, he wins it. All right, Weevil, come on. Knock him out of here. Make the legend go away. Interesting hand for our legend here. All right, Rhoda comes through. Not bad. Not bad. Yugi was known as the king that held the crown for the longest. Weevil held it for the shortest amount of time, and Weevil's going to win. If he plays like that, Weevil is going to win. BLS, BLS, or BLS? I wonder which one he got. <laughs> I wonder what he was going to get. Interesting. Armored Wasp won't work against a 2k defender. Also, Yugi does need his field spell. The field spell helps a lot. The, the field spell really matters. Alright, well, we got ourselves a Gaia card. Gaia is going to banish the Delight Monster to make himself stronger than Armored B. Armored B will perish. So you believe Blair, Weevil, and Yugi are all real kings? Even if Yugi loses right now, you believe he's still a real king? You don't think he's just out of his time? Because Weevil's using basically the same deck that he won the tournament with. Okay. All of them are real. Yep. That's the good answer. Good answer, La Laser Mike. All right. Card, card, card. Wow. More BLS, but do you even have a dark monster in the grave? Well, actually, you probably do now. So yes, you can do whatever you want. And BLS is summoned, and another one. And the attack goes through. Both monsters can't stand up to BLS's bite. And Armored B in the grave is really bad. And here comes another attack. Probably Armored B. I would have picked Armored B. Well, I guess I would have crashed if I were Yugi. But the AI might not be that smart. Ooh, that's good. That is good. The attack goes through, and it works. Yugi isn't hungry. Yeah, I don't know. Yugi's here for the kids, so maybe he doesn't want the duel to end too quickly. Swords actually will buy him plenty of time. Yugi's going to lose it with this. Especially if he's overly aggressive. All he has to do is wait for a dark. He didn't banish. You might as well banish, right? That's really weird that he didn't. You're going to take... Well, you don't take piercing any other insect. You should at least banish. How did you know? Wait. Why would he summon that? And how did you know that if you tried to banish? Did you learn from last duel? You've only seen this deck once and you just suddenly realize, no, he has paranoid in his hand. If I try to banish, my monster becomes useless. Like, what? He just could do that? He had two? You knew he had two? Does he have three and I don't even know about it? The AI is learning. That scares me more than anything. Is if the if CPU for Master Duel can learn. <laughs> if the CPU for Master Duel can learn. I don't know why he's summoning them. He's an idiot. Swords makes everybody stupid. All right. You know what? He summoned those two because he had another one. Because there's another one. And he's just going to be like, ha ha! Oh no! Wait a minute. Ha ha might not work out the way you think it will. Okay. And that's Magic Cylinder. Yugi is going to lose almost half his life points over that. The AI evolving in real time. That's a scary thing. Attack comes through. If Yugi doesn't play Swords, there's a chance he loses because of how weak his monster is. Weevil can get a perfectly ultimate Great Moth with Insect Armor Cannon or whatever. Oh, wait a minute. I stand by what I said. Swords would have been nice. Weevil has Premature. 
That's halfway there. Armored Bee didn't use its effect, which is really dumb, but I'm just going to take it. Okay. Game number two is going to freaking Yugi. Yugi is still a damn good duelist. He can beat a king of games in a duel if he had a current, a more current king of games. Weevil was king of games like three weeks ago for crying out loud. That's a lot of Arisen Knights. <laughs> and BLS for game. 3,000 attack goes in. Exact damage. Yugi was just having fun that duel. He literally like thought it out and had fun. We're going into game number three, everybody. This duel decides who goes to top four. Game one, all Weevil. Game two, weird, but it ended up being Yugi. Game three, who the hell knows? Who the hell freaking knows? They're both crazy duelists. It feels like Yugi's just having fun, like you guys say. The way he won that duel, he could have done so many plays, and he was just like, nah, 3k attack, exact damage. It's like he's calculating this crap. All right. Oh, Yugi got his field spell early. That gives him value, unless it gets popped. But it gives him value. Rota also is valuable. There you go. Got some monsters now. There you go. Field spell gets you a ritual monster, so you don't have to worry about drawing it naturally. Guy is a good beater at 1900. Dark hole pretty early in my opinion, but I understand that you weren't going to be in a 1900 beater with insect monsters. Yep, cross sword was close though. It was close. So Yugi, now that you have to deal with the cross sword beetle, what's your plan? You're going to need some idea. Polar Knight has an effect, banish the card, and then you can get uh, a buff. Okay. Get paranoid. And welcome to hell. Hand traps, everybody. Hand traps. <laughs> They decide duels. Howling Insect cannot beat them all. Oh, the buff is gone. That's what they were waiting for. They were wait. You didn't want to naturally draw that, but at the same time, it could have value in its own way. Cross Sword Beetle can now do piercing damage, so going into defense mode was actually weird. Like, not a good play. Uh, Parasite Paranoid did its job, and now... Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. And it does piercing. Yugi can't win. Yugi can't win. That's too strong. Monster Aborn. He stole his Gaia. It's over. The winner is going to be... And a trap. There's nothing he can do. The winner is going to be our man, Weevil Underwood. You could get BL... You could do that. It just won't matter. You could do it all day. And it just won't matter. Black Luster Soldier is here. I wonder what the trap is. I'm so curious. Is it Magic Cylinder? Are we going to watch that happen? Attack goes through. Howling Insect can just search. Attack, it's Saku. It's Saku, everybody. And that is the end of the duel. The winner is... Oh, I was going to say Mako. Weevil Underwood! There was one person in chat way back when that said he is a true champion. And it turns out... You should believe in him. Weevil Underwood beats the retired champion with the insect deck. He's in top four with Mako Tsunami and Blair Flanagan. All right, everybody. Only one spot left in top four. Who's going to earn it? Tell me in chat right now. Will it be Bandit Keith, the American champion? Or will it be Seto Kaiba, the Fraud King, who was given a free win to get here? I don't... It was a free win. Aster Phoenix threw. We saw him throw. Bandit Keith won't throw. Bandit Keith's a real duelist. A respectable duelist. Is in the, in, the, in the anime and manga, absolutely not. In our series, probably not that much either. I'm lying. I'm just lying to you. He's not respectable. He is a pretty bad person, but it's okay. I like him. His deck is always cool, and he used a lot of boss monsters, which is cool. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get uh, old Bandito and uh, Seto Kaiba onto your screens. Seto Kaiba has a really good hand. That is a really good hand. And that is a really good start for the opponent. You need metal heavy metal raiders. It's, it's necessary. Without that, you can't match Kaiba's stats. Kaiba's stats are bigger than yours. Bandy Keith has great beater monsters. Not enough. Not enough to deal with freaking uh, what Kaiba's got. All right. Well, that's God Tier Star because now you're going to summon a bunch of Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes, why drop? You know what? I like that. 
I like that. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. He's smart. He's smart. You gotta give him respect for that. It's all right, Bandit Keith. You'll think of something. Oh dear God, that's that's should have been done during the. Oh no, it wasn't. It couldn't be done during the battle phase. He just synced it. Main phase two. All right. Well, we have a set and two blue eyes. Bandit Keith. Um, it's a little rough, but you got your field spell, so you definitely can match this man. That's right. That's right. Blastphere's strong. Yeah. Yeah. Blastphere with the power of blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. That thing has to hold the field. And it will. Blastphere has the power of blue eyes now. Give it more power. More power! All right. Blastphere summons Desperado! Shh. Well, that's not good. Desperado's gone. Crap, he needed Desperado. Barrel Dragon's good too, though. But his life points are a little low, so he has to be careful. Call the Haunted? Should have that, done that during the battle phase, but I'll, I'll be okay with it. He got his Desperado. Now what? Well, now what, Seto Kaiba? You're a big man. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, you got two blue eyes, but two's not enough. That's not enough damage. All right. End this duel. Desperado time. Twin barrel for fun. For fun. The heads are insane today. The heads are rolling. Heavy duster, what? The head, no, the field spell. Limiter removal. Limiter removal. He has to go all in. Bandit Keith is desperate. He has to leave himself wide open. That trap card, no. Well, I mean, that trap card still had value. It stopped the special summon. Barrel dragon's a brick. Blowback dragon's a brick. Holy crap. He had to do it or he would have lost. Pot of Greed! He just needs a 2k beater! Silver's Cry! Blue Eyes White Dragon will end this duel! It was so close! Such a close duel! Very tight. Very intense. Really enjoyable. But Blue Eyes White Dragon with first stream of destruction overpowers Bandit Keith in a super close bat. That was a hype duel. That top five duel today. That was a top, top five duel today. I love that. That was great. All right. Let's go ahead and get into game number two. Kaiba shows that he could beat the American champ. Bandit Keith is like, holy crap. This is like Kaiba before he started becoming a fraud. This is like Kaiba when he beat Prana. All right. That hand could be good because he has the, the one that summons blue eyes. He has heavy metal raiders. That's important. That's why Bakura lost. Bakura never got his field spell. It's like the old Kaiba. <laughs> oh, what? That's busted. That's actually busted. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> What's he supposed to do against that? Metal Morph's gone. It got banished. Metal Morph is super gone, and Metal Morph would have been great against Blue. Oh. <laughs> Against Kaiba, you're going to do that? It did get you this far. Let's be real. Cyber Jar is how he got this far. But he's doing it against Kaiba? Holy crap. Okay, that's one. That's good for later. That's good for later. Okay, two monsters that both have interesting effects. What I'm more curious about is how those cards in hand are going to come into play. Because look at Kaiba's hand. It's busted, right? It's just completely busted. All right, Twin Barrel, twin, they pick the same monster. Thank you, AI. Thank you. You know what? They might not even get heads. Exactly. Thank you. That was the least amount of heads we've seen in a long time. Monster Reborn comes through. The, dra the dragon's back. And look at that hand. How is Kaiba going to lose with that hand? The traps are so strong. Granted, he got a backup Metal Raiders. So, yes, he got banished, but he has a backup Metal... Oh, hi, Blue Eyes. But he has a backup Metal Raiders. All right. Ring of Destruction. Oh. Oh. Desperado. Yeah. If you attack, you have to roll the die or flip the coins. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love this. Okay. Dictator Shrink. But honestly, that doesn't matter. You take damage, which isn't good, but you will be fine. 
Dictator says you have to attack Blue Eyes. He wants to. Desperado is a Blue Eyes now. Twin Barrel to try and pop Blue Eyes, most likely. Flip those coins. Only one. Not enough. You need two for that one. All right. Desperado is a very big game changer. That trap card's making all the difference. This card's busted, in my opinion. Getting rid of the Dictator. We have two Blue Eyes White Dragons on the field. But two is the same as one. You can't beat Desperado. Desperado's effect. Flip those coins. How many heads? Only one. Pop that Alexandrite. Or Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is gone. And Metal Morph! He's unstoppable! And Metal Morph goes through. Yes, you take a thousand. That didn't go so well. <laughs> All right. He's got a Blast Sphere for Lace. Swords is the game changer. Swords is the game changer. You can't do much if you have to play defensively. And you can only gain so many attack points before your life points become a problem. Quick effect. Okay. Two heads. Fair enough. Desper Blue Eyes Desperado Dragon. That sounds really cool. That sounds really, really cool. All right. We're going to summon both of these and attack. You have all the balls in the world, don't you? You want him to do it. You're asking him to. Monster Abort. Wait, you're going to steal one? What, what is going to happen here? Because Are we about to see a TT that decides the whole duel? Does TT decide this entire duel right now? Swords is still gone. Desperado can search, but there's he can't summon it. Blue eyes. One more monster and he wins. That's okay. I meant a big monster. But now the field spell for Bandit Keith is used. So? <laughs> what the hell is this duel? Game number two. Bandit Keith, this is your biggest weakness. You can't brick. I know your deck is all tributes, but you can't brick. You bricked. It's over. It's over over get out of here he needed to top deck a monster but that's the biggest weakness of bandy keith top decking monsters is impossible here it comes alexandrite dragon all the attacks go through burst stream of destruction set okaiba to owed bandit keith bandit keith is a great duelist which means Seto Kaiba must be great. There's no way he's a fraud. If he's doing this, he can't be a fraud. Oh my god. Both those duels were great. Both of them were great. I loved it. We are going to be starting our semi-final. Oh, sorry. Our semi-final. I'm trying to find the window capture. There it is. Uh, our semi-finals. The four strongest characters of the Battle City HP for Heroes Charity Tournament are Seto Kaiba, Weevil Underwood, Seto, the second king of games, Weevil, the fifth king of games, Blair, the sixth king of games, and Mako Tsunami! Come on, Mako fans! It's time to start semis! Mako versus Blair! Which duelist is your choice? Mako Tsunami. Blair Flanagan. The ultimate duelist. It's not third place. It's semifinals. Third place will be decided later. Blair was so close to not being here. Supreme King almost got her. But then she came back with like no life points left in game three. So what can she do against the water duelist, Mako Tsunami? Bastion, thank you again. You're giving us so many doma donations today. You are a real one, and I very much appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. All right, Charge of the Light Brigade. Don't worry, I'm doing the faces. It's just hard to find them sometimes. There we go. There we go. Life is good. I'm running out of water, but it's okay. That's a lot of field spells. A legendary ocean gets the monster that can attack directly, I believe. That card just says you lose. And we have another field spell for like no reason. You wasted a field spell in my opinion. And uh, yeah, pretty good. 
Pretty good start. For Mako Tsunami, Blair's in trouble. Blair loves having five monsters, so blocking the summoning zone does matter to her. Especially if she hits Wolf. Pot of Greed was hit and so was the, the Call of the Haunted for Light Swarms. Premature- She's only hitting spell cards! Corpse King with another $100 donation! Again, if I missed anybody, please let me know. But a $100 donation coming through! The Big Dono! Okay, I'll leave this on for the rest of semifinals and the third place match. All the way through. That's too many donations for me not to do it. I was going to take this off after this. But you guys are putting too much money on the table. For the kids. For the kids, man. Brain control is super valuable for a tribute for... Okay, whatever. And the big monsters are coming! Holy crap, Mako was doing good, but without a field spell, how is he going to come back from this? How many cards she got left in her deck? Just at it. Just a little curious. 12, that's plenty. She's got plenty of cards left. She's got this piercing. She's got it again. This is Blair goddamn Flanagan. How are you going to stop her? She beat the Supreme King. She didn't even use Celestia's effect because she wanted the piercing. I. What am I supposed to feel? Other than amazed, loved. It's just great. Blair Flanagan wins game number one. She is one win away from proving to everybody why she's the qu queen of games. Let's do it. Game number two. Here we go. Game number two. Game number two. Mako can do this, though. He just needs Legendary Fisherman number three. That's how he won his other duel to get, th to get this far. Or his double whale. He also won a duel with his double whale. That's a good trap card. There's his... Th that's it. He just needs the field spell. He's missing the field spell. The one time he gets the third Fisherman naturally. And he's missing the field spell. He could have it right now. Oh, MST. What are we hitting? All right. Oh, man. Up, oh, here we go. Throwing monsters away. Up, oh, premature burial. It's the dragon. TT won't allow it. I understand. That, that dragon's so good. But what will you do about the second one? <laughs> the dragon is back. The piercing is real. The damage is real. 4,900 in one turn. Her first turn to hit him, and she did that much with one monster. Are you entertained? She has 5,200 attack. Oh, he got his field spell. Everybody, it's time for his ultimate card. He top decked the field spell naturally. And she banished the monster. Legendary Fisherman did it. And he has his trap card combo with the monster. She's done. She's scared. She feels fear, everybody. She's feeling fear. The Kraken could come out too. And the Fisherman's hungry. It ban uh, gets the monster back for double damage. Sea Stealth Attack says you're gone. The Doom Kraken does 3,200! Blair Flanagan, JD or bust? Alright. Add one light monster, see what it is. Jane can beat Doom Kraken. You did hit Wolf, lucky you. Doom Kraken says no. That should be... Oh, let's we'll see what she hits. That should be the end of the duel, but this is just crazy. Mega Fortress Will. <laughs> Alright, attack goes through, yes. Legendary Fisherman with Sea Stealth Attack, not letting anything happen. She's open next turn. Deck count? I, you know what? I'm curious about that myself. 15. She has plenty. Sea Stealth saves the day. Sea Stealth saves the day. Holy crap. I was gonna say. That's too much. If it wasn't for the trap, my god. Doom Kraken says no. Get her. Mega Fortress Whale. His two strongest cards, the Mega Fortress Whale with the Ultimate Fisherman, together, knock Blair into Game 3. Mako Tsunami is one duel away from knocking out the King of Games. The current King. Let's go. Who is going to win? Which character will truly go all the way? Who are you most excited for? Terraformings. He has three field spells. And he has his boss. Queen, King. Uh, it's a title. We ain't going for the gender part of it. We're going for the title part of it. In charge. <laughs> oh, that's not good. 
Oh, that's 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 really not good. If he gets his if he gets a legendary fisherman, he's gonna win. All right, that's a really good start for her. She needs that. I might have kept Jane. She lost Pot of Greed, though. Monster Born gets back. To, to, what? What? Oh, Tribute. Sorry. Oh, Field Spell. It doesn't matter. They're going to have more Field Spells. There will always be more Field Spells. 2,300 damage. If he draws a Legendary Fisherman, the duel is over. That's what we're all waiting for. The Fisherman that decides the duel. There it is. And there it is. Blair Flanagan. Meet your maker. His name is Mako Tsunami. Mako has his ultimate monster with the field spell. Blair Flanagan is shook. I told you, she can't do it. Meet your Mako. See that see that's why you that's why you get paid the big bucks. Because I couldn't think of something like that. That's that's hilarious. Oh no. And that trap that basically guarantees it. There's nothing you could do. See stealth attack. You're just going to get popped from now on. Harp, well, actually, Sea Stealth will stop that. But does it protect a Legendary Ocean because of that? I think it does, right? Hey, the Jaywits! Thank you so much for coming to my stream today. So far, we've raised over $4,000. And Garoth goes in. And Mako has control of this duel. Mako Tsunami is so close to winning this entire thing. And it's gone. And thank you so much for following. The attack goes through for 25. Mako Tsunami's in the lead. Blair Flanagan, you need to top deck something. Where are you? Trap card. Trap card needs it. Lila can pop again, but you need to target the... Oh, you didn't use it for that? I'm curious why she used it then. Just to thin out her deck? Oh, man. Thank you, Jaywitz. I appreciate that. And Pot of Greed comes through. Pot of Greed gets Mother Grizzly. Oh, Harpy's going to pop. Uh, Pot of Greed gets Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly is going to hit the field. And how much defense? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. None of this matters. Guys, Mako is going to do it. Mako is actually going to do it. It's almost 46. Holy crap. I, can I can't see it from here. I just know it's a good number. TT is good. TT is good. See, Stealth Attack keeps popping. They can't even flip the Doggo. They're going for the safe play, because why the heck not? It's literally going to win you the duel. Premature, last ditch effort. Lila doesn't work, so what are you going to do? I guess you could, it's just going to turn into something scarier. That's a Doom Kraken. What are you going to do? Lila will try to pop the trap. It will pop. It was TT. Doesn't matter. Lila throws away some cards. The desperation is too far. Everybody, I think we have a chance at a new king. Blair Flanagan has lost to Mako Tsunami. Mako Tsunami is in grand finals of our tournament. One duel away from being the number one duelist. Who will be Mako Tsunami's opponent? Will it be the last two semifinalists? Who is your favorite? Will it be? Wait for it. Seto Kaiba or Weevil Underwood. One of these characters will be going to grand finals to take on Blair, or not Blair, Mako Tsunami. Which character do you believe can do it? I'm so excited. This is so exciting. I have no clue which character is going to do it. It's just, ah, uh, this is great. And of course, we'll have our third place breather match because we're not just going to get out of here. So here we go. It's time for Seto Kaiba to take on Weevil Underwood. The winner of this goes to Grand Freaking Finals. So Lolly, we're almost at the end, but thank you for coming back. You're a great moderator. Let's go. We have a set. We have two more sets. What else we got? Harpies is going to be brutal right now. Harpy's Feather Duster clears the field. What does Weevil lose? Weevil loses his spell and Magic Cylinder. He lost the spell that matters. And Assault Wyvern is going to evolve into the pot. Wait, hold up. Goki Pole searches. Goki Pole will search before we can get into the special summon. And the monster he wants to special summon is the Great Dragon. Uh, what blue eyes is this again? 
Dragon Spirit of White. Sorry, I, I don't know these cards. Dragon Spirit of White. I'm not so good at the future cards. I like the past cards. Um, that card will let him get a card to his hand. And he got Parasite, of course. And the Parasite will nerf- No! He got it! It's the perfectly ultimate great mo- It's gone. And it's gone. All that excitement in an instant. Just gone. All right, Alexandrite Dragon, we need you. We need you more than life itself. Where are- Oh, Pot of Green. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. holy crap. All right. Assault- Wait, that's a weird choice. Is the other card not in the grave, or can you not fear it? Yeah, who cares? It's still good to... Oh, you're baiting. You baited the parasite. Respect. You know what? Respect. Respect to Kaiba. He knows how to play the game. He's playing really well. All right, and with this, he gets a perfectly ultimate Great Moth back in the deck so he can do it again. Armored Bee's great effect will nerf the monster so he can destroy it. Shrink! And they nerfed each other! They're both down by half! But the winner in that uh, fight is freaking Alexandrite Dragon! Seto Kaiba, you just need Blue Eyes, man. Come on, man! That is the best thing you could have top decked. Blue Eyes White Dragon is here! The damage is real! Let's go! 100 life points! Weevil, what can you do with 100? What can you do? Your last play. Armored B. Fisher. Holy crap, that works. Armored B beats Blue Eyes. Kaiba's bricked. But he has all the life points in the world. Alexandrite for game. The man top decked it. The bug boy loses game number one. Seto Kaiba is one win away from grand finals. We will put up a fight, but Seto Kaiba today, he's on fire. All right, Weevil, this is your last chance to get into grand finals. And before it starts, I need to blow my nose. Apologies. All right. When I lose my voice, I also get uh, all the sinuses packed up, but it's all good. So, let's go ahead and see what happens. Interesting hand. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, I got to take it off only for a few minutes, and then people started donating more money. It's actually, this is the last duel where I have to have it on, so... Well, not last duel, last match where I have to have it on. So, luckily, we're almost done. Which is good, because this, ha this house is hot right now. It's probably because of the computer and the, and the lighting and whatever, but it's hot. All right, Alexandra goes in. Alexandra goes in. That's 4,000 damage. Weevil, come on! This could be your last duel where you have a chance of being the winner. You're still going to get a bronze place match if you lose, but come on, man. Insect armor with laser cannon! Alexandra can't, he can't beat the basic equip spell. It's an old school card, but it works. Sometimes the old school strats work, guys. Dictator of D won't save you. Silver's Cry, what are you bringing back? That's not enough attack. What? Triple Synchro Summon! It's time for Azuri Silver Dragon, which can hold back the opponent. It doesn't have enough attack. I haven't seen him use it that way before. That's impressive. All right. Seal of Ori Kalkos! Weevil Underwood has the seal, but it's not enough attack. The, the Zuri guys was perfectly timed. We have a big do- Okay, I'll keep it on forever. We have a big donation from Luxu Lostar. La Thank you so much. We are so close to 5k. You all are amazing. All right, the attacks are coming through. The damage is good. The damage is good. Alexandra, it's going to stay set for a bit. Goki Pull will search for Cross Sword Beetle. All right, 1,200 life points to his name and a field of horrors. How do you come back? With just Cross Sword Beetle doing nothing. A trap, a fissure, a dream, a hope. I don't like his odds. I believe that unless he has a hand trap, this is the end of the duel. The dragon goes in. Dictator of D goes in. Seto Kaiba is in Grand Finals. Weevil will be in the Bronze Place Breather Match. Everybody, we are going before Grand Finals. We're going to have a nice Bronze Place match. 
to see just who deserves to get ranked where in the future for my... Because this is part of the Master Era series. So it is going to affect the lore. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's get into it. So we're Seto Kaiba. Get out of our screen. You're in the way. Let's go ahead and get back to our bracket just to see how powerful these characters are. Look at them. Look at the majesty. Seto Kaiba went from fraud to grand finalist in the most epic tournament I've ever thrown. And now, we're in the third place breather match where Blair Flanagan will be taking on Weevil Underwood. And only one character will take that bronze medal. Alright. Who's getting the bronze medal, everybody? Will it be Weevil Underwood or will it be Blair Flanagan? Make your choices now. Who is better? If I had to bet, I'm going Blair. I'm going Blair. No problem there. All right. Don't worry about that, Uzumaki. Don't you worry. You can find more out next week. That's not good. Weevil only got traps against a hand that has harpies. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. What was it? That is sad. Oh, no. Insect Boy's done. He lost so much in the first turn. And he already spent Dark Hole. My god. That is really bad. That is really, really bad. 1700 will not matter. We have ourselves a set, which is nice, but it's not going to matter. Wolf is here. Wolf is going to get a monster. What else you got, Weevil? You got anything you want to show the class before you leave? Okay. You're trying something, I, I, I see. Insect Queen's very nice, but she can't attack. So as cool as that card can be, you're not going to be able to use it. Pot of Greed, whoa, you just, did you get a trap? Okay, Weevil, wait a minute, maybe you are packing something that I wasn't expecting. What, what you got? What you, what you got? Insect Queen will hold her back until break control. And break control, this is for game. What pot, oh, Lila. Game number one goes to Blair. <laughs> With his own monster! The Insect Queen destroys Weevil! That's a shame. Weevil Underwood has suffered a loss to the Insect Queen. But it's not over yet. There's still game number two. Blair Flanagan did amazing. She is the current king for a reason. Water is important, guys. Don't forget to hydrate. You all need it too, not just me. <laughs> Team Mullet, <laughs> go Blair. Oh man, her hair's longer than that, but I get I get what you're saying. Look at her, how she looks. Charge comes through. Charge gets rid of Lila. Li that is the first time in today's tournament she's had JD in the hand. That is the. First time she's ever had JD in this entire tournament. Oh, crap. Weevil lost. There is no might. There is no maybe. It's just over. Weevil Underwood has lost the duel. Harpy's Feather Duster is going to come through. Harpy's Feather Duster hits Saku. Lumina is going to special summon... Wolf. Is there, there's not enough monsters in the grave yet. I forgot. The deck list can be sent through my Twitch, through Whispering, and through Twitter. Through uh, Twitter, you could just, like, post it somewhere and then, you know, at me. And uh, YouTube comments. There you go. If you want to keep it secret, though, I would do... Tw well, Twitter's probably not going to get caught, but Twitch Whispers. That That's that's how you'll find it. Twitch Whispers. All right. And we have James. Jane is going in. Howling Insect did not stand a chance. Pinch Hopper's interesting. Pinch Hopper could be a game-saving card. Nope, that's not Insect Queen. And without Insect Queen, there's not enough defense, and Blair goes in. He bought himself one turn with that. Did he Dark Hole yet? Oh, speaking of Dark Hole. Because if he has Dark Hole, then maybe there's a chance. There isn't, because Judgment Dragon, but, you know, give him some hope. Pot of Greed, sure. Go ahead, Weevil. It's your last duel. Enjoy it. 
I just want him to enjoy his last duel. All right, Lenny, pet that rabbit. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'll tell you about the rabbits, George. Yeah, and the duel. We didn't even need to see Judgment Dragon. It's over. Blair Flanagan has earned the bronze medal in today's tournament, which means we are now moving in to the final match of the Battle City Tournament. This is it, everyone. The grand finals of Battle City will be, let's get over to our bracket, the host of today's tournament, Seto Goddamn Kaiba versus the Freaky Fish Guy, Mako Tsunami. Which character do you believe will take this entire tournament? Which character deserves the win, uh, deserves the crown? This crown, they can have it. <laughs> it makes me feel foolish. But you know what? You paid so much money, I'm going to keep it on. It's for the kids, though. It's for a good, Wearing this is for a good cause. The money you send is for a good cause. You got nothing to worry about there. So let's go find Seto Kaiba. And let's see. Uh, where the hell is he? Oh crap! I've lost him. Doesn't matter. We'll start the turn. We'll start the final match real soon. So just get excited. I want nothing but excitement in my chat today. So, before it ends, what was your favorite match today? What was your favorite duel today? Or if you don't remember any of that, who was your favorite character or favorite intro today? I had so much fun making this tournament. Let's do this. The final fight, everybody. Mako Tsunami versus. Seto Kaiba. I don't think anybody predicted this as grand finals. No one did. Not a single person did. There's no way. All right, Mako needs his field spell. Very bad hand for Mako in the first duel, but he just needs his field spell. It'll fix it right up. That's a very good start. All right, blue eyes. Okay, white dragon, whatever. Banish the harpies, amazing start. Supreme King and Kaiba makes sense. Keith, ver Keith versus Kaiba, that first and yeah, both duels were insane. You're right. That's not going to work. That's not good enough. Okay. If I missed a donation, let me know, uh, mods. I've been so focused on setting up this duel, I might have missed it. All right. The ultimate winner, kid. Yeah, the ultimate winner will be the kids and the nurses. That's for sure. But for everyone here that, are ha that loves a character specifically, um, Seto Kaiba is getting unbelievably, unbelievably lucky in game. Oh, there it is. Okay. It took forever, but he got it. Don't worry. He got it. Little scary. He just wanted to scare you. He just wanted to scare you. He's fine. He's... Bastion, thank you so much for donating $10. I do appreciate that. Sorry if I missed it. I'm just so focused. Okay. He's a little low on life points, but he's fine. So the duel's over, pretty much. But he's fine, because there's always game two. There's always game number two. We're almost at $4,700, dear freaking God. That's amazing. Yeah! Game number one goes to Seto Kaiba. The fish boy had the worst hand. It's not his fault. That was the worst hand he's had all tournament. Josh Benaroya, thank you so much for the $10. I super appreciate that. Get in those things, because this could be the end of the tournament right here. Mako, get your field spell. Game two begins. Come on, Mako. Where are you? 4,700. Thank you. He got his field spell. No need to worry this time, guys. He has his field spell. A legendary ocean. A legendary ocean. And he's got two fishermen in case he draws the third fisherman, or even the second. All right, 1850 comes through. 1850 is super good. And we got a TT. 1850 in the TT is beautiful. Swords of Revealing Light does not work against the... Le this is so old school. Guys, I've been doing this in Eternal Duel of Soul. It doesn't work against Legendary Fisherman. He should have summoned another one. But Oh, maybe you can only have one. It doesn't work against Legendary Fisherman. Swords does not work. Spells don't... Kaiba's break this time. We got two bricks. One for one side. Oh my god. No freaking way. 
that he just... Oh, no, he could have had two. He's just dumb. That was the worst hand. We are going to game three. Both characters had a bad duel. Game three has to be the best. This is the final duel of our Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Era Battle City HP for Heroes Charity Tournament. This duel decides everything. Before I start it, who are you going for? Are you Seto Kaiba or are you Freaky Fish Guy Mako Tsunami? Who are we going for, people? Come on. I need to see it in chat. Last chance to get in some donations. I don't care if it's a dollar. It goes to the kids anyway. Let's get those last donations in. Let's do it. Until I do my personal donation, of course. But still. Let's go ahead and get into Grand Freaking Finals. This is it, everybody. Grand Finals. Ooh, who's going to win the biggest tournament I've ever thrown with the best characters ever? Will it be Mako Fishman with no field spell? Or will it be... Uh, Seto Kaiba, the Blue Eyes Master. No bricks, hopefully. No bricks. They both got a monster. Uh, and it's gone. And they both got spells and traps. He just needs his field spell. That is not a field spell. Doom Kraken goes in. Fiendish Chain prevents Doom Kraken. All right. What do you got? What do you got? Premature Barrier. Assault Wyvern is back. We have Alexandrite Dragon. Assault Wyvern manages to destroy Kraken because its effect was negated. A special summon comes through. It's Blue Eyes White Dragon! And Blue Eyes White Dragon almost ends this duel! There's no field spell! Seto can't lose! As long as... If Seto Kaiba's AI summons a monster, he can lose it all. He summons a monster! Seto Kaiba messed up! He messed up so bad! Anything could happen! Oh my god, he had it! They're still brick, they need their field. This is like the only time he's never gotten his field spell. Every other duel, he had like two or three. Seto can't, it must be like Whitestone of Legend or something. Mother Grizzly, mother goddamn Grizzly, get in there. That's one of the safest car. Oh, he did not want to summon that. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Mother Grizzly must... Mother Grizzly can get you a tribute. He could tribute. Even if he doesn't get his field spell, he can get a monster out. Or he gets something doom crap. I would just tribute. Here it comes. Legendary Fisherman number two. Legendary Fisherman number two destroys the maiden. All of this because you chose to summon, you dumb idiot. Although we've all done it as kids. He's bricked. He's bricked. He's wide open. No field spell still, but he's bricked him wide open. Attacks go in. Seto Kaiba might have thrown this entire duel. Citadel Whale is here. A card that can negate stuff like Magic Cylinder. So Magic Cylinder isn't even a chance anymore. He needs a monster, not a spell or a trap. What is that? Okay. He got a monster, but I'm curious why he used that trap all of a sudden. Okay, Electric Jellyfish is good. The whale goes in. Oh, man, it's done. It's done. He's done. Kaiba's done, guys. I, I believe it. This is the end of the duel. Alexandrite's not strong enough. The electric jellyfish. Yes, his life points are low, but look at Kaiba's life points. This next top deck could end the duel. It's a legendary ocean! At the last second, he got his field spell, and the whale is going in! Mako is your Battle City Champion from 100 to number one. Mako Tsunami, everybody. The biggest upset I've ever seen. He beat Joe. Oh, my God. Let's go through the bracket. We have. So there's still more to talk about. Don't leave just yet. We can still donate. Guys, Mako Tsunami has done it. He is on top of the mountain. He defeated the best of the best duelists. 
his bracket today, what he had to go through to win this tournament. Let's take a peek. Mako Tsunami, the grand champion, had to beat Blair, Yami Bakora, Yami Yugi, and Joey Wheeler just to get here. This is one of the biggest upset wins I've seen in so long. Kaiba had the game, and he threw. He had the game. All he had to do was say, I attack. But he was like, no, what if it's Call of the Haunted? No, what if it's Magic Cylinder? I need to make sure I have one more monster to end the duel. And it cost him the duel. It cost him the duel. Mako, Grand Champion. Seto Kaiba, amazing duel today. Blair, still as good as ever. Weevil Underwood, amazing. Bandit Keith, honorable mention. My Valentine, honorable mention. Yami Bakura, honorable mention. Yugi Mudo, honorable mention. But everybody deserves an honorable mention today because you all raised so much money and we're not done yet. I know it seems like we're done, but I haven't made my donation. We're going to put together all the money we've been generating from this stream and I'm going to make a personal donation on top of that. So let me go ahead, let me open up the donation site. <clears throat> and this is your last chance to also donate. Let's just, it's for the kids, let's just give it to them. There's no such thing as going over the limit because, guys, it's for the freaking kids. It's not even for anything. It's not about the goals, it's about making money for the kids. So, the last thing I need to do, I'm, I'm, I'm setting it up right now. Check this out. Um... Do, oh, do I have to sign in? Oh, whoops. Yeah, let me just sign in. It'll be faster if I do this, so I'll just do it real quick. Yep, that's me. I am the casual Cooper. So, from everybody watching today, the amount of money we made is... Uh, what the hell? Sorry, didn't save my email. Uh, hold the phone. Hold the phone. My name is not Aki. Come on. There we go. Okay. For, from you guys, we have raised $485 from the people watching today's stream. So, of course, with my own personal donation, I'm going to go above that. And we are going to give a big donation to HP for Heroes. Are you guys ready? I need just like two seconds. I'll be done soon. Da da da. Da 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 da. Sorry if I can't see your comments right now. I'm doing, like, actual work. <laughs> this is, like, real. All right. Do, do, do. Da, da, da. And th I want to say thank you all for helping us raise $485 just from watching. So anybody that said they couldn't donate today, you did. You did. You watched. And everyone that did donate today, I'm going to announce you right now. So get ready. Anyone that did donate, we're going through the announcements. Let's go ahead and let's complete donation. All right, and it worked. $800! I tried to double it, but $1,000 kind of break my bank, but $800 coming through for HP for Heroes. $485 comes from you guys, though. You guys gave the major load. Easy. Easy. It's for the kids. <laughs> All right. To end off today's stream, I am now going to be announcing everybody that did amazing for us today. Everyone that did that extra mile for us. So let's go ahead. Let's go into donations and let's take a peek. All right. Going into donations, we have Josh Benaroya with $10. Five Bastion, which is going to have a lot. Uh, I, sadly, it doesn't total up what, how much you personally made. That would be it. Wait, can I just do it by name? Hold up. I can do it by name. Oh, this is good. This is good. All right. How much might you raise for the kids? Five Bastion with $240. If I'm reading this correctly. Amazing job today. Um, I'm not going to do it in like any order, like top to bottom. I'm, I'm just doing it as I see the names. Luxu Low Star. 
Uh, let me just make sure I have you here. Yep. Luxu Lowstar with $100. Amazing. Corpse King. A true king. Corpse King with $300. Hell yeah. All right. Let's keep it going. Who else donated today? Come on. Uh, let's see here. I got to scroll. Wow, we have so many. I'm going to be here all day. Who cares? We're raising money. Donate right now. Who cares? It's all about making the money for the kids. It's not about the goals anymore. We got two goals out of three. That's freaking amazing. Uh, we got Squall. All right, Squall. Squall came through with $100. That's right, baby. $100 from Squall. 619. Damn so fine. Uh, the next donation coming through is... Three. Oh, did we just get another gifts? Really? Oh, my God. That's so nice. You guys are so freaking nice. Thank you so much. Gift and subs at the end of a stream is the kindest thing you can do. All right. The next character or person character. You're not character. Well, you actually you are characters now. The next person is 308 caliber and 308 caliber. I could see how much you spent. You could make a deck. Um, yes. $150. Incredible. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. We're doing them all. I got to pad the time so you guys might donate more. But even if you don't, this is incredible. This is the best day ever. This is the best day ever. Couldn't be better than this, guys. Could not be better. The next one is Dummy Gamer. Hey, Dummy Gamer. A hundred freaking dollars. All right. Good job, Dummy Gamer. Very proud. The next one will be Black Dawn. And Black Dawn has a hundred dollars. Hell yeah. Once I type in your name, it tells me exactly how much you made. So that's freaking, or how much you gave, which is amazing. Uh, the next person is, ironically, a greedy guy giving to charity. A greedy guy. A hundred dollars. Hell yeah. Look at that. Amazing. So uh, just respect to all these people right now. I want respect. We got my uncle, my Theo, my uncle Chris. I love you. We got from Viking Bro. A hundred dollars to the kids, man. For Jason. For the son. And for Marie, of course, the daughter. All right. Next, we have um, Sabir Leon. Lions? It could be Lions or Leons. I don't know. Sabir, $100. In freaking credible. Look at how many people are willing to give to a good cause. Look at how many people actually care. It makes me feel, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like the world, even if we have a lot of problems going on, like it's still, there's still a lot of good in the world. And of course we have Amon with $175 getting all of the gifts. They literally got all the rewards today. Amazing. If I miss anybody, it's not on purpose. There's just, it's so many people. <laughs> it's so many people. Um, and we got even more gift subs from Alexi Bear because they're just that kind. Um, actually we have an anonymous donor for $20. Sorry that I won't know your name, but $20 because you know who you are. I appreciate that. Uh, we have someone named JB Armor. JB Armor, thank you so much for the $25. It was super kind of you making me say super delicious. Sorry. <laughs> it's such an annoying word. That's why I put it there because I don't like reading it. I don't like it. Holy crap. There's over a hundred donations here. What the why are there so many anonymous? Okay. Um, I thought it was only like going to be like a hundred people. Well, there's like, a, oh, there's over a hundred people here. It, the list only goes up to a hundred. What the hell? I can't see all the, I can't see all the donations. There was over a hundred. What? Okay. Well, we'll go with. I might not be able to get the exact money, but I can look it up later. So don't worry. I'll know who got what. Virus, Tribal Guy, Gecko Ga, Brandaco, Gamer Mama, Random Gamer, Gabe the Green, Anonymous, Rerog, Bernog, Johnny Swag, the person that just donated, Mina. Thank you so much, Mina. Ari, uh, Shumpert, again, 308 Caliber, Nax Max. DM Ridgers. Thank you, Ridger family. I really appreciate you. Um, what else do we got? Laser Mike, Nax Max, Vox Gaming, Casual Cooper Sister. <laughs> Thanks, little sis. Jonas, Five Bastion again. Lane Holland fi fights. Red Wyke, Anonymous again. Skyrus, Nax Max again. Corpse King again. Pogmi 
Pogma's Pie. Pia. Pogma's Pie. Oh, there's over 100 because people gave little donations like $10, $5, $7, $10, $5, $7. I get you. Okay, that makes sense. Richard Play Stuff. Thank you so much. Uh, Total Drama. Corpse King. Drug and Dragon. GG Gamer. Casual Cooper's Dad. Oh my god, that was so long ago and I just got to him. Anonymous. 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 Arbar. JB Armor. Five Bastion again, Saber Lions, Anonymous. An okay, a lot of these are... Can I just sort by Anonymous? There are a lot of Anonymous today. I wonder if people did that by accident or... No, you have to click the box. It was not by accident. Well, either way. Everybody, just to be real, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from here at Casual Cooper for helping us raise money for Gamers for Outreach. Thank you for helping us raise money for HP for Heroes. This money will be used well. We'll be sending it to the kids. We'll be sending it to the nurses. We'll get those go-karts. We'll get all that fun stuff. We'll make sure those kids have some positivity in their lives in the worst of, worst of moments. That's going to be it. There's no tournament tomorrow. You have no idea how long it took for me to make that intro for this tournament and to set up everybody's decks. Next week, we will continue our Master Era series as normal. But this was the best tournament I've ever thrown. And I would like to thank Gamers Outreach for letting me be a part of their organization in the sense where I got to raise money with them. I, I, I feel better. I feel good. I feel good. It actually does make you feel something. So, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's tournament. It was my favorite. Bye-bye, everybody.